to Tuesday night, Big Dogs kicking off to you live at the Cheese It Sports Arena down here in uh, Carlsbad, California. I'm Frank Howley. What's up, everybody? I'm Brian Evershaker. Welcome to the stream, and thank you for welcoming us into your second stream. That's right. We got Blinded Fish. We got Jordan Jones. We got What's Southern up? Space, man. How's everybody Match doing? the Stampede. Kahuna Tuna, Ken Dunn with Sam Rexall, Blaze TK, By God, Louie M, and Hale. We are going to be playing more Dark Souls. We got Slipknot Man peeking through a little bit. He'll be making an appearance. He can show up anytime. Robbie322 is here. Welcome. Uh, I'm very excited for Demon Souls. This game is very hard and difficult. It's going to be like a Scooby-Doo episode. Who's going to do it? Schlepp Boy is here. Welcome. Uh, let's kick off the grindage. Uh, all right. Let me, let me get situated. Yeah. We can just, uh, we The only can just... thing you have ever cared about in your life is nugs, chilling, and grinding. Ah, oh, fuck! Hey, give me Thanks a second. Polygon Thank you, Polygon Lions. Fuck this guy. Okay, hold on. Oh, yes, we're getting hyped on a Tuesday night with Polygon Lions. Thank you. In the house with Chase Konakai, Schlepp Boy, Jordan Jones is here. Oh, Theo the streams whooping. What's up, everyone? Let me get... There we go. Um, all right, we're back. Last time we played was not last stream. Last stream we did Mortal Kombat and Terminator 2. Uh, we spent two hours killing a boss. We finally fucking killed it. So now we can go on with the rest of this level. Damn right. Uh, I feel like we put a lot of good work in. So I'm excited. Who knows where tonight will take us. We are taking Discord calls. If anyone wants to call in, let us know if you will be in the calling queue. Otherwise, I'm not looking at it. Uh, but jump in. Oh my gosh. Welcome, Blaze. Kimchi Bubbles. Thank you, our first donator of the evening, Polygon Lion. Um, all right. I'm looking forward to this. Again, like, I always get nervous, and then we get into a good flow. Because um, these games, this this fucking game isn't linear. It's like, you can, you can it's a la carte what level yeah. you want to get started with. We got, like, halfway through this level, and then I got fucked up by Mana Rage. So it's been a while. I think now... Oh, yeah. Now... Oh, fuck. All right. Now... Oh. Let me kill you. Now I feel like we we have a stronger and yeah even these guys don't scare me as scare me as much and uh, I can heal myself. Okay, let me. Yeah. Plus you got some pretty good magic that you can cast that killed that skeleton like two hits before. Yeah. So we don't have to fucking look worry about Wily e. Coyote anymore. Nope. All right. Okay, so now there's a possessed guy. Mustache Doctor's here. Oh, hell uh, yeah. Mustache Doctor, they did have Xboxes for sale at the Microsoft store. Did you order one? I tagged you. I've added you on Discord. Uh, oh. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. I got to switch my spell there. Nope, not this time. Oh, Son of M-Hack's in the damn. Wow! All right. Son of M-Hack has a deal. Yeah, we, we need, I need... Again, this this is the thing where it just... I have to warm up my muscle memory. All right. Son of M-Hack, what's... What's Yo. the tea? What's up? Tell us. Uh, let me just stop the stream. Sure, sure. Yeah. And I'm I'm on mobile here. I'm out shopping today, so I wanted to drop y'all a sweet, sweet, fast deal. I scored. Uh, yeah. You've got a Fredmeyer rewards card. You can get Link Awakening for Switch, twenty bucks off. So I just scored it for forty bucks. Okay. All right. Hell yeah. Is Fred Meyer? What What is Fred Meyer? It's just a grocery chain, like I guess similar to like Meyer brand. Okay, but they oh. sell they sell video games there. Yeah, they have an electronics section. Oh, oh. okay, all right. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we don't got nothing like that out here. That's okay. fancy. All right. Well, I fuck yeah. Oh, 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 Audrey is raiding us. us. Thank you, Audrey. Audrey. Just raided us. Thank you. Audrey was drawing panty and stocking art, talk, oh, catching shit. up on everyone. Holy shit, guys! Fall open, open set, set is here. Came with Welcome, her. Jim Jones. Hello, uh, guys. What up, Jim Jones? Follow Audrey. Thank you, Audrey. And Audrey, if you want to come so in at any time, we are on Discord hanging out. Thank you, Audrey. Uh, we're getting started. Son of M Hack. Deal of the century. Got Link's Awakening. Twenty dollars off for forty bucks. Is it? Was that your only Black Friday scoop? Uh, like, as far as, like, video games or anything I haven't really bought Black Friday-wise, yeah, I was just happened to be shopping today, and I saw, I always stop by the electronics section there looking for a deal. Oh, really? All right. Yeah. Well, fuck yeah. Son of Mac, anything else you want to drop, or did you just want to toot, toot yeah, the that, horn? that was it. Hey. I'm, I'm waiting for my girlfriend to pick up her check, and we'll be leaving here soon. Fuck yeah. Bullshit. Fuck yeah, dude. Enjoy Link's Awakening, because that game was awesome. Ah! Gorbulon just subscribed for Thank seven you, months. Gorbulon. Thank you, Gorbulon. Yeah. Hey, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank, Thank you, son you, of M. Shut up. 
Bless Without you. Son of M Hack, we wouldn't have all gotten this wonderful uh, yeah, dude, webcam. Son of M Hack, the two best donations from M Hack, he donated for our webcam and Subway. It was yeah. amazing. Thank you. Ah, okay. Oh, thank you, Mustache Doctor. Thank you. Thank you for starting thank the hype. Ah, okay. Oh, they're trying to kick off a hype train. Thank you, Mustache, mustache Doctor. Mustache Doctor. Thank you. I I think you can get it. I think you can get the going. The steam engine going. Thank you, Mustache Doctor. Welcome, Marty. Thank oh, you, Mustache Doctor. Oh, bits from Mustache Doctor. Wait, Mustache, you're, 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 did you get the Xbox? I tagged it. It was on sale today. Uh, that's what I want to know. We'll thank see. you, Jordan Jones Kim Kimchi. Kimchi Bubbles, Jordan did you? Jones. Thank you, Bedazzle. Bedazzle. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. Welcome, everybody, from Audrey's stream. I hope you guys are doing well today. Whoa! If you know, okay, oh, shit. Okay, more look. a free game! So... Of course, no one ever gets a hole in one oh, ice cream mount. <laughs> now, last time we killed a boss, we did use. We did. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Doctor. Thank you. We did use. A, we hey, did you use. We did use the must be uh, the the wily the wily coyote the roadrunner tactic yes. of luring him off the cliff. That yes. did work. That so yeah, we'll we'll see you as we get some more bosses. Yeah. Uh, I heard there's one boss that I'm dreading. Thank hey, you, Blaze TK. Also, also there, holy there, shit. there is one boss I'm dreading where he summons a PvP player. Like straight up, that's it. You can cheat it by going offline, but we're gonna play it as is. So I don't, I don't know if that's gonna be today. I don't know when we get there, but we're gonna have to get our ass kicked a hundred times before we win. We'll see what happens. I'm kind of looking forward to that. Now you're gonna meet a noob and kick his butt. Now that is true. Because we we can we fuck we can summon someone with a blue phantom, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I I heard there's like a big debate right now because people are just straight up playing offline to skip that, but I kind of want to see that. And thank you, son yes. of Amac. Ah. Okay. Oh fuck. Fuck. Hey, Bedazzle, don't worry about it. Hey, the best way to support us yes. is just being here, just yeah. showing up. Thank you for being here. If you can't do that, that's all right. You're here tonight. Enjoy. Hell you guys, yeah. this is Bedazzle's last night, possibly ever. Uh, <laughs> Wow. We don't. Hey, we don't know. We don't know. Bedazzle left a very cryptic message. But Bedazzle, tell your friends. You know. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. There's so many ways you can support. Just being out. here. Thank you, son Thank of Mac. Son of Mac. Not you Benny. Have the hype train not going. Benny Bob is asking favorite Soulsborne game. It's funny. I liked how fast Sekiro was, but I think aesthetically, Bloodborne was my favorite. Nice. Um, yeah, like Sekiro is really good. I don't have any interest ever replaying that because of how fucking long the boss fights were i'm never i'm never playing that game again game again soul or bloodboard i like and that's a game i've almost been hungry to go back to so i think bloodborne is oh, my cool. favorite um i'm very excited for elden ring um but hey technically demon souls i'm playing for the second time um but yeah Bl bloodborne i think i think stands as, as my yeah, favorite this, this looks pretty fucking incredible on ps5 so anybody who did play it originally i would just say it's worth playing again because of how well they made everything over like it really looks incredible and yeah, fuck yeah, not Benny Bop. Again, it's a new oh, name. Yeah, we love Benny saying Bob. new names. Thank you, not Benny Bop. I just also like saying that name. Um, yeah, I've never revisited Dark Souls One Beyond when I played it. Um, I feel like that's a game I just remember so I just remember so vividly because that was my first one, so it took so fucking long to get through. Dark, thank you, Mustache Five Hundred Bits. Dark Souls, like I, the the hardest one's always the first one you play. So Dark Souls One, every zone in that took so long because I'd have to cheese and grind. Yeah. I made my way through two very fast. Thank you, hey, Mustache Doctor. Mustache thank you. Doctor and Demon Souls. Bloodborne, I just legitimately enjoyed. Like that was one where I actually. Sat down, started looking at trophies. I bounced off of. Oh you my fuck! Hey, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Of course, no one ever gets a hole wow. in one on ice cream mountain. Thank you, mustache doctor. Welcome, egg salad, Bob. Um, and then yeah, egg salad. You want to get some ice cream? I would say Sekiro's probably my second favorite. Um, fuck. Ah! Okay. That didn't take too hard to get up here, and there's four thousand souls. Hell, hey, these yeah. these this is. not Again, I don't know if this level is too kimchi. hard at this point, but this is a good. Thank you, Gorbelon, hey! for the for the one hour bits. Gold thank drag. you, Kimchi Bubbles. Um, this area, now that we're leveled up, not too bad. Yeah. Enemies pack a bunch, but there's a lot of souls. So oh, we're gonna get back. Thank you, doctor with Mustache the Doctor. Uh, so we are gonna go back for those four thousand bits. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then I can. All right. Again, we don't have to fucking worry for that other guy. Oh, he dropped so many souls. I think. Oh yeah, dude. Let me see. Okay, so around so we're at the point in the game now where if we hit 
like the amount of souls fucking go back and turn them in um because it sucks to lose more than like ten thousand souls at a time so we'll just be mindful of that absolutely and again if anyone's in calling queue let us know or brian can you check on your on your, on your phone real fast yeah. oh oh There we go. So the red guy is more beefy. Because we're in... This zone has, like, black tenacity or whatever they call it. Yeah. Oh, the tendency? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Ah! No, oh, no, 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 no! Okay. Fuck. Now I'm starting to bait like shit. Should I go to another zone first? Because uh, we can do it. And I, I guess I just need to warm up. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. I mean, we'll you see. just started. It's all good. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, and I'm not Benny Bob asked. Do you guys think Cyberpunk will be getting delayed again? No. Like no, that. That's coming out coming next out. Thursday. Um, will it be a 100% bug free day one? I don't know. If they manage to pull that off and it, the gold version is excellent, that's really cool. And, the, yeah. and theoretically, that's why they delayed it. Um, but yeah, it's coming. I'm excited. I'll stream it Thursday as soon as I get it. Uh, I'm looking. Fuck. I don't want to spend that many points. Fuck. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be fun. A whole new game to check out. A game that people are going to love. Like, you know, it's going to be this big event. So it's, it's always cool to go through one of those. Thank you again, Mustache Thank you, Doctor. Mustache Doctor. Oh my god. And, I believe, yeah, so Discord, so hey, guys, tonight we are taking D Discord calls at any point, if anyone wants to jump in, call in, tell us what you're playing, what'd you get for Black Friday, if you want to talk about Souls games, if you want to talk about homework, we're open to anything. Uh, right. Again, playing this game is like nerve-wracking, but I guess in the fun, but we got 61 people, holy That's shit, right. holy They're shit. That's right, are all hanging out playing. Now, Blindfish said, can you pause? So yes, that was a little cheat, uh, thanks, because this game has a photo mode, <laughs> Killer DLS you, you, hooked us up with that hack. You can use you can use uh you can use uh the photo mode to pause the game at any time, which is like what a great exploit. I yep. don't fucking have it in secure. I don't have I've like uh, I think the reason I originally bought Dark Souls three on PC was theoretically I could mod the game to have a start button because like I've always like I've always wanted that uh and so I love I love the that they got it. Um, all right, all right, fuck. Hell yeah. No! <laughs> That's right, Kirby. Welcome back, Kirby. There is a photo mode. All right, we're getting we're getting we're getting our muscles warmed up. Again, still trying to decide. Maybe this zone's too hard. I'm well. The souls are gone. That's right. So now what it is at this point is I'm struggling with my uh, balancing my inventory. Oh yeah, Kirby's about to buy a PS5. Fuck yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. I want to get Sonic. Yo, homie, you got the link. All right. And thank you again, our hype train is still going. We're at level three. Thank you so much. Okay, must Zach Shocker did not get the Xbox, but you're putting all the pressure on your girlfriend to get it. All right. Well, there you if go. they need to be tagged when the link goes up, let me know. I want to help out Mustache Doctor. Um, hey, Nyrake is here. Welcome, Nyrake. Good yeah. to see you again. Oh my gosh. All right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. N not Benny Bop is yeah. the rest of this area gets Not easier. Benny Bop is also being our Hobbit gamer of tonight, so if you folks have played Demon's Souls, you know what to do, and you want to help the big dogs. <laughs> oh! oh! Who's here? I don't know. Who's that? Audrey, yeah. how are you? Well, there's only three people who can jump themselves into the chat. I know. So. I, I, I don't know if Maddie JB has mod powers. I honestly, for a second, I was like, oh, is that Maddie JB? No, no, no. I knew that was wow. Audrey. Wow, you said I sound like Maddie JB. <laughs> I knew immediately <laughs> that was Audrey Minaj. Audrey, how are you? Hello, uh, Audrey. Hello. How's your stream? It was good. I'm happy I can still stream even though my camera break half to wake yeah, yeah. And, and again yeah. if if you need a webcam let i want there's a best buy down the street i'm eager to like help you out but uh yeah i just don't know what webcam okay okay Could look into it um all right i uh i i've been listening to your stream but every time i watch you play bloodborne i don't know like if you're making progress or not it, it, it's it's this game is like muscle memory like I, it's I was saying this to Brian It's like warming up before a basketball game. It's like I have to warm up Yeah, so the the few times I botch mm -hmm. is because I'm fumbling my 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 uh, item switching um, Yeah, Ooh, so it's, okay. it's it's just like once I do it um, But yeah, this zone just might be too hot right now because when we went to other zones We were fucking destroying them. So I'm saying fuck the souls. I'm leaving them here. 
Um, all right, we'll, we'll, go, we'll, we'll get go through an easier area. All right. I was so proud that I, well, because again, the world's in bl whatever black tenacity. So now everything's way fucking harder. Um, black tendency. Yeah. I gotta, yeah. Is there a way to do that? All right. Uh, apparently, it is there's, there's a certain mob you can kill. If anyone in the chat knows, apparently there's a certain mob you can kill that will p purify the world. I don't know. Oh, Whoa. fuck. Did that, like, happen at some point while playing? Yeah, because I died so many times in human form. What up, Raw? Ah! Um, but, okay, we can go to... Let's try the scary scary witch castle part Hell two. Hell yeah, that sounds cool as shit. And welcome, Rob. I like scary witch castles. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You died so much so they made the game harder? Yes. <laughs> what is this game? Oh, okay, I almost jumped off. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, we're, we're getting started here. See, this looks like Diablo shit. Hell yeah, dude. I like Diablo. Oh, that's right. Diablo is such a fun co-op game, too. Oh, yeah, especially like uh, Diablo 3. I hear it's really fun. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun. Okay, not Benny Bob. Okay, so we're not going. I'm excited to get the PvP boss. Alright. Oh my Dude, god. Robbie322 says Diablo 3 is now 4K 60 FPS Ooh. on the consoles. Ooh. Hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe I should get it. I we mean, have it. It's in the library. It's worth playing. Like, oh, you actually own the yeah, disc? Yeah, oh, it, it is that. such a good co-op game because they added like they made it Gauntlet Legends controls. Well, yeah, I heard it just became a, a fun like dungeon crawler. Yeah, game. it's oh my god. Uh, and I played it with Garrett on the PPS for a little bit, and it looked pretty cool. So, yeah, maybe I'll check it out at some. point. That was another game where I almost almost got the platinum for. Oh. Uh, I, I would have calculated, but that that was a game I just zoned out with so much. Like, it's very very fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's really really good that's pretty dope so maybe it'll be something to play I'll put it on jasmine and i can play oh see having range for this shit so it makes right? it amazing oh look at the fucking sword drops okay yeah all right there we go Oh, okay, okay. And welcome, Crazy Saxophonist. That's a great name. <gasps> Damn. Now, are you actually crazy, but you like playing saxophone? Or is your saxophone so crazy, like the way you play it, so crazy that it's like out of this world, nobody can believe it? <laughs> Either way, that's fucking cool. Oh, little dude is here. Whoa! What's up, hey, little dude? Little dude, you never have to apologize for being late or missing a stream, but welcome, little Wait, dude. Also little dude, you're streaming and in the chat at the same time? Holy right? shit. Right? Little dude won. Again, the next generation yeah. are so bright. They're so good at multitasking. Little dude won, probably one of my favorite streamers, because when they stream, they also watch the big dogs. Hell yeah. That's revolutionary, little dude won. And we did get little dude won to 50 followers. Congratulations, oh, little yeah. dude. Uh, I love it. I fucking, yeah, I dude. fucking love it, little dude. Congrats. Thank you, little dude. Bless you, little dude. Good job. Oh, my dear. All right. And yeah, we have 61 people. That's that is right. a lot. Again, if anyone wants to call in, we are taking Discord calls through the night. We have Audrey in here. Thank you so much, Audrey, hanging out. Oh my God, bless you, bless you. Ken Domo, anything you'd like. There is no topic. Uh, we could, uh, you know what? I don't know. I theoretically would encourage people to call in more if there was a topic. Brian, what should what should a top? I don't know. You're, uh, yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. Call in. Suggest a topic. Suggest sure. a topic for other callers. I think that that's the topic. The topic is you pick our topic. Oh, I wish I could help you out with this. 
But what what I can do is that I can keep an eye on the Discord and drag people in. That'd be great. That'd be fucking cool. But oh, it, that man. would be surprising a little too much. No, I, again, I I welcome it. I, I welcome the chaos of it. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Ooh, big daddy! Oh, he's stuck. So again, like we're we're already making way more progress here than that four one. All right. <laughs> oh, Blaze! If I would do that, I think someone would chop my head off. Benny Bop is suggesting that the topic could be what games people are excited for. I that, that's always an open. I always yeah. love hearing that. Absolutely, absolutely. I always like hearing what people are playing. What are you gaming? Yeah, yeah. Like, like I, I just cleared Yakuza like a dragon. So now my plate is open. I still need to finish Red Dead Two. We are doing Demon Souls for the stream. Um, Spider Man, I feel like is a game I can beat in a week. So I might dip into Miles Morales. Uh, I might stream that too. And then, uh, but yeah, the next big thing is Cyberpunk. So it's like, oh, okay. My my time will my attention will be focused on that uh, coming very soon. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah. And then Audrey was just talking about Switch games on her stream, and it still reminded me that, like, at some point, I still really want to check out Taiko Drum Master on Switch. Oh, that'd be badass. Yeah, there's no physical version for, like, the U.S. version. That's but, okay. like, but, like, yeah, that's a game I'm really eager, because I, I, I'm in the mood for, like, a rock band thing, but it's like, oh. So, yeah. Yeah. That, that's something I might check out at some point. Uh, Kendomo is kind of cute. I'm going to drag Kendomo. Oh, Ken my Demo. gosh. We got Kendomo joining us. Yo. Welcome, Yo, Ken Delmo. Ken Delmo, how you been? How's it going? We're doing Pretty good. Yes, Pretty good. go for it, Ken. Well, yeah, um, I was about to talk about WoW for a bit, but honestly, you mentioned Taiko Drum Master. Please, do you have it? Did you play it? Yes, I do have it. It's my treadmill game, in fact. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, like, I really need something to do while I'm working out. It's just so boring, yeah. honestly. Like, <laughs> being there. I played Tetris, I played Puyo Puyo. But uh, if I'm really getting into like an expert song on Taiko Drum Master, I am like not even caring if I'm been running for like ten minutes. Wow. <laughs> like what, like, I, I couldn't really imagine running and playing Tetris. Yeah, right. I was gonna say. I was gonna say like Kendama, are you? I don't know if you're able to get your eyes yeah, on the screen. Here. It'll take you like maybe fifteen seconds to catch up. But like, so are you? Are you like walking and then? Like, is that your movement? Oh no, no, I think it's with the. Uh, Boom. Yeah, it's with Console. the switch. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So like both Joy Cons in both hands. Uh -huh. If you want to put the wrist straps on, you can. Yeah. The motion control sucks. It just straight up sucks. Uh, it's it's huh. okay if you want to drum down on the red beats, but the blue beats where it's like on the rim of the drum, like is weird. Like you have to. Mm. So so are, so are you playing with hands on the controller or not using the sticks as the actual drumsticks? No, I'm just oh. using the buttons for. Like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, X is, it, is like. Is it still fun red. though? Because I, I imagine the whole point, like the reason I was stoked on it, is specifically so you can go. You know. Oh yeah, no, a hundred percent. I would rather hundred okay. percent play like that. But honestly, it's just pressing two buttons. Okay. It's it's good enough. It's not gonna be like DDR like intense, or. Yeah. Good satisfaction on when you hear the Taiko like. Yeah. Doing the song. That's what I love the most when I pe look at people play. I'm like, fuck, it looks so much fun to see like you click at the right got the moment. <laughs> I wish yeah. I could. I, I, you know, like, I would love a regular DDR pad, but honestly, if I play DDR on a controller, it's just a lot of fun as well. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. That's that's in me playing like rhythm games. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do have to say that if you want a cheaper version of Taiko Drum Master, use <laughs> Dash, and I'm pretty sure. Sammy and like a bunch of other people in the chat. I don't know if they're there. Muse Dash. Yeah, I'm Muse obsessed Dash. watching people play that. Is, game, is this like a Japanese or Korean game? Because there's so many fucking rhythm games. Yeah. What, what is it? Uh, it's 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 on the App Store. It's on the Switch. Is it on? Switch? I don't know. It's on. Uh, yeah, PC. It is on it's on like so many different platforms. It's pretty much just Taiko Drum Master. It's like two buttons. Okay. For the rhythm. But, but uh, the animation is something that sells everyone to it. Well, that's what sells me to watch people play because there's like, they're cute anime girls, but the animation is so like, it hypnotizes me. 
Yeah. And I, oh, yeah, I, I don't know how it is to play that oh. because it looks so hmm. like <gasps> it's like an orgy of color happening with two girls. I love it. Whoa. Uh, oh, yeah, so there's different right characters. Oh, okay. oh, I've seen this. Okay. For a dollar forty nine? Okay. Uh so so dollar forty nine gives you like a pack, but there's sure. like, the packs the extra packs are like forty dollars. So okay. Like yeah, yeah. Do they have like licensed anime songs or uh, uh I don't know actually. But they're all Chinese, Japanese. It's kind of like, I don't know which side of that, and I, I know I sound kind of like whatever, Chinese or Japanese. Okay, okay. It's like, it, it's kind of a blend of both uh, mm -hmm. countries and stuff like that, but oh. uh, I haven't really recognized the song yet. I think there might be anime songs in the music packs. Sure, it's, okay. It's still good. It's still okay. like anime. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I feel like when Audrey was here, she pulled up a YouTuber playing it or something. I, I love yeah. it. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's an easy mode, so you don't have to play like super. Now hard. the thing I'm still <laughs> sold on with Taiko is like I want I want the I want the fucking I still want to try the drumming and I, and I will I will work with the game to get it to work with me. I really I really want the because I have so much fucking energy sitting at staying in my room all day and it's so hard to like I try to walk but it's like I need fucking because I can't go to the gym right now. There's it's fucking closed. Right. Like I need something to fucking burn my energy. I mean just maybe just getting back to regular guitar. But like that, I want to try Taiko Jump Master. But now you say when you're on the treadmill, yeah, motion doesn't work. When you're actually just sitting down, is motion control all right for that? It's, I mean, it, it really is. <laughs> like I, you can really do like I said one note at a time. But when trying to do two different notes, okay, okay, it just motion control does not. Okay. Know how to like recognize both. All right. Mm. Well, that being said, yeah, you, there are two other options: the really expensive option or the really cheap option. Which one were you on? Oh, that's right, because I saw they're straight. No, the uh, cheap is fine. I saw that they're selling the straight up like <laughs> big ass kits for PS4. I don't need that, but yeah, I'm glad yeah. to know that exists. Uh, the, the cheap option is you use the touch screen on your fingers. Oh. Oh. oh okay, I see that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's you can't actually drum on your Switch. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. That, that all makes sense to me. All right. Now, where the fuck? Where the fuck do I go? Uh, that's what I really want to know. There's a giant ass like tongue demon or something blocking all the way, all the paths. Um, can you talk to this guy? With oh my god. So you need here like seven different times. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll figure it out. Well, thank you, Ken Delman, for telling yeah, us about Tycho Drum Master. It's awesome. Uh, any party yeah. words for everybody? Um, I mean, I, I'm playing WoW. I know I'm not gonna like do a whole like everyone should play WoW because honestly it's a big commitment. Whatever. Plus, Cyberpunk but is coming out. It's a out. fun commitment. It's a very fun commitment. Yeah. Hey, if people want to play WoW. We got a guild. Guys, join us. Let me see if that's the server. Zoljin I think Horde. Ryan, Ryan, oh, Emily nice. are playing right now. Yeah, dude. I can see it. A lot of people are already sixty. The the the, the fucking advance rates come out soon. Uh, yeah, fucking, we still got a guild. If you want to join us, play. Please, Ken Demo's playing in there. Yeah, dude, absolutely. Um, yeah. Well, fuck yeah. But I'm trying to squeeze that, and yeah, no, but like basically trying to get everything done fuck. for Cyberpunk, including classes. That's just that's my update. Yeah. Hell yeah. Ooh. All right. Well, thank. Are coming up. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so thank much, you, Ken, Ken Doma, for calling in. Uh, no fuck yeah. Thank you. You set. All right. Oh uh, yeah. Where the fuck do I go? Um. Okay. Let me see. Cause I got down back oh, to the tongue. Well. I got back to the tongue demon, and I'm trying to retrace my steps. Ooh. Fuck yeah, Ken Doma. Good call. So the level starts here, you go down here, and then there's a gap, okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel like remembering, like, I feel like these were definitely games I would use guides for whenever I get stuck. Mm -hmm. Uh, fuck! Okay. Uh, but yeah, if anyone in the chat knows where the fuck, where do we go? We're on three, two. Okay, someone's okay. Uh, using the messaging helps. They say up. Oh, okay. I like, don't remember. Dylan says go left. Fuck yeah, Dylan. Okay, there you go. Okay, cool. Great. 
Oh yeah. All right, Thank we're we're back on the we're back back on the right track. I because I think I probably got here before and thought, oh, I already went down this way. I, that's always always like if you see items, if you see enemies, great, you're going the right way. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're back on track. We're back on. No, that's all right. We're back on track. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fuck. Ah. There you go. Cool. And then, yeah, thank you again, Kodomo, calling in. Um, yeah, like, I feel like with, like, because I played Yakuza and Red Dead and soon Cyberpunk, like, I'm good on story games. Now I'm just itching for more, like, mindless arcade games, like Tetris Effect, like Saints Row the yeah. Third. Uh, just like, I mean, Demon's Souls I like because it's kind of arcade Um, just in the sense of just like, oh, I, it's just, yeah, I can just mash it and move on. So it's like, it's, it's fun just, yeah, like, having more games to, uh, spend a different kind of time with as opposed to this, like, you know, hurdle of, of powering through a story. Hey, Holy oh, fucking man. shit! Carlos just gave three gift subs. Oh my god, dude! Fuck yes! Welcome, welcome, Outlaw Star XGP. Welcome, Mash the Stampede and Robbie. Oh my fucking three, god! Two, two. Welcome, Carlos. Carlos. Fuck yeah! How you doing tonight, Carlos? What you been gaming on? Still on the switch, oh. dude. It's uh -oh. it's uh -oh. the big dog. Uh -oh. oh my gosh, dude. Making sure we all got. This is a vibe check in effect. Making sure people got big dog subs. You good? You good? You guys you need good? big dog subs? You good? What's up? You coming to the stream? Get yourself a big dog fuck sub. Yeah, thank you good. so much. You're good, Carlos. Fuck Carlos, yeah. Thank you, dog. Fuck yeah, you, man. Oh my fucking gosh. Oh my god. Evil Juggalo's here too. Thank you, Carlos. What's up, Evil Juggalo? I hope you've been well. Yeah, how Holy was your Thanksgiving? Shit. Hope you had a good one. God damn. Thank you, Carlos. Oh my gosh. And we're on air with Audrey. Audrey is also big chilling. Hi. Oh my gosh. Fuck yeah. Guys, everyone, please. Hello, Carlos. Mm. Thank Hell you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Audrey and I wanted to hang out with Carlos, but we just never made it up to LA. Uh, hopefully, in a future trip, we'll, we'll keep going up to LA. But we were just terrified. <laughs> um, we're in team, Hella, yeah. Yeah, like I, I really miss fucking Little Tokyo uh, and all these other like, like even Anime Jungle and stuff like that. Where it's oh. just like, oh, like yeah, uh, we still made the most of it. But yeah, fuck yeah, Carlos, thank you for dropping by uh, and giving three gift subs to everyone. Holy shit, thank you, thank you, thank you. Big dog, Carlos. Yeah, holy shit. Oh yeah, man. Totally understandable. It was uh, a weird time, but we made it. We made it work. And then Dylan asked about everybody's golf. I've been, I'm always, I'm like eternally hungry for that game. Um, I feel like in my head I can never, ju that's what it is. I can never, I, I have a hard time justifying like, oh, I got nothing to do. Oh, I'll chill out with a video game. I always feel like I'm doing progress. Everybody's golf is just that. It's, it's, it's a cute golf game. Like there's nothing to, I mean, there is progression, but it's like in my head, it's like, I'm not going to beat the game, but I need to learn to just let go. I'm like, no, it's okay to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's a very good suggestion. And I have it. That's a game I adore. Uh, it's been a few years since I've, I've played it. Uh, yeah, that's a very wow. great suggestion. Oh, golf story. Golf story is good. That's yeah. a game I've heard. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. I've heard a lot of people talk good on Golf Story. Yeah, that might be it. It's like that... a fun little RPG. It's really cool. Yeah. I played a little bit of it, but uh, I, I I was playing somebody's file, so I... Oh, uh, okay, okay. You know, it's like, oh, well, I'm not going to do much because I can't. Yeah. Golf, so, yeah, Golf Story might be it. That sounds super good. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy, it might. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to see how far back I can get. You do also know. still have Hades. Yeah. Yeah, I feel ah. Yeah. Oh fuck. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, cast. There you go. I'm waiting for my mana. I do have mana, mana tide pods. Okay, there we go. There we go. Very good. Oh man. Oh yeah. Uh, and then not but Benny Bop brought up Animal Crossing. I only played it for like that opening month. Uh, I think Ken Demo's still playing it. Um, but uh, no, I only <laughs> I only played for a bit. And then just... Very good. You're gonna enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy your experience. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah, it is good. I just I just never kept up with the maintenance of it. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's it's uh it's definitely uh it's definitely a good game. All right, is this a boss already? Or already... we'll see what this is. I am, yeah. Oh shit, okay, okay. Big 
Benny Bop is highlighting. There might be an item. Did I miss? No, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh my God! Not Benny Bop. Thank you. Good eye. Now. <laughs> Probably from the other side. That's from. Okay. 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 Wow. Thank you, not Benny Bop. Holy Fuck shit. Yeah, dude. Thank you, not Benny Bop. Mr. Ben Show is here. Welcome. Oh everyone. my gosh. Welcome, Mr. Ben Show. How you doing tonight? Great to see you. Okay, all right. Okay, they're gonna come from both sides. Nice. Oh, there might be another one. Oh, okay. Ah, the fucking thing in me has to see. I have to see. Yeah, they want you to, because by the time you go and come back, it's going to already be on its way. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right, we're good, we're good. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then Dylan point out the new PlayStation Plus oh, games yeah. are out. But there was one game that was, yeah, there's Worms. What's the other game? There's another game in there. Uh, ow. For, yeah, yeah. That's not good. What the fuck is it? Just Cause 4. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, I always like the idea of Just Cause games, but then it's the same thing that Frank was talking about where it's like, there's so much aimlessness in that game where I'm like, what do I do next? What's, yeah, it's, you know? I played I played Just Cause three for a bit, and it was like this is fine, but it didn't feel like it didn't feel like I was doing anything. Yeah. Now Just Cause four, maybe that's different. Yeah, I, I I kind of felt like it was it was a really cool game, but I felt like um, the story was just kind of like there, you know, it was there for anybody who wanted it to guide them through. But yeah, it really it's matter. it's very much like a sandbox game. I'm yeah. like bullshit up, get creative with it, which is cool, but. Oh. Yeah, exactly, Jordan. That's kind of how. That's kind of how I felt. Okay, so we killed those people. They dropped a chain. I'm assuming that unlocked a new path. Okay, yeah. All right. See, like, this level seems like it has a good pace because we're fighting big dudes, but we're making progress each time. Like, yeah. the skeleton these are just like, still uh, a little too hardcore. Okay. What makes blank good? Just because... Oh, uh, oh, for me, just caused it was like, I just didn't care about anything. Yeah. Like, it was a big city, and you blew shit up. But not that it was bad. I mean, I feel like now, five years later, I'm much more into the idea of tropical paradises. Yeah. Uh, but when I played it, just like, forever ago, it was like, oh, there's better games I could play, like Breath of the Wild. Uh, Breath of the Wild immediately grabs you because it's an, it's a Zelda game, but it's Nintendo, so you already know there's going to be a caliber of quality. When you play it, it immediately throws out all the rules of games before. It's like, oh, this is Breath... I don't know, you feel it. There, there's an aesthetic and a vibe to it. You feel it. Just Cause didn't do anything to me when I played it. Now, that's why I'm, that's why I'm excited. Like, the idea of... I'm probably not going to download, but the idea of Just Cause 4 being free? Cool, sure, maybe I'll play it. Yeah. Um... You know, but but yeah, I, I'm not saying get all games need store, all games need anything. They're just something you feel. Different games click with different people. But for me, Just Cause Three, when I played it, didn't didn't click for me. Uh, I, I but again, I hope every game is great. I hope everyone. Yeah. I hope I hope everyone finds the game they likes. But and every game is good for a different reason. Yeah. There there is a reason to play Just Cause. Yeah. And, like, and there's a reason it is that popular. Yeah, because like the people who do like like the people who do like getting like I feel like I did all that shit in Gary's mod ten years like. 15 years ago. I think that's why when Just Cause presented itself, yeah. it was like, okay, I'm, I already did this. I already, I already, everything up. I already, yeah, that, I already did that in GTA 3 and games yep. before. 
Um, all right, do we open this person's cell? Let me see. Did I only get one shot? Yes. Should we open this person's cells? I'm gonna refer to the, ch yeah, let's see, let's see. I, ah, fuck. I wanna see what this person's, love. Someone said love, this is filthy. One person says this is filthy, one What's person like says love. Thing? That yellow thing, that looks like a pickup. See, that's what's like neat, it's like they don't, you can't, I don't know if it's maybe an enemy who died or something that's gonna go oh, before, yeah, but it's like. Oh yeah, you don't know what that is. Yeah. Open his cell, but kill him as soon as he's back in the Nexus. That's some advanced shit. Oh, is he, does, I'm really curious. See, this is where it's fun to read up on this shit. What is this guy's name? All right, let me, this sounds fun. Oh Hell yeah. Open cell, demon souls. Let's take a look. Yurt the Silent Chief. All right, okay, Yurt the Silent Chief. Let's see. If the player flees him, he'll be in a nexus and claim to have no business. He is an assassin! Oh, that see, that sounds fucking cool. He will eventually start killing NPCs. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's fucking cool. So you want to kill him, but the, you, want, you want to oh, free him and then kill him so you can take his loot. Oh my gosh. Okay. Holy shit. All right. Also, there's uh, Nyrak in the calling queue. Oh, bring Nyrak in! Hell yeah. Hello? Oh, Hello. Nyrak. Nyrak! Welcome. Hi, everyone. How's it going? You all right? We're yeah. doing great. Hey, Nyrak, where, where are you from? Liverpool. Uh, I'm from Liverpool. Liverpool? Fuck yeah. Holy shit! Hey, we just got a bunch of cool armor. Hell uh, yeah! That's amazing. Is it? What time is it over there? Uh, don't worry about it. Oh, okay, I like that. Hey, respect. Hey, <laughs> two a.m. To I love that. I love that's a great answer. I, I will absolutely yeah. respect that. Shut Fuck up. yeah, Nyrek, Thank you for calling. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, yeah. hear from you again. Yeah. I've been watching your streams for like for a while now, and this is one of those things that I've always thought like oh, it's a bit late at night. Uh, what I'll do, I'll put it on, and then like maybe I'll go to bed. While I put <laughs> yeah, it on. no, I do that. But, I do that all at night. That's what I do now. I yeah, yeah. But because I'm um, like editing stuff through the night at the moment, uh, luckily enough, I'm able to catch the streams, and I'm loving it so far. Hell oh, yeah. yeah! Thank you, Nyrek. Now, how do I say yeah. your name? Because I I feel like there's so many vowels in there. Oh. Uh, because I'm like really lazy. Yeah. It is just my name. It's my name backwards. It's Kieran. Kieran! That's oh! Kieran! Yeah. Oh, can, so hey, fun. you have such a fucking great voice. Holy shit. What? You really? do, it's, it's, again, it's because I'm... I, you I, do! I, I think Frank I, is it's because I, I, it's cause I fetishize, I fetishize British comedy. You're watching the big dogs. Can you, can you give me one of those? <laughs> You're watching the big dogs. Oh! What? That sounds great. Holy shit. You have a voice for radio. Oh my god, I love it. You're watching the big dogs, mate. <laughs> Holy fucking hell. You can hell. do like a... Because proper... Well, proper Scouse accents. They... Uh, well, Scouse... Because they don't... Normally people like to say Liverpoolian. Yeah. But uh, everyone who's from Liverpool normally says Scouse. Like, I've got a Scouse accent. Scouse. And then... Um, yeah, Scouse accent. Hmm. And... Um, <laughs> the way we teach other people to say well you know how we teach other people to kind of talk in that um accent is we say say the sentence they do do oh, blah, blah, blah. they do do that though don't they they do do that though don't they that's that, that sounds like some michael kane shit they do do that don't do that don't do that they do do they do do that fuck they do do that don't they they do do that don't they master Bert, master Bert. but if you say it with like instead of saying they you say D. D. That's how you get it. So they do do that though, don't they? <laughs> Holy fuck! They do do that though, don't they? They do do that, don't yeah, they? Don't they? Pretty good, yeah. They do do yeah. that. They don't. They do do that. Incredible! My brain is stopping after the they first. They do right? do that, don't they? They do yeah. do that, don't they? Scouse this accent, especially Scouse. compared to like how it was, you know, with like obviously like the older, older Liverpool accents with the Beatles, like they, they've got when I listen listen to them i go that's not what the, that's not what liverpool sounds like anymore it's all messy it's all like unintelligible almost yeah i mean like i even like listening to like paul mccartney it, it always seemed like he was muddling uh, yeah. murmuring or you know what i mean like it like he didn't open up his mouth enough until he sang 
Which I guess that makes you know sense, but a lot, I feel like more often than not, singers or um, vocalists tend to be able to like enunciate a lot better because of that. They do do that, don't they? They do do that, don't they? <laughs> Sauce. Uh, someone in the chat. Sick. Someone in the chat said that that's some Peaky Blinders shit. Peaky. I was an extra on Peaky Blinders. Whoa! <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> fuck How yeah. was that? That was weird. Um. I, my mate also got hired at the same time, so we were both like, oh my god, are we going to be in the same scene? We weren't. We were uh, on completely different days. That's I was fucking hired, cool. Um, I was literally just a background guy. Uh, it was with a gang, and it was kind of like a riot scene where everyone's like freaking out. And they, <laughs> they hired my mate because of um, of his hair. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. And I was like, why am I hired? And I was like, uh, well, you, you know, you're big, and I was like, "Just tell me, I'm fine. I'm fine with it. Like, don't don't beat <laughs> yeah, around yeah, the bush. Yeah. Just tell me." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like so. If I put on like the waistcoat and the jacket and everything like that, I look even bigger. Yeah. So it was one of those ones where I look okay. like like barely all of a sudden. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Like coming in, <laughs> it, coming in like a commander felt, of some like road crew, huh? <laughs> yeah. It felt really weird to be in that uniform. I was like, "What am I doing here? Like, whose idea was this?" That's cool though. Oh, oh yeah, I would shit. definitely do it again. Like being extra oh, no, in anything. No, no, no. You, you know, it was fun. Just you know, in the middle of the thing. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, yeah it's fucking rad. Of course, being an extra is always cool. You get to spend time watching something, uh, you know, be made, and that's always really fun, in my opinion. Like I can literally watch people. Like I'll go to the butcher shop that I work at, and I'll literally just watch them cut meat, like cut and trim meat, mm. because it's so interesting how they take up a, a big piece of something and break it down. So, yeah, I bet that was pretty cool in Irie. Andrew Andrew WK shot some Netflix show uh, and I got to be an extra in it and they shot it at like the Glendale Mall, but it was specifically that. It was like I got to be an extra on the side and just I I I I got I got I got to see Andrew WK all day. But see how he like a big star hangs out on a set and does everything it was just like and he was like down to earth and cool, but it was just like yeah, that was like I think like the biggest production of something that that was an extra for. And like they had a full on dance crew and I stole a flannel from the wardrobe. Nice. <laughs> they, <laughs> hey, cheap ass gamer. I forgot about this. They yeah, they 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 outfitted everybody, and I love the flannel they gave me so much. I just walked off the set with it at the end of the day. There is there yeah, is so that's many not cheap ass game. That's people just that. Stuff. <laughs> hey hey, what happens in Hollywood stays in Hollywood. Hey, you always take something home. From yeah the yeah. Hey, this is the gift shop. You know yeah you exactly. Come on, yeah. it's Netflix, dude. They're good. Oh yeah, they're fine. They're fine. <laughs> Yeah, especially back then. Big up Netflix money. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Especially back then. Oh my god. Have you stolen anything, Nyrak? <laughs> uh, no. But right. my friend did. Tell me about your friend. What happened? He had like one of those little um, caps you can get. I, had, I don't know what the exact name is. It's like a flat cap. Okay. Yeah. He stole that. And then I was like, oh man, you, you know... What about if they find out? You know, they're, 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 and then I, I started thinking, it's like, so what if they find out? Yeah, sure, I'll take it. That false, like, kind of encouragement that I yeah. give him, yeah, ended him up, like, ended him walking away with like a waistcoat. No, and, like, a, <laughs> like I was like, no, no, oh, God. just, just, just uh. the flat cap, mate. Just the flat cap. You don't need yeah. anything else. Oh, I, 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 I am absolutely that friend, though. At least I was. <sighs> where I wasn't a bad kid, but I was friends with some bad kids. And I'd be like, yeah, go for it. I don't care. <laughs> like, like, and that could be dangerous. <laughs> um, <laughs> holy shit. Yeah. Hey, what is the peer pressure? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. What did I do? Oh, fuck I would never yeah. do it myself, yeah. but I let him do it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Get someone else to do it. Yeah, uh, that's what a mob boss does. Yeah, that's what, I, I like that. Okay, uh, I was a getaway driver for my friend when he stole a bunch of shit from Target once. Whoa! How was, old were you? Uh, seventeen. Holy 16, shit! 17? It was like drive. Uh, kind of. Yeah, I was in a. I was in like a 1991 Ford Probe. Holy! So fuck. it had like the lights that actually go up because it was like a 90s car. Um, son of a bitch. Um. And yeah, he was like, uh, uh, what do you want? And I'm like, I, I only, I just want a CD. This is the one CD I want. 
And so he <laughs> took like two CD players, a bunch of CDs, what put them in the, the cart, and fuck? ran out of the emergency. What CD exit. was it? I don't even remember. Oh, now. That's man. the best part. Probably Outcast. Okay. Or Beck or something. I like mean, I maybe David Bowie. By the time I was finally buying CDs, was like the last like five years of the industry. Because I I remember my dad would take me to Amoeba and I'd buy like stuff. Like I, yeah, I, even buying CDs was nice. But yeah, I remember it was like what fucking fifteen to twenty bucks for a CD like. Oh, ugh, ugh. yeah. When you think about how much money oh, you used yeah. to spend, and now Apple Music just makes it so easy. Oh, dude. oh, fuck. I mean, right? Oh, well, you also didn't just buy every. Well, some people did, but I didn't buy just every other album. Yeah, you know? like I, I would buy albums that I knew I liked. That like cause that's mm. what you would. I would always take a gamble on a band, and if it's like with no effects, I bought one or Aquabats. I bought one, and it was like, yep, I'm gonna. Like, with Aquabats, they only had, like, five albums. So it's like, yeah, I bought everything. No mm -hmm. effects, they had, like, 20. So it's like, all right, I'm going to buy, like, five more. You know? Yeah. But then Amoeba, you buy used CDs. Um, and then... Music Trader. Yeah! And, yeah, and then fucking, you know... I, and then, you know, you could easily download, like, songs from different albums and scope it, scope it up. But there, there was something fun about the mystery of buying a record, putting it on... And, like, because you spent the money, you're already anticipating, you're already stoked for it, and then you give yourself that extra week to, like, dig into it yeah, and listen to it. you get to know it. it. Um, yeah, holy shit. There wow. were some CDs, though, I knew, like, right away. I'd, I'd put it in, and I'm like, I wish I didn't spend the oh, money. Oh, man. This. You know, like, wh when my friends were all into Cradle of Filth, after we were all listening mm. to Slipknot and everything, they, they thought they had to go into, like, even harder metal. Oh, okay. And I, so I bought, like, a Cradle of Filth album, and I'm like... Uh, yeah, I bought a I live. I had this fifteen bucks. I now. bought. I might still have it. I bought a live DRI CD, because which like I don't know what I was thinking. It's DRI. Yeah, they, they, I, I like everything I like so far. So I bought a live. I don't even have it in my iTunes anymore, and I fucking bought it. It's how shitty. <laughs> it's it's so the oh, quality. Oh, I deleted so many albums that I just don't listen. Like to. I like yeah. DRI, but they're they're no they're, they're DRI is known for being fucking shitty. Like they play fast and it's shitty, and I love it. Their live CD sounds like it's fucking recorded. Like it, it's so bad. The, the DRI. I mean, oh fuck. But at the same time, it's the atmosphere at the time. But I wish I still even had the like. I don't even know. Well, if I want... you can't find it, Superhuman did just do a butt bomb. <laughs> Whoa! I don't want to see. Is there that. a link for that? Where is that? Where's it, the? It was on the. It was on your homepage. Really? On YouTube? Okay, maybe that would yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. It was on your suggested. Three days ago, butt bomb. Uh, okay. All right, that'll be a good segue. Let's take a look at that. Oh my gosh! Butt Buster onto gusset plates, cheese graters, light tubes, and barbed wire. There you go. All right, Nyrate, get ready. For... <laughs> I'm ready. That's a lot. Shit. Yes, it is. No. Damn. Looks pretty cool, though. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Oh no, you can see that he's in so much pain because his hand was shaking. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Hey, he's a champ. He's a fucking champ. Oh, yeah. Poor guy. He took one. Yeah. <laughs> like honestly, I was. I used to watch. Um, I I kind of grew up with it. it in in the UK. There was a like a wrestling channel that was kind of out of nowhere, and they would play stuff like World of Sport, which is like this old, really old wrestling uh, mm -hmm. from Britain. Uh, they played TNA, which was great. But oh, they also, fuck. I also fell in love with no, CZW, no, no. and that's oh. how I got into CZW. Wait, what's CZW? Fuck! <laughs> Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's pretty fucked up wrestling. Uh, this yeah, is where John Moxley it, came from. Wow. And a bunch of other people. N Nyrick, actually, you're you, you're more versed in it. Uh, explain. Uh, CZW is where people who can't wrestle beat the crap out of each other with like crowbars and baseball oh, bats. Oh no! Yeah. Combat zone wrestling. It's it's wrestling. <laughs> it's like it's like jungle <laughs> wrestling. It's like uh, but like. It it's gotten better now, actually. Like originally, yeah, it just yeah, used to be better. death matches, hardcore matches, people bleeding, shock and all bullshit. But like John Moxley's come through it. A bunch of other people have come through it. That I was I, gonna I, say. Yeah, that I, I like. I think Eddie Kingston, and now it's actually a legit promotion. Yeah, it's a uh, it's cleaned up since that era. It was kind of like around about the two thousands, like the early two thousand era, which was like okay, this is a bit rough. Yeah. Like, Fuck around, yeah. 
but I wasn't into that that much or anything like that. But what was great was it had Ring of Honor on it as well, and that's when I started getting into like indie wrestling. Uh, yeah, yeah, from Ring of Honor. I kind of it's weird. Like the, my journey through wrestling's been a bit weird, which was uh, I got into it obviously when I was younger, and then I had to sit down with my parent and was like, Kieran, it's not real. <laughs> what? And I was like, Oh, oh, oh yeah, I, I had to, like, I think I was, I can't remember if I was 10 or 11, I got to sit down, which was like, it's not real. Wow. This uh, is, this, so I, this is cool. Sorry? This is fucking cool. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, this is like fucking, oh, this is like garage, this is like the yeah, garage band version of ECW, this is fucking sick. Well, uh, I Back mean, that's what wrestling. ECW was. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, yeah, it's kind of, it, it's like a, it's two steps above backyard wrestling. Yeah. Genuinely, the, oh! It, now it's a lot less brutal fucking shit like this, but it was, yeah. It was where are they based in? Uh, where are they from? This actually? is fucking rad. Midwest, um, I feel like. I think they were Midwest, yeah. I wouldn't know, but I barely know my own country to be fair. <laughs> like, you know? Ours is so fucking big. It's got VCR, dude. Yeah, this is fucking rad. Yeah. Whoa! Bull Worthless! Great name. Thank Welcome, Bull Worthless. Worthless. That's a good name. Yeah, it is. Combat Zone. Well, fuck, dude. Combat Zone Wrestling. That's a great, that's a great yeah. name for promotion. Combat yeah, yeah. Zone Wrestling. Hell yeah. <laughs> Their theme, like, that's the one thing that I always remember is the theme. It's so cheesy, it's great. Um, yeah. All I can remember is a John Moxley interview where he just, like, fobs off the entire interview and just starts singing the CZW theme for no reason. And it's like, he, he gets it. Yeah. He knows how good it is. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's cheesy, it's wrestling, it's... You know, like it's meant to be. Yeah. Have, so, have you been keeping up with AEW and all of the stuff going on over there? Well, that's what happened. Was I dipped out of it, and then I started watching like Pride FC and MMA. Okay. Um, but the one thing that, like, say Pride FC did that the UFC didn't do was the theatrics. Mm. Like, they, when 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 a fighter used to walk in to like the ring in Pride FC. It used to be like a whole spectacle. There would be like a whole like kind of like song and dance about it. And I was like, I kind of miss the theatrics of stuff. I kind of miss it when it was like there was a storyline happening. Yeah. So I actually got back into WWE around about the 2011 era, mm -hmm. which was obviously like the CM Punk. The best time to get back time. into it. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Because it was um, Punk and Brian. Yeah. And then. It was because I was like still in touch with like say Ring of Honor. I followed like the Young Bucks, mm -hmm. um, who were like super green when I started watching them. It's so weird. Like, um, I started getting into Kenny Omega because not because of strangely enough, not his wrestling really. It was because of a gif of him, like doing a um, final atomic buster. Yeah, you know, like a Zangief oh, move fuck. to like a doll. Yeah, in uh, in glitter or shimmer or whatever it was. Or no, it was DDT. Oh, and then, and then real fast, um, Ben Show's asking, where's the AEW game? So yeah, like last month, they did announce from the director of like the no N64 Mercy. WF No Mercy games, like the B fucking wrestling games, they, they're teaming up with him to give you an AEW game. So it's still in development, like, I think next fuck. year is what they said. Yeah, like yeah. I would I would expect by 2022 for sure. Yeah. But yeah, they they, they have like concept, they, they hired the guys, so it seems like they're just starting or in the process of it, but also it doesn't seem like it's going to be a massive like game, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked, so we'll play it as soon as that shit's out. I'm very stoked on it. But yeah, they announced that they got the fucking Japanese uh, director of the original games, which is, like, such a cool sign of it. Yeah. And it, what's good about it as well is that they're not taking... It looks like they're not taking themselves too, too seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Like, one of, one of the things I didn't like about the WWE games is that, like, they're always pushing it to, like, oh, it's the most realistic, most realistic. It's like, that's not why we watch this. Yeah. That's not yeah. the reason why we want to play this. We want silly matches. Like, we want... I mean, he gets like a lot of stick for it, but um, oh shit, what's his name? Who's like the guy who's like um, he came up with most of the ideas during the Attitude Era, but he's not very well liked. I think he Vince, moved to WCW. Vince at one Russo. Point. Vince Russo. Yeah. yeah. Like people like to shit on Vince Russo, but if you look back at anything which 
was considered like a really good idea or a really good gimmick, it unfortunately tracks back to him. Huh. Wow. Yeah, it's, yeah I mean, he's a smart, he was a smart guy, for sure. He just didn't have the fucking... Um, he was too pro wrestling for the business world. Oh yeah, and that's and that was his problem. Uh, his ego came before his writing, so uh -huh. you know he, he put himself as champion at one point in, in of WCW. Course. Of course, yeah, because he's like, "Fuck it, I'm writing all your fucking storylines." <laughs> that's like some Looney Tune <laughs> shit, yeah. It, it, but you that's know what? It cool. makes sense as a heel move. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Oh, the kids, that's what Vince are doing in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was his turn to this try. This guy it. fucking yeah. it's coming in now. He's doing it like you're supposed yeah. to hate it. That, yeah. You know when, like, as a kid, I'm like, oh right, you are. Like, I hated Jericho so yeah. fucking much. Bravo, Jericho. Yeah. You know, like every stage oh, yeah. of Jericho's career, he's landed what he's wanted to do, and that's why he's genuinely like the best wrestler maybe ever. Um, yeah. But definitely of that of this generation, because um, <laughs> he's fucking insane. Dude, Bl Blinded Fish said Arc System Works should make a wrestling game. A fu like that would be so oh, fucking sick. Fuck yes. Fuck yeah. yes. Uh, like guilty gear style yeah. wrestling like game. Hyper an yeah, like insane. like hyper anime graphics. Like yeah. fuck yeah. Oh my god, it'd be fucking so cool. Uh yeah, holy shit. Um well, uh, yeah. I was just thinking that it was just like what would that look like? And I thought, you know what, our systems would make it work. There's no need there's yeah, no reason. And then it's to, also like, it's like, it. like 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 you know, like King of Fighters has rest, has grapple characters, fucking mm -hmm. Street Fighters grapple characters. It would just be the whole roster's fucking grapple You know, it would look like oh, King of okay. Fighters, it'd be that. Uh yeah, but yeah. King of Fighters is technically wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Actually, like King of Fighters I, like the the more Eric and I were talking about this, uh the more I'm watching AEW, it's King of Fighters. It's one hundred percent. Okay, okay. King of Fighters. Yeah. It is a crazy yeah. ass booked championship league with all of these weird <laughs> fighters. They're in teams of three. And like, you know, there's the American yeah, team. There's yeah, the yeah, yeah. Their stables the are very, yeah. It's, it's, uh, I mean, which again, that's what King of yeah, Fighters yeah. was making fun of. Yeah. It's pro oh, wrestling. Yeah. yeah. I like, I never really realized that it was like pro wrestling, but real for them. So, like, you know, as a kid, I'm just like, this is cool. But yeah, they always had the storylines, the gimmicks, everything. Like, and now they're doing it on AEW, and I'm like, this is this is perfect. I'm so happy with AEW because it's King of Fighters, and there isn't a new fucking 15 coming out, so still gotta wait on that. <laughs> Got AEW yeah, in the meantime. Okay, well, yeah. I did see I like at some some I don't know if it was someone in China. I forget where where someone bought like the majority of shares of SNK. Oh, so technically, <laughs> yeah, technically yeah, Saudi Arabia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is, so hey maybe maybe they'll turn around who knows uh, <sighs> they announced KOF 15 at Evo and I think that was two years ago now yeah and then that and that's the other thing too like in a post COVID world or like any I, I don't anything. think anything like yeah. pre 2020 is I don't expect anything to still stand yeah so if stuff yeah. still happens yeah. like wait yeah like because there was something in the works a few years ago and I don't know if that I don't even think so, like I don't even think this yeah uh yeah yeah yeah. Oh my god. Because SNK was kind of, I mean, they put out Samurai Showdown there. They were, they're starting to build Samurai momentum Showdown's again. A huge yeah. success, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, I mean. That was what. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was interrupting you then. I was just going to say that was a game that I thought wasn't going to do well, to be fair. And it's actually done really well. And I was like, I'm super happy for them. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Because, you know, I will always have a, sp a, a very, very dear spot for uh, SNK and King of Fighters. Like, I wouldn't be friends with Eric without SNK. I wouldn't be friends with uh, with my friend Artur, like with so many people, without playing King of Fighters and, and getting together. Those games had so much fucking heart and story to them. So, like, you know, I really, I, whenever they're doing something, I want to try to support them because they still try to make those games. And, uh, yeah, dude, I, I like, I hope, I hope that Samurai Showdown keeps doing as well as it is so that they keep getting that support and they can make more King of Fighters. Because people did like 14 once they actually sat down and played it. It just yeah, looked that was cool. Yeah, because it was like, like developed by a team of like 10. Jump to 3D, but once they played the game, it was like, no, no, this is this is like amazing. It's just they didn't exactly like the jump to 3D so much, and it was like eh, they had to do it sometime. Unfortunately, like they did and they didn't. I mean, you got games like Guilty Gear, which I guess are technically 3D, but like you know the way that King of Fighters 13 and 12 looked were go like gorgeous nobody was complaining about the art style but those were a fucking shit show to animate mm. 
You know, they were shit show to, to program oh, because yeah. they were making 3D models, flattening them, and then hand coloring them. Like, fuck that. That's worse than pixel art. It looks incredible, <laughs> but just it wouldn't it wouldn't be viable. So it it made sense for them to switch. When you seen like I remember when I first saw the uh I think it was at E three, you know, Dragon Ball Fighters. I remember watching it and just going like, Oh, okay, I see what they're doing. They're doing Guilty Gear but with Dragon Ball. And it's like, well, it kind of looks the same at the moment. So when they did the next trailer and I saw how good it looked, I was like, that's insane. Yeah, like, like Dra- Dragon Ball Fighters. sorry to interrupt, but that game was also... I, I played that for quite a bit because of how, want, how fun it was. I want every fighting game to go to that 2D, 3D art style. It's yeah. it so good. Like, if Street, so if Street Fighter good. 6 ends up going to, like towards more of that, like... It looks yeah. like the anime. Like, yeah. Like, that's what the I loved about it. The impact of these games are so hard. Like, you... The art style is great, so I would like having like, yeah, King of Fighter or a blue, uh, Blaze Blue like that. That would be like a dream. I would jump on Blaze Blue. I would jump on King of Fighter. Yeah, if that happened. Yeah, right. Like it would be so cool for them to do that kind of art style, because like it's just you know like uh, the other option would be like Killer DLS says it uh, in jest, but like you know the other option because King of Fighters was always trying to be more realistic is to go the route of full realism. You know, like having their characters look like real people. That would be cool, but I still think that having a cool cartoony art style helps make King of Fighters what it is. Oh, uh, everyone's saying that you, you don't even need to mess with this right now. Oh, we, we, killed, we, killed, we, killed, we killed this guy on an earlier stage. Like, oh, it's, it's totally doable. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think that that's really fun that, um, that you were able to, like, yeah, kind of see the fun of, like, wrestling and fighting games and how it all kind of ties together because it really is all the same oh wait yeah um aew and ceo like you know like a big um fighting game tournaments they did a crossover event didn't they a couple of years ago so there was an like aew show and then i think it was on the saturday and on the friday there was a tournament, like a big, like it was like Capcom sponsored tournament. I think yeah, it was either the Street Fighter tournament or it might have been Evo. And I think Kenny Omega and Xavier Woods, excuse uh, Austin Creed, um, yeah, competed in it. I don't, I don't remember how how high they went, but I know that uh, Razor sponsors Kenny Omega. Yeah, so he he, he deserves it. He's he he went like that's one of the like one of the things that i first watched them in was there was a series on youtube r.i.p it's no longer going uh called uh, excellent ventures of gutex and mike ross yeah and they had as a guest kenny omega and oh, you just, you're good don't worry just as it just has like uh how long ago it was i think it was like 2015 it like barely has over like 50,000 views no one really knew who Kenny Omega was he didn't really like blow up or anything and then next thing you know he's like this big megastar yeah like, it was so nice to look at it was like ah this new fresh face like who has been around for a while but it was like the Okada matches that like re- oh, well I would like to say Bullet Club as well like the whole Bullet Club feud yeah pushed him into the stratosphere and it was so good he was yeah he was he started it with uh, with Golden Lovers too. Like he he was doing oh, cool, yeah. crazy things already, and really he just got to the pinnacle of what he wanted to do there. I feel like. Oh and, yeah, and like, also um, he, he needed time away. Oh, sorry. Ooh, fuck. I was gonna say he just yeah. he needed time away so that people would want to see him wrestle there again. He did everything. He is genuinely one of the best performers, one of the best wrestlers of all time but definitely of this generation and he's like you know he's 34 or 32 or something he's like my age welcome rancaro i still can't find i died earlier and i don't know the fuck my souls are but hey speaking of souls guys it's time for the big dogs halftime report we've been going live for an hour and 16 minutes holy shit we got nyrake on air as well as the lovely audrey holy shit but guys we wouldn't be able to stream if it wasn't for our proud sponsors you the big dogs Damn and right. super shouts out our last donator 38 minutes ago carlos gave three carlos. gift subs to people in the chat fuck yeah speaking of gift subs of the week mustache doctor 
Little Saint Nick, Santa Claus, dropping gift subs. We had 13 gift subs earlier this week from Mustache Doctor, five from Ron Gina, Baragus, Angry Bananas, Mangle Tiger, Snoozy. Thank you so much. If you want to be on the gift sub leaderboard, one gift sub to a fellow big dog gets you on there. And hey, our bits, holy fucking shit. Brian, take it away. Yeah, we got Mustache Doctor at the top of the bit leaderboard with 1861. We got Snoozy with 1600. DDB Fuck with 1000. Yeah. Baragus 500. Bullock Online 300. Mangle Tiger 202. H Shex with 200. Gold Dragon with 200. Audrey with 100. And Jimmy Jazz 332. Holy with fucking 100. shit. Nyrake just Nyrake. donated on air. On air. Fuck Over yeah, Nyrake. The they just. Hey, I was telling somebody today about our stream. Because that's what you should do. Tell people who you oh, 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 my dash doctor just sent in a thousand bits. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Nice one. Oh, my God. Ever. Thousand bits. I was telling somebody today about the big dogs while I was at work. I woke up bright and early today to do some shooting for the holiday season. And I was telling them that on the big dog stream, you just got to tell people about the big dog stream. And then you're a big dog. So thank you to all the big dogs who come and hang out. Big shouts out to everybody here in the chat. Big shouts out to Nyrig. I was telling them about how when you get on the bit leaderboard and somebody else's spot has been now usurped, we call that getting beaten off. Yeah, dude, holy shit. No better place to get beaten off than the big dog stream. Holy. You guys want to beat off somebody? All you got to do is donate bits. Thank you. One on one bits. Have a top dog. And you can you beat off be, Audrey and Jimmy Jazz. Thank you. If you want to be like our good friends, don't beat me off. <laughs> oh my God! It's a high bar. One hundred bits. Holy shit, Audrey! Thank yeah, you for donating, Audrey, supporting the stream. Thank hey, you, Audrey. I was stoked. Audrey's streaming. Oh, oh Red Caro Red just Caro sponsored the stream. Top dog. Thank That's you so Red much, Caro. Red Caro. Oh, no. Fuck yeah. Five dollars from Red Caro. Red Caro. Hey, Ren Caro, we have someone's got a special message for you. Hold on. We have a special thank you message. Ren Caro, holy fucking shit. Thank you. Here's our, for five dollars, we have a special thank you. Here's a special thank you for Ren Caro. Holy oh. shit. Thank you, Ren Caro. Oh my god. Alright, Slipknot fan wants to say something to you. Oh. Yeah, this is the Pledge of Allegiance tour. I saw him like a month after this. Thank you, DDB. Holy fucking shit. Thank you, Slipknot Hell fan. yeah. He was thank excited. You. He was excited. Not only Slipknot fan, thank you, Rencaru. Thank you, Nyrig. Holy Fuck shit. Yeah. We got a big dog stream going thank on we right have now. We got 59 you guys big know? dogs. Thank hey, you. the next big dog stream, you're in it. Oh my gosh. It's right now, 59 big thank dogs after guys. an hour and a half. We got the best fans in yeah, the world. Yeah, and... Hell yeah. Thank you, and... Uh, yeah, our friends. Thank you. We have 59 yeah, big dogs here. All our friends. friends. Hey, yeah, fuck yeah. you want to call in? We got our Discord. You can call in and join us. We're playing Demon Souls. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, uh, big dogs. Out here. All right. We're chilling. Nyrake is still here. Nyrake, it's been so lovely chatting with you. Is there any other parting words you'd like to share? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because we were talking about CDs before. Oh, yeah. Um, what was the first CD you bought with your own money? Um. So it was like the first time it was like a. Uh, it wasn't like of an allowance or like it was yeah. like a, because of how much CDs used to cost it was like a financial decision 
Yeah, because I remember, like, as a kid, if I, like, there was, you know, the great period, if, like, I wanted a CD, I would I beg and ask for it, and I would, my parents would get it. Yeah, but, like, for a while, Like, yeah. I vividly remember, like, going into Fi Electronics, FYE, buying, like, the Aqu- Aquabat Smiths and Legends. Um, hmm. I remember going I to... I have mine. Yeah, Audrey, well, Audrey what's it was, yours? It was my very first item I bought with my very first money I earned. What was it? Was it was uh, My Chemical Romance. Yes! Three Cheer for Sweet Revenge album. Fuck well, yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I always I w- always kept that a secret. Um, so I'm happy uh, I can share it. Yeah, it's fucking cool. That's so cool. Uh, I'm Did trying to think if mine was like a Red Hot Chili Peppers album. Oh, I remember buying great. I bought like or, the greatest hits when that came out. Because I'm like, I'm thinking, and I got a CD player in sixth grade. Yeah. So, I think like I got given a bunch of CDs. Like my mom bought me and my brother uh, the Star Wars soundtracks. Okay, yeah, on, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, nice. But they weren't like the official John Williams like conducted. They were done by the London Philharmonic or some oh, shit like that. Yeah. So they were like, oh, yeah. you know, they. they, they it fucking didn't sound any different to me. Um, orchestra is orchestra. It should sound the same each time you read it. Uh, but I'm trying to think after that if it was like maybe the Mace album, but I feel like my cousin gave me that too. It was either the, either that go. or like Will Smith, Big Willie style. Okay. Or a Limp Bizkit <laughs> CD. It yeah. was either Limp Bizkit. I can't remember if I liked Corn or Limp Bizkit first. And if it was, uh, it might have been, it might have been, uh, might have been Limp Bizkit. I, I very, and now I remember buying like, was it vol, volume three the subliminal verses that hot topic which was very cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, because like for the longest time the the, the majority I got bulk, bulk of my CDs was like my mom would go to Russia. Yeah. And yeah. she would go to the electronics black market and buy burned CDs, which they would do the artwork and everything, but they should buy bootleg CDs for like what American equated to like ten cents to our dollar, Something which like that, which yeah. was like yeah, still like. The cost Such, of the CD. Right? It was so fucking cheap. Um, and say, so yeah, my mom got me, like, Bloodhound Gang, Offspring, Limp Bizkit. Like, whatever was cool in, like, the year yeah. 2000, 2001, 2002. Um, mm. And then, yeah, as I got older, then, yeah, going to Amoeba, spending, like, allowance on, like, Primus CDs, no effects, and, like, building up my... Record. You know, yeah, like, my, my taste, and then, and then like, collecting ska stuff. And, then, and I still have, like, my... Like I trimmed it down, but I still have like twenty CDs that are like, oh yeah, this th- these are all like good and important. Did to we me. do this yet on stream? Where yeah. we, we talked about it? Yeah, I think I think you kind of did show it off, but like we, we, we had like our CD book. Yeah, we never like fully went down the memory lane of it. I still, still yeah. I still have all my yeah. I, the cases are at my parents' house. Yeah, but I still have all of the CDs that that I bought during that time. Yeah, and I remember that because that's what was nuts is you had the fucking Iowa like that was you yeah. you have all the original Slipknot things. Yeah, and thank you, <laughs> Dee. Uh, oh, they bought the self-titled Blink-182 record. Fuck yeah. See, it's funny. I never... I didn't really get into Blink-182 until, like, end of high school. Like, so at that point, I had just downloaded all the stuff. Like, right. Like, because early... Like, it was, I would hear it on the radio, or I would just download the MP3s of it. But I never actually, like, tore into the albums when they were hot. It was just, like... Oh. It was, it was like, later period that I was like, oh, this is fucking genius. Holy shit. Killer DLS brings up one that I know I got. Oh! I got WWF I, The Music y- Volume 2, the one with the oh, worst man, version of Stone Cold Steve Austin's theme song. Because it starts yeah, with, the with. By the step. It, it just starts with, you are completely pathetic. Ew. And then the glass breaks. The glass Ew. breaks is the best part. Ew, that sucks. What the fuck was mine? I think I'm. But it had Shawn Michaels' theme song, had Godfathers, had Sables. Uh, to piss my brother off. The whenever. greatest theme song. Stables? One of the greatest theme songs. Be you know, even even though I'm British, no care angles theme song to me is like one of the greatest. I remember when I I don't can't remember what CD it was on, but I remember when I heard that I was like, you know what? I hate care angle, and this is great. But that theme song is beautiful. It. My uh, the one I fucking had. I, bu- I remember I bought from Warehouse Music. Yeah, was fucking WWE the answers so at the time. It was already branded WWE WWE Anthology oh, collection. Oh, that had one, two, and three. So this was a collection of like the Federation years, Attitude Era, and uh, now, which was you know John Cena, Rey Mysterio, like the 2005 yeah uh, Ruthless Aggression era. And I and like I still listen to it when I go for a walk. Like that music legitimately hypes. No, it, it does. Yeah, it like hypes me up. It's all it's all great. But that's something. And I think that CD we ripped to all on all my friends' Xboxes. Oh yeah. Like we I ripped that yeah. CD on my the CDs I ripped to my Xbox was like the WWF music, Slipknot Volume Three, Red Hot Chili Peppers Greatest Hits. Those were like the three CDs. I totally forgot that WWF Anthology record I fucking listen to all the time. 
Um, and then I did recover my soul, so now, so now we're good. Fuck yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, the WWE anthology uh, was fucking great. Yeah. Uh, I always liked... Her album... Oh, God. Oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say, the first ever album I bought was... Uh... System of a Down, Toxic. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I burned I burn that one. I, I ripped that one. And, and the second one I bought was uh, Slept My Eye Out. Fuck <laughs> yeah. Which my parents found out I bought and was not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> they were just not happy with me buying that at all. Yeah. I saw it in the shop and I was like, I've got it. Like we, I just heard it. Like I've got to take this CD now. I mean, the one. Good. Oh, no, I was gonna say the one that I bought when it was um, it was out of like my own personal money because originally that was like me and my brother. The one that I bought with my own money was uh, Queens of the Stone Age, uh, Songs of the Death. Holy oh, shit! Yeah. HG Hex donated six dollars six six cents. He said, "Hey, the Brothers of Destruction are via satellite just now and have a message from Master Chief after last week's Cyber Slam." Okay. Holy shit! Let me let me let me manually type this URL. Uh, if you want to post it in the chat, we'll pull it up. But I can't I can't like pull it from that donation uh okay h8 db1 p a i'm hoping those are eyes 3g did i get it oh what the fuck is this well, you made me type you made me do the hard work of typing this shit out three words for you <laughs> go yourself it's pretty good <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's not often you see take or break character. Man, say okay. Does not, the last oh, ride? Professional. Does the last ride documentary have enough of retrospective? Because when I looked at the previews, it seemed like it was just his like his big retiring tour. I want like a whole retrospective. Yeah, it's his whole. It's like yeah. the whole career. Yeah, if it covers his whole thing, they, they've basically been retiring him for a year because that's what you do in wrestling. You extend. Yeah. The if you know somebody's going, let them go out like yeah, that. Yeah, draw ticket sales. Like, hey, come see this. I'm, yeah, I mean, I, again, I'm surprised that he didn't retire on his back. Like, most people don't go out yeah. like that. And the fact that he was able to... Uh, did he do a match post AJ Styles? Yeah, I thought he did. I thought he did a, a match. Like, I don't fall, so I legitimately don't know. I thought yeah. he had a match after that. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I keep thinking he had the rematch with John Cena, but I know that didn't happen. Oh, in Saudi ever. Yeah. Okay. In Saudi, they had that shitty-ass match, which everybody makes. Like, even they were like, we shouldn't have done this. <laughs> yeah, it was rough. I mean, like, hey. well, you've seen Taker's face afterwards, didn't you? Uh, he, wasn't, he wasn't happy. No one was happy. How do we get no. Saudi Arabian sponsors? Is that, is that, that seems like WWE has a big market. <laughs> I don't want it. Oh, hey, I don't know. Hey, well, don't don't want to be involved in that. Hey, oh, is that right? Okay, so I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's good to talk. Then. It's like Pinky in the Brain here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, Pinky's obvious. Can you imagine if like a Twitch stream got a fifty million dollar donation all of a sudden? What Whoa, we do, Brian. <laughs> Whoa, dude. The same thing we do every Tuesday, Frank. Whoa. Try to put on a stream. Wait a minute, dude. If we had a Saudi Arabian... If there's a prince who wants to sponsor us... Oh, dude. God. Hey, I don't know. The donation's there. We'll do a stream from Saudi Arabia. Oh, that'd be cool. They have a no, stream. we won't. I would. I can't go to Saudi oh, Arabia. what? Why not? <laughs> it's not that hard. Neither can you. What? You're fucking half Jewish. What? You don't have to know that. They will. They do background checks to what? let you in the country. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Hey, unlike the rest of the world, America lets almost anyone in to visit. There's like a scene in Succession where that basically that happens. The son tries to get like do a deal with like a very sketchy donor. Like I think it's like somewhere, and they get raided by like Bosnian terrorists or something. It's like it's basically that storyline yeah. pulls out, and it's like, oh, I shouldn't have come here. Oh, this is a bad idea, and they and they get they get held hostage. <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh, oh my god uh, nobody's gonna bail us out I don't they, know they who wants don't to pay our money. bail bonds just the, in case hey we have a but we have a budget account or we have an account just in case what if what if that turns out to be our bail bonds account I don't know donate and find out let's see do something crazy do something crazy uh yeah if you want to call and join the join the discord channel you can just hang out in the call in queue we're taking calls we're hanging out demon yep. souls is like a very loungy game yeah. like it's a game where it takes a while to make progress so it's like this was my podcast game this is a game i chat with so it's like hey we're, we're inviting people to chat 
Um, Nyrick, you've been such a pleasure. Dude, thank Dude, you. Dude, call calling. in again. Yep. It's, uh, again, you're, you're such a lovely person. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah, man. Please keep watching. Thank you for the 100 bits. Um, yeah, I guess uh, the last question, you might have already mentioned this up top, but what are you playing right now? Like, what video games are you playing right now? Um, I was dipping back into, for some because I was watching your stream, uh, I don't have a PS5, but I was dipping back into Dark Souls 3. Okay. On PC. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. I got evaded three times and died and lost all my souls. It was great. So, so that might be a game to dip into in a future stream because like, we got like halfway through it and I got distracted. So that oh, would be yeah. one I could get back into. Hey, great suggestion, Nyrick. Take call. You take take care. You are an excellent caller. Hang out yeah. again, dude. Th that what a pleasure. Wait, wait. Yes, thank awesome. you very much. Your voice is very nice. It is. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheers. They cheers, do. everyone. Thank they, you, do. they do do that, don't they? Take care, Nyrick. They, 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 they do do that, don't they? Kieran, what a fucking awesome caller. Oh my gosh. Hey, Jablia. What's up? Jablia. Jablia. Jab Yo, what up? Oh my gosh. I'm on the big dog. Yeah, how do you Jablia? how would you how do you how would you like us to pronounce your name? Uh I picked in like grade four and I've had to say it out loud like three <laughs> times tops. I think I it's just Jablia. Jablia. Alright. Jablia. Jablia. How are you? Jablia. 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 I like that. Jablia. Jablia. What's up? Welcome. What up, Jablia? Uh, yeah, take the floor. Anything you want to say, ask, talk about, you got it, dude. I'm doing good. I mainly just wanted to chime in because y'all were talking about first CDs. Yes. I just want to come in. As, I just want to say my first CD, fucking, I think it was 2005. I went to the mall, the local HMV, because it's up in Canada, and I got fucking Crazy Frog Crazy Hits. No! <laughs> Holy yes. shit! Oh, yes! yes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to think, the only novelty CD I had was, yeah, I had, I had fucking WWF the Anthology. Man, novelty CD. Oh, dude, oh, wow, that's, that's so that's cool. But like when I was growing up, I didn't really like care much about music. I yeah. just listened to whatever my parents had, and they had fucking yeah. like cassettes and shit. My yeah. dad would have like Led Zeppelin. My mom would have like Women and Songs Volume Seven like <laughs> compilations Women with like fucking like songs. Lil, Lil Fair type stuff. <laughs> lady music, ah, oh, lady here. If, if lady. that is a real <laughs> CD, can somebody please? Women and Songs. Oh, I, oh there's a stack like oh, just a bit away from me <laughs> right now, just like Lady and Songs, lady and songs Volume Seven. Lady like, and Songs. Three. They even have their own music now. Oh my god. <laughs> music now. Wow, Lady and Songs. <laughs> Holy shit, that's great. Well, fuck yeah. But no, that's, so yeah, Crazy Frog was like the first thing, because I saw like, I saw the fucking music video with the dick in it. <laughs> oh like, yeah. Like bunch of music up here in Canada. It's like, I have to own this. How old are you when you got it? Right. I think I will have been like, oh, Nine, yeah, nine, that, nine again, eleven. Yeah, I, I love, yeah, yeah, I, that's, yeah that, that, that checks out. That's fucking fascinating. And then I didn't buy like any CDs again until like I became a hipster in high school and started buying like Beatles stuff. Yeah, okay, sure, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. That's Fuck yeah. So, so yeah, I just listened to Crazy Frog for I guess like, what is that, like five years instead of actually buying CDs. Dude, whatever works, man. Like, That's fucking awesome. For the longest time, hey, check, check this shit out. All I listened to was the radio. Yeah, the K-Rock, dude. I fucking, like, yeah. Like, all, it yeah. was 933, fucking all my local stations. Like, like all the time, it was just, oh, when, nope, no and, good song, no we, good song, we, no we good kind song. of have this privilege, too, of, like, we're from San Diego and Orange County. There's fucking band, like, there's music scenes here, yep. so the radio yeah. is hip. Like, I grew up, I, I, I was obsessed with K-Rock because they were my tastemakers. It was always fucking Pennywise, White Stripes, like, yeah. it was, like, good, great fucking SoCal music. Offspring, yeah. like, it, it definitely morphed my taste, but it was like, no, this 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 kicks ass like I, I you know like yeah like and and now audrey we I, we had the radio on sometimes you're we driving around and and it was fucking it's a blast if you if you find a station that puts on good shit like it's i like the radio because it's just like that that serendipity of like oh i wasn't thinking like the gorillas came on like right a, yeah. a, a few nights ago i was like oh this song rocks well, like i yeah i'm charmed when by the it. radio was actually like what it needs what it should have been like yeah Cool music by DJs that are brought in there as specialists to Taste play makers, music yeah. for the area. Then it's awesome. That's why LA always will have great radio. But like, yeah, in San Diego, there's a lot of people who are older. Okay. A lot of people from uh, you know more of the rural areas of San Diego, East County. They like country music. Uh, I mean, we have two or three country stations in San Diego, um, and and it's only whittled down from the five we used to have, which is a lot for a market. Wow. 
Um, you know, compared to like how many hip hop stations in LA? Oh, I listen to Power. I listen to Power 106. Yeah, again. like every so often we'll catch. There's a there's a there's an AM station from LA <laughs> in the morning. I thought you actually farted. Um, but we'll catch it in the morning when it's clear. Cocky man. <laughs> I got so scared I shit my mouth. <laughs> I got so scared I shit my mouth. I got so scared dude. he was coming right at me. <laughs> I shit my so mouth. I flipped that. What was that? I had like a little. Why the people I, had, do it I had like a little <laughs> mouth fart. It was like legit. Like my soul escaped my body for a second. I got so scared. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> I shit my mouth. <laughs> Oh fuck! That was so Jesus scary. Man. That was so fucking scary. <laughs> I got his like spit on the monster. Yeah, is he shit your mouth? <laughs> oh, it's so scary. I was so tense. Oh my god. Oh, I'm scared. You didn't throw up. You didn't. Uh, you didn't spit. I had you like shit a, I burst. Mouth. It was just. I don't you know, know how exactly that exactly what you meant. I don't know what <laughs> happened. My I, I know. it was just pressure. You just shit your mouth. It was great. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. a skunk. I tried to. That's what I feel like my grandma would spit at cats. Like some old. I don't really? know. My grandma would get so weird to like neighborhood animals. It makes sense. Because like I, I think understandably, imagine back in Russia, a neighbor, a street cat is probably fucking ter dirty They're and terrified. Dirty. Here in California, they're lovely. Just, I think yeah. I think my grandma had natural defense mechanisms. Yeah, like when, my, my grandma still. I mean, even my dad's like a little weird about yeah, the cat. My, when my grandma would see. A cat. <laughs> it was cute. Yeah. She would like, she would, it was so fucking. I don't know. She would like blow at it. Because also they were domesticated <laughs> yeah, over there. Yeah. So that meant it was gonna come and take your shit. Yeah. Like yeah. some food that you yeah, have. Yeah. I don't you know. think they're crafty now. <laughs> cat owners who are watching. When they want what they want and oh, you're yeah. not daddy or mommy, they're fucking dicks. Yeah. They're wor like dogs will come by, they'll leave if you yell at them because of Pac Man's yeah. A cat's like, no, I want my fucking food. And it'll just come and steal your shit. So yeah, that's so funny. My grandma too. She when, when we got a cat, she'd be like, "Fit." Yep. Yes. Fit. Yes. Fit. What is that? That's such. Well, old in, our, in Arabic, "fit" is like go away. Like yeah, it's, it's, so it's kind of disgusting. It's the, so yes. Like it, it, my, uh, my grandma. Now she would I, grab my. She'd look at my feet and she'd be like, "Fit." I'd be Wait, uh, wash your feet. <laughs> I I I I would be sad as a little kid because as a little kid we had the Super Nintendo in the living room. I would sit on the carpet and play Street Fighter. My grandma would sit on the couch. <laughs> I don't know, just be old, whatever. And just <laughs> play solitaire. And just my and, yeah, I don't know, drink tea or re she'd read Russian novels. And like a cat would come up to our screen door, and I'd be so mystified, like oh. And then my grandma would fucking run up and bang the door and scare the fuck away. <laughs> and then in her mind, she was protecting yeah. me. Oh my no god. Cat's gonna come steal a yeah, thing in front. yes. Like I think really that's yes, why. She was like, oh, do. this filthy street animal's yeah. coming to protect our little precious uh frog chick. I get it, yeah. Oh, oh my frog god. <laughs> Fuck. Also, welcome all night, man. Holy shit. What up, all night, man? Good to see ya. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh shit. And a handy reminder: if you got Twitch Prime, you can pop your Twitch yes, Prime. Yes, please. Thank do. you again. Our last order, H E Hex. Hey, we always do say Tuesday night we order food. Uh, tonight yes. we got oh. Mekong Thai food. So um, good. Next to book off in San Diego, Mekong Thai is so fucking good. Uh, they know my order by now. They're so lovely. Yeah. Support them. It's kind of close to Jordan Jones's place too. Um, yeah, we I got the Pad CU spicy level three. I still have some leftovers. We ate it in oh, advance. I, it's gone. Uh, it was amazing. <laughs> so everyone who donated tonight, yesterday, fucking Ron Gina, you guys helped pay for our Thai food. Shout We're out. still kicking ass with Demon Souls. Um, we'll, we'll we'll play Cyberpunk in the future, more arcade games. But yeah, I'm I'm having a good time. Like I said, it takes it takes like an hour yeah. to like gel. I feel I'm good now. I feel good. I was really tense up front because i was like oh fuck uh, getting into a flow of this takes a while now i'm now we're kicking ass and we're, we're now we're now we're up in the air we're That's chilling good. i'm glad you're feeling it because like i had the same thing happen to me i started playing tetris i think after our last stream um and i was playing it late at night and i was like not in the flow right away and yeah. i was getting really like frustrated and then about an hour passed and I realized that I'd been playing for an hour and that I had turned my brain off. And I, yep. and, and what? I it's was the same forcing thing with, myself to do that. It's the same thing as driving a car. Yes. Sometimes I'll get so tense, especially if I haven't driven in a few days, like yeah. in these COVID times. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Once I get in the car, I actually will 
Because we can drive from where we are, just go down the street and get on the freeway. I will drive around the block in the other direction as a warm-up. Oh! Because I feel like my brain isn't, like, primed yet. It's like, I need to kind of remember. And then I'm warmed up. I'll get gas. And then, but, like, it yeah. takes, like, it really there is some, like, startup to it. And a then, oh, bit, and then yeah. I'm not nervous at all. Um... Yeah, like, I, cause I just, cause like, I feel like I get, I just chill in my apartment so much, and I get in a fucking glaze, and it's like, oh my, cause it, I need, it, that's why I like going for a walk in the day, cause hitting that sunlight, yes, like, so important, it's, uh, it's unbelievable how much time I spend in the apartment now because of COVID times, but like, yeah. I've been reading on the balcony trying to go for walks, like, it sucks, like. It, it really went like yeah. Frank. You would be gone at least three times a week because of uh, you know school. Yeah, like, I was, being I, was teacher. I was teaching typically like, like two days a week and yeah. doing an extra office day. And then you'd have your office hours and stuff like yep, that. Yep, and then yep. you'd go and having to do your yep. like your administrative things yep, too. Yep. So you'd be gone out of the house at at least three yeah. times a week. And, and it was nice though because that when it was home, it's oh I can relax. But what I'm kind of starting to do um, last week basically last month when audrey was here uh jordan jones we set up the extra computer and now yeah, we kind of it was on today we kind of had an extra computer and it's like danny o'dar talked about this with no clip too but it's like oh if you do some of your work in a separate station yeah like i know so you have a stand-up desk sometimes yep. you'll edit in a different place like it kind of helps break it yep because when i'm sitting at this computer i just want to hang out yep. i have discord open i have itunes i'm chilling but i like it and i can do work when i need to but it's like i don't want to do emails in this space anymore i'm done i just want to play yeah. here you know so it's not it's like doing administrative stuff from over there it's yeah. like but even when i was when i'd go to the gym i would that's what i would do my social media stuff there you go. it's like being in different spaces helps it and uh yeah i don't know just i was gonna pull up the uh camera but it took a second to, yeah. to load up lag up whatever whatever uh, <laughs> oh magel tiger nothing better than a oh my field. fucking god magel tiger magel tiger Shout holy Magle fucking tiger. shit oh my god um Nagel Tiger, you just gave three dollars. Holy shit! Oh, yeah, we still have a collar on the one. Yeah. Oh Hello. my. Hello. How are you doing? I did. You guys went off. I didn't really have anything much else to say, and I noticed there is a little dude in the call-in queue. Oh. A small boy. All right. So feel free to take him. All still right. Happy to be on the show. I always, I always watch when I can. Jalblia, I love the dude, old school thanks. CD call, dude. Yeah. Feel free to call in again, Jalblia. Incredible call, yeah, dude. Absolutely. Thank you, thank, thank you. you for the topic. That was thank great. you, that was amazing. Nice hanging out. <laughs> I, I wanted to do a quick thank you for Magel Tiger. Yeah, Magel they donate three dollars. They've been coming every stream and donating. Yeah, it's again, okay. my my in did the fucking Nvidia thing crash again, or did I actually yeah. close it? Oh, I thought you closed it. Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, there it is. Um, Magel Tiger, we gotta give oh, a little, we gotta Magle give Tiger. a little thank you. For you, what's like a? I'm trying to think of something cool I can do. Or right, I'll do a magic trick. I'll do a magic trick for Magel Tiger. Okay. Three dollar magic trick. I hope it doesn't involve a pen. No, I've done this one a lot. Let's see. Uh oh. Let's see. All right, Brian, we get your hand on the uh, the correct button. Okay. If I do this right, if I do it wrong, I don't know what will happen. <laughs> okay. Magel Tiger. I'm gonna do a magic trick for you. I'm going to dislocate my thumb all right okay okay all right it's what? been a while we're no. gonna have to, we're gonna have to say the magic word okay we're gonna say magel tiger three times can you do this for me brian okay ready magel, magel tiger. tiger three times oh hit the drum roll oh. one more time oh. Ma that was one magel, magel tiger. tiger magel tiger magel, magel tiger. tiger i can feel it oh! magel tiger. I thought I was gonna throw up that. I've never. I fuck that hurt. Fuck. <sighs> oh, Mangle Thank you, Mangle Tiger. Thank fuck. you, for 100 bits. Oh my what fucking god. What a magic god. trick. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Holy fuck, that was incredible. We don't. We don't have any. You got all your digits? Yeah, I you think good? I got all nine. I got. I'm good. I got the. Okay, I got the extra one too. Yeah. Okay, we got everything. Got, yeah, 21. If you're a guy. Okay, we're good. All right. Wow, so it turned into Metal Gear. Don't pants me, Brian. Brian just tried. <laughs> Oh yeah! Let me check. Let me let me check. <laughs> don't you don't you Metal Gear your friends? Is that stuff I've done? I <laughs> <that crap. laughs> 
It's not this kind of stream. Oh, That's man. on our OnlyFans. Yeah, oh, Big my Dogs God. Only Big Dogs is the OnlyFans. You touch each other's <laughs> dicks over the pants. Yeah. Oh, that's legal. Oh my gosh, dude! Oh, shit. DDB, we're, we were hanging out in the manga section at Barnes and Nobles, dude. Anything goes. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember oh. being in high school. Barnes and Noble was the best place to make out. Right? Hey. All right, after school time, guys. Let's have fun, positive vibes. We're gonna hang out with yeah. our next caller, little, little dude. dude. We're gonna summon the little dude. Little dude, are you What's out up, there? Little dude? Little, hey, I think little dude's probably streaming. Probably we'll, streaming. we'll keep playing Demon Souls. Yeah, if they show up, they show up. Ron Gina's yeah, Ron in the Gina. fucking house. Still with us. Ron Gina, we, yeah. we bought Thai food for our stream today. Thank Mekong you. Thai in San Diego. Your donations and HE Hex we, we helped us buy Thai food so we can do a big stream. And we're calling in. We got little dude on air. Little dude, what's up? What's up, little dude? What's up? Dude, we're little dude. We're chilling. Little dude, you want to report in? What? What's? How are you doing? Where, where, how, how? How's your? How? How are you, dude? You had a big day. You had school. Now you're chilling with video games. Are you streaming right now? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck how's yeah. your stream going? Uh, stream's going good. Dude, I like that positivity. Dude, great. Holy shit, dude. Oh yeah. Did you get all your homework done? Uh yeah. Fuck yeah. Dude. Oh, that's little. I like hearing that. Oh, yeah. Rangina. Just gave a gift sub to a fellow doll licker. Thank what you, up? crazy saxophonist. Welcome. Oh my gosh. Well, fuck yeah, little dude. Little dude, you, it's been incredible. You joined our stream like a week ago. You've been showing up to almost every single stream. What, what's it? What's it like of the big dogs? What do you yeah, think of the I big dogs? It. Uh, really, a really good community. Wow. Heck yeah, dude. That's so fucking cool. Um, what? Yeah, man. That's that's crazy. Uh, yeah. Did you have a question or any topic to bring to the table tonight? Uh, no question. That's cool, man. Hey, what's your favorite subject in school? Uh, uh, no pressure, no pressure. Uh, lunch? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, hey, are you yeah, doing, yeah. like, Zoom classes or are you back in an actual school? Uh, I'm doing Zoom classes. Okay, hey, so so is lunch, like, do you hang out with your mom or what, what do you do for lunch now? Uh, I chill with the big dogs. Yeah! yeah! Dude, little dude sitting at the cool table. <laughs> Holy shit! Dude. Little dude, what's it like sitting at the cool table now? Awesome. <laughs> dude, dude. dude, little dude. Hey, guys. Little if, dude's a dude. If you guys don't follow little dude yet, follow little dude at little, whoops, little, under, little underscore dude underscore one. one. Yeah. Holy shit. Little dude, how long have you been a Twitch streamer? Oh! Uh, for, for a long time. Really? But I then I took a break. I, I, was, I was like streaming when I was like uh, nine. Really? And then, I, and then I'm starting to stream. Holy shit! Are we gonna kill, we gotta kill this demon. He's trying to talk over little dude. Dude, you're streaming at nine years old. That's fucking crazy. That's crazy. That's really cool. With with the, s the same PS4 setup. Uh no, I will. I was well. That time I was like. I always use my dad's PS4. Oh, cool. Okay, that's very cool. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, I saw you. Are you stoked for PS5? <laughs> Wait, what? Are you stoked for PS5? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Hey, I hope it works out. I hope you end up getting one. Uh, in the meantime, you've been playing Dying Light. How do you like that? Uh, scary. Yeah, dude, I I played that game. That game is freaking intense. Are we already back here? I got, I got, so, I got lost somehow, dude. Oh my gosh. This game's scary too. I, I don't... Oh, okay, I'm gonna kill these guys. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We kill these guys and then they drop the bridge. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, well, that's sick, little dude. Um, yeah, little dude. Wow, all right. Um, hey, have you told any of your friends about the big dogs? Yep. Oh, are they? Are any of them here in the chat tonight? Uh, I don't think so. I think, so. I think they're all asleep. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, sleep's important, especially at your age. Totally get it. Totally cool. Well, hell yeah, little dude. That's that's so awesome. Um, other than Dying Light, what uh, what games do you like to play? I, mean, I like to play Fortnite and GTA. Oh, GTA is very good. Have you, have you played Red Dead Redemption? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Heck yeah. Wow, amazing. What's your favorite game of all time? Or just a game you really like? Uh, I like Call of Duty. Call of yeah. Duty's good. Yeah, Call of Duty. yeah. I love Call of Duty. Oh my gosh, Call of Duty's great. Game. Fuck, freak, yeah, dude, that's amazing. Uh, <laughs> man, that's so cool. Well, that's awesome, little dude. Um, yeah, any, 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 uh, any, any closing words to all the other big dogs watching? 
make sure to follow and subscribe. That's right. Perfect. Oh my God, guys. Little dude. Little dude, always a pleasure coming in, hanging out. You rule, thank L you. Little dude, thank you so much. Hey, I hope you keep kicking ass on your stream. Keep kicking butt and dying light. Uh, and thanks for for hanging out with the big dogs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, have a great night. Sleep well. And hey, I hope you kick butt in your Zoom classes tomorrow. Do it. Uh, thank you. All right. Little dude, we'll talk to you later, dude. You too. Peace. Heck I'm yeah. Oh. All right, he he's good. Hey, he's been he's little dude one's been streaming on Twitch longer than I have. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. And Since he was nine. Oh my god, dude! That's at, cool. at nine, I was still going to the arcade. What the fuck? It was like GTA three. I was playing GTA three. I guess I did like start making videos when I was nine. You know what well, I mean? When like, I was nine, I thought I had superpower. Like I was just playing in my backyard. Real? That's cute. That's yeah. what. See, I played. I would play. I would play outside until, basically, like PS two area era games got so good. I never played outside again. Oh, oh Nick is not green. Rating with four. Green. Holy Thank fucking shit. Rate. Nick is not green. Nick Thank is not green. Four people to our stream. Hey, Nick is not green. Thank wow. you so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Nick, Nick is, is not, not green. green. Welcome. Hey, we're talking about playing outside as kids. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I used to play outside on a scooter, everything. I was relatively, I wasn't fat. Uh, and then GTA 3 changed my life, and I stayed inside and played PS2 for us forever. Um, playing outside. Audrey, holy crap. Uh, yeah, you, you talked about how you, as a kid, you, you also thought you were a frog and would jump around the house. Um, I thought it was a monkey. Really? Holy yeah. shit. Oh. Yeah, I, I would, I would, like, I would, uh, like, jump off my couch and fucking break my legs. Because oh. um, I thought it was a frog. It happens twice. You, oh, wait, I you actually broke your leg? Yup, and I had a, I think you call it a, not a plaster. Anyway, I had a... The cast. The cast, yeah. I had, I had a cast twice on my legs, and, oh. uh, I went back, like, that was like three months difference and my mom had to like the doctor was looking at my mom weirdly because oh, I was she thought come back. Yeah. Oh, they oh, thought no. oh she thought it was like yeah, yeah. You, snow. <laughs> <laughs> she had to explain like no, she just pretend to be a frog on the couch and um yeah, that was a weird moment. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. I would make like special I I I felt like I, I was like super in my imagination really like uh like for a long time even when I was 10 I, I feel like I hit the wall when I got to like high school where yeah. people were like you cannot do that yeah people shit. like beat that out of you. yeah which yeah, is funny people, because they all still want to do it but they but the, think yep, they yeah, can't there's so this they, pressure to so grow, they yep. pressure you to stop too yeah and it sucks because I'm like I still like to make believe yeah and again that's why yeah. YouTube Avenue and Twitch like yeah that's why oh you, you, we still got it we always encourage that exactly. but, you, but, but yeah um Oh my gosh. Yeah, Audrey, that's how I ended up with uh, this pinky sticking out longer than this one. I jumped off a couch. Oof. Oh. See, if you put them together. Monkey prank and frog, Audrey. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, monkey vine. Like, I'm not pushing it out longer. That's just where it sits naturally. <laughs> that far out. Wow. I was trying to run away from my cousin, and I jumped off the couch and landed like this. Just on that. I remember, I still remember how much it hurt. Jesus Christ. It's it was like it happened and I was just like I was like it hurt so bad because it broke three quarters of the way. It didn't break all the way. You So Jesus Christ. I, I had to wear like a little thing on my hand for Like the metal? Yeah, like a little metal thing and it had like my my finger like this. I think it was like how was it? Yeah, like I still have the I had it for a while, but yeah, I had like my finger like that. And I had to have it like they didn't put the actual cast. Um, it was just like a little split. So yeah, be careful when you're pretending to be frogs or uh, jumping off of couches. Yep, yeah, it's not a, it's not the great. I think that's why I loved cosplay so much because I, I was like, oh, I can be yeah. like the character I, I, I thought I would be when I was young, but now I'm dressing up as it. That's exactly it. And people think it's cool, so. Because it is. It still is cool to dress up. Like, every Halloween, that's why Halloween is everybody's favorite holiday. Because you get to dress up as another, like, character again. You get to be a kid again. You get to cosplay. We like to make believe. Like, I don't know, it gets beaten out of us and then people just don't do it anymore and they become, like, you know, dry of that creativity or they funnel it into yeah, a different way and, and, or but, something. And then that's why, like, actually, yeah, little dudes here, like, if anyone in high school, if you, ha if you ha haven't 
like if you're still gonna go in high school or even in college, take theater. Theater, because again, theater just cracks that open. It's like, nope, we're still doing it. Yeah. And it's great. Like theater, I lucked into taking a theater class, and it was like one of the it was one yeah. of the best things because I did the whole theater program, and then my my film my, my school had a film program, and because that film program was so impactful, it made me want to be a film teacher and sh like yeah like it like all that from taking a drama class. Um, it's also great public speaking. Like theater is such a great fucking thing to do in yeah. high school. Uh. Great to do when you're a kid too. I mean, we always had like school productions and so oh, and yeah, so on yeah. until like about fifth or sixth grade. Fifth grade, sixth grade is when they stopped doing them. But then like I took band for sixth and seventh grade, so I was playing clarinet for those years. And then in eighth grade, they had like a rolling elective every quarter. So you would do like guitar. I forgot what the other three were. Oh, like not home ec, but like some sort of like art class and then like two other things. I forget what they were, but the guitar one was cool because they taught us just how to play like simple guitar songs. Um, but yeah, like stuff like that is always good. And that's why, like I said, I, that about nine or 10 is also when I started to pick up a camera and do Dragon Ball Z shit. Hell yeah. Like I figured out how to do instant transmission in, in videos and then me and my little cousin would make videos of stuff and I would be like Vegeta and he'd be Piccolo and we would both like, you know, fight and whatever and pretend to do Dragon Ball Z stuff. And he's six years younger than me. So thankfully, I also had a cousin who was six years younger than me. So I could still play with him because it's like, oh, I'm playing with my little cousin, you know? And, uh, and that's why I've also kind of liked to what Frank has said too about like being a teacher. You know, I always still try to connect to people who are younger than me because it's like, well, you're you're what's going to be the future. What's interesting to you? Yeah, what are yeah. you doing? Like that's that's why you know Frank and I are friends too because he's also five or six years younger than me, like my cousin is. But like, yeah, he's he's got he knows his own things. He knows his own stuff. He and my cousin don't know the exact same stuff, even though they grew up around the same time. So it's interesting to have like different dynamics. Even talking to Audrey when she was when she's here or whenever we get the chance to talk, like it's so cool to find out how different the upbringing is and and seeing what lives were like for people when they were kids uh i'm always fat my biggest thing i'm always fascinated with is like well audrey talks about it all the time but like doing school in the zoom era because yeah. like man like the fact that i had to force myself to drive up to cal state fullerton and like sit there in the fucking classroom is like i don't know what like again I, that's why i'm always praising audrey the fact that you're still doing it is like i know how much endurance and strength that takes because it's like man I, I don't even i can't even i mean Technically, I'm like hosting classes on the other side through Zoom, but even that is like is like it feels so unnatural. And it's difficult, so that's why I really do commend people like Maggie JB, like Audrey, like like little dude. Like again, I feel like so much of our audience are college people. Like the fact that people are still doing this like online learning in the Zoom era. Like thank you guys so for crazy. still persevering, uh, because yeah, I know it's fucking like hard and unnatural. So thank you guys for not giving up and still chasing your yeah and still chasing your dreams, right? And like uh, it, it, it's got to be so hard, especially like I know so many. I'm at the age where I know a lot of parents whose kids are in zoom classes and it's just been so hard to keep them oh absolutely you know engaged keep them on task keep them like even today when i was shooting we were shooting at my owner at the owner of the company's house and his kids are there they're learning and we wanted to have one of them be in the video because it's a family-owned store so you know he's a third generation butcher he doesn't know if his son's going to necessarily do it because he's six or seven years old but he wants his son to be in the video because it's a family thing and we're we're shooting this thing and you know 10 minutes later the mom comes in hey the teacher's texting at me asking where where the where your son is because she oh. he's not in the in the zoom class and it's like oh right we can't just take him away for 20 minutes because he's oh, in school especially like formal school like you have to yeah. take attendance and all that shit oh my god yeah yeah like it was in the middle of the day but it was just like where's where is he we like uh, the teacher saying he's not in the class it's like oh man and imagine if you're a parent who can't have like a babysitter man. or a, or a live-in teacher like the one nice thing is like because my sleep schedule was so fucked up in high school that I'd wake up so early. Like, fuck all that. If I could just roll out of bed and do it. I don't know. I mean, again, it's, 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 yeah, it's a, it's a whole different world. I mean, yeah, we, we get to experience our own stuff from working from home, but yeah. It's really hard to, um, like, actually do things because the Zoom class, you can just, like, alt tab, put it, like, smaller and play your games, which is, like, it can be cool, but then it comes to the week of, like, oh, you have your exam they have to do, and it's like, oh, shit. Um, for what I do, it's not really applicable because it's just like project I need to fill out. But for someone who do like 
like classic learning and then you take an exam, I, I think it would be hell, especially for me because I cannot like um co not co coordinate myself, but just discipline myself to actually like listen and study if I'm not in like an uh like a learning environment, mm. it's really, really hard. So Zoom classes, if I would be in high school, I think would be a nightmare for me. And then real fast, Jimby just hey. gave a gift sub to Crypto X O R. Thank you, thank you, Jimbo, and thank you, Crypto X O R. Welcome, Crypto. Uh, I think it was Bedazzle. Mm -hmm. Someone said earlier, "Oh, I can't donate much now." Hey, no worries. Just hanging out, you yep. might end up getting a gift sub. That helps us out. Hey, Mr. Rockbot. Thanks hey, Mr. for hanging Rockbot, out. Mr. Rockbot, take care. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, it, 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 that's why I was kind of saying like it's nice being able to have that second desk to do work because I don't ha I don't have a second monitor, yes. so that reduces the tendency to oh like fu fuck around and look yeah. at something else. So I will I will like watch YouTube or something specific over there where it's I'm, I'm like more focused on yeah, it. Yeah, that's um, good. Yeah, it's uh it's hard. It's really hard. Yeah, you just you have to you realize that you have to reduce your own inputs and that means limiting yourself, which means parenting yourself, which means not being a kid 99 percent of the time. Yeah, and it sucks because as we're sitting here talking about having that you know childhood wonderment and that creativity that you know ability to do that well you got to be able to substantiate that you know you have to be able to keep that going and you can't earn money by being a child uh, and then and then, and then and all the time Oh, I was gonna say unless you're like uh, well, Macaulay Culkin, whatever. Uh, um, hey Jimmy said did I get to the wrong time no there's never a wrong time to never. gift. As long as you yourself can 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 you know can can survive the next day, um, yeah, no fuck yeah, Jimmy, we are honored. Uh, I was just holding on because I wanted Audrey to finish her thought, and then I was gonna highlight incredible Jimby. Yesterday we played Terminator 2, the arcade game, and the fucking ending <gasps> takes place at yeah. a at a fucking I don't know a welder factory, whatever hot metal factory. Yeah. So there's all these welder dudes who come show up to try to shoot us, and I was saying it was Jimby. So oh, Jimby, we yeah, shouted. Jimby. Yeah. Yeah. How, I hope your job's been going well, man. Oh man. Shouts out. Yeah, thank you, Jimby. Um, okay, yeah. So I just repaired my equipment. All right, let's let's check out this new boss. That last one was pretty fun. We got through it. Okay. Did, at any point, were you in Pasadena? Oh man. Oh, uh, you know that's a good question. I don't know where Cyberdyne. Hmm. Because right, Terminator, the video game, takes place so much in fucking Pasadena. So part of me is like, is it a throwaway trivia fact that in Terminator Two, Cyberdyne is in Pasadena? Cyber. Yeah. What the fuck? Where does Cyberdyne? Oh man, that's such a good fucking. That's a good question. Yeah, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Terminator Wiki here for a second. Cyberdyne, where the fuck is Cyberdyne? Oh, it's in the factories in Colorado. That's in Terminator Three. Oh, you know, I'm, I'll say yeah. I'll say I'll say Cyberdyne Network is in Pasadena Network. Ken Domo is. I'm just gonna say yeah. Fuck sure. it. Sure. Uh, Cause they drive on the yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Sure. We were in Pasadena. Hell yeah, Ken Mobach. <laughs> Okay. And welcome, hello. Who's John Donut? Yes, John Donut. Oh man, Audrey, you still working on your cute art? Yes, I'm just gonna make a headshot because. Uh, yeah, it looks really fucking cool. cool. Oh man. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm feeling good. I'm stoked. Oh my god, we go live for two hours. I just yeah. had my water. Thank you again, Jimby. Just donated. Bless you, Jimby. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's power through and try to fight this boss. Uh, I, again, like the way I feel like with this game, if I don't remember the boss, then that means I don't think I had a hard time with it. Like. Probably not, yeah. Yeah, because, like, for most of these bosses, we've been, we've been killing them in, like, one or two tries. Even the spider boss, which I thought I was going to be go terrified with. Go take the stairs with. on the left. Yeah, so it's to go up. It's, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's to go up. So we cleared the big meat worm. Okay. Um, so I think we should be able to, yeah. Oh, fuck. Alright, he's going to... Nope. Alright. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, he's always at this might mmm. Okay. Mm. We're good, but it's like, oh this this might be a good place to grind souls, because if this guy fucking drops like that item, I'm I don't need to spend it, but I'm curious, like, unknown hero does I don't know how much fuck. Watch out. It drops a lot, so um so alright. Hey Oh, I can Looney Tunes this guy. He's got so many legs! <laughs> no! I got nutted! Oh! My nuts! <laughs> Oopsie! Oh, there you go. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Fuck! 
All right, I'm gonna get my souls back. Oh wow, Dylan's saying there's a place in one three that you can grind a thousand souls in a, in a minute. I remember there was a spot I grinded where it was like, I wonder if this will be the same place because there's a place I grinded in Demon Souls that I remember, and it's like, oh, once we get there, and yeah, it's the Phallix mob which is in that. So I, I, it might be the place I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, it's been nice. We've been like exploring, but we haven't had to like sit and mechanically grind yet. Yeah, it's been we've been fun. we've been going at a good place. All right, this. Hey, Jimby's gonna head out. Thank you. Thank for you, Jimby. Everything, Jimby. <laughs> Jimby Rock. Have a good night. And thank you, everyone. We're at sixty-two viewers. I, Getting I, close. I don't know. Like, it's hard to actually. Maybe Twitch analytics might have it, but I feel like. For the bulk of year, uh, it, it was up and down, but I feel like for a while we were around like 40 to 50, and it's like, all yeah. right, hey, that's it. Maximum fun. We've been chilling average our Sunday, Monday, when, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday stream, 60 average viewers. Guys, we're, we're inching closer and closer to partnership numbers, and that's because of people like you who are you know, popping us open on their phone, second monitor, lurking, yeah. hanging out. Uh, thank, telling your friends coming in. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Even if it's for a second. Big dog. Uh, it's fucking awesome. Thank you. And yeah, we have new friends. And again, thank, shout out to the widest kids for rating us and all their incredible people coming in, like Ron Gina and Crazy Saxophonist. Thank you guys so much. Uh, yeah, we've been we've been doing this for just over two years. Yeah. Um, and because of like COVID shifting so much of our work life stuff, this has now become like, oh, this is actually like a fun side job we get to do and we fucking love it. And again, we have so much fun. We enjoy chaos and silliness. And so like, it's like, oh, Larry David Goth. Larry oh David my God. fucking God. Bits. All and right. That's right, Kendomo. Shouts out to Ron Gina. Watch this stream and the cat camp. Fuck. Okay. Larry David Goth just donated 400 bits. All right. Well, hold on. Give me a second. Alright, we're what gonna go. That? We're going shopping. Larry David Goff. Hold on. Shopping? Yeah. Larry David Goff. This is, uh, Larry David Goff. This is such a low res picture. Hold on. Give me a second. Alright. Alright, Larry David Goff. Thank you for donating 400 bits. Give me a second. What? The fuck? Jerry Lewis, hey, what, what are you doing here? You, you, I was going all over town. I find you in the hot topic at the at the fucking Universal City Walk. I was over at the Glendale Mall. I had to go to ten. I got to go to fifteen to fifteen hot topics. What are you doing? I'm changing the music track. I'm like, which which fucking hot topic? What are you doing here, Jerry Lewis? But you, you know. Larry, every time I run into you, it's always something. It's always you're giving me a hard time about what I'm trying to do, where I'm trying to go, what I'm trying to buy. You know, I'm trying to buy my Slipknot shirts here. You, you, just you can't I, come to the hot doing? topic I go Larry, to. Like I get all my Slipknot shirts here. If I show up in Cheryl, if you're she sees me wearing the same Slipknot shirt things. you're wearing, you're she's gonna know this is a secret spot. You can't be shut by the Slipknot shirts at the same place I buy my Slipknot shirts out. What are you fucking doing? You're being a fucking idiot. You ain't even gonna call me for three years after what you did in the movie theater. It was a reservation! I said I was gonna pay for the dinner! You fucking want- <laughs> Yeah! Right. How's, your, yeah. How, how's your divorce subject? Yeah, pretty good. You wanna go golf later? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah how's, how's your game been? Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, pretty okay, good, pretty well, good. You got a new uh, golf club? I, I, yeah. I saw you out there on uh, Instagram with golf club. Instagram? Ah, that was- my aging made me get an Instagram account. Ah, I'm still with that guy? Ah. Oh my God, his, ah. his marriage situation's worse ah. than yours. Larry, Larry, ah. Larry, you know ah. I love you. I ah. love you. I'll look out for you. Hold on. I'm not sure.
Ken Domo, if you cancel your subscription, you can't give us a Prime Gaming. Think about it. <laughs> Larry! <laughs> Larry! <laughs> ah, my fucking wife's a bitch! Ah! I'm Jeff. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. That was our uh, short film, Larry David. Larry, Dom. is this the kind of people you're hanging out with? Come on, Larry. I'm his ex-wife. Oh, Cheryl! She was cute. All right, anyways. She was also in the fucking Larry Sanders show. Dude. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Magel. <laughs> You're scared because they're good-ass impressions. I get it. Oh, it's my like, you God. Know? It's like a regular Bugs Bunny hey, and Elmer Fudd over here. Speaking of impressions, Tylon the Ninja. Hey, how you doing, Tylon? How you doing, Tylon? What's going on? Tom, I think, uh, hey, yeah. How, how you doing? We're doing great. What's up, man? Not much. You saw your stream just ate dinner. Fuck uh, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, Tylon. How's, that, how's the boys comic going for you? Oh, you know what? I, I just got to the part where they're in Russia. Oh, uh, that Yeah. Uh, I had the first six issues. I, saw, I, I looked at them yesterday. I have... The original Wild Storm and Dynamite releases. Holy shit! Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yeah. So now that it's in Russia, so if it's already they had like the gay Batman arc, which was like, all right, that was, it was all right. Uh, but now that they're in Russia, I feel like now it's crossing over into Punisher territory. Like anytime Punish Ennis writes Russia, it's like, oh, he fucking like he goes so, like I, it tickles me because I'm Russian and and, and Russian history is fascinating and tragic. Yeah. And Ennis is able to have fun in that space which is is fucking battered with br like brutal history and just all this fucked up uh, just yeah russian history is fucked up and oh, yeah. and it makes it so entertaining to kind of poke fun at um it's uh it's great but i'm trying to show one frame oh yeah uh like the russian the russian the, 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 the russian mafia send a message to the boys and they cut up a dude's face and fucking oh. put it on a pizza but like that's the kind, same thing as like uh, welcome back, Frank. Like Ennis's first Punisher. It's like goofy yeah. cartoon violence. Yeah. Um, I like it. Uh, pizza face. Yeah, pizza face. Uh, so I'm uh, almost done with Omnibus One. Uh, and yeah, I like it. Uh, ah, it's cool. it's easy to digest. The art's crusty. Like I, I like it. It hasn't like <gasps> this is the be it hasn't hit me like that yet. But I, I like it. It's fun. Uh, yeah. Did you read the full run of the Boys Cylon? Um, I did. Uh, I really enjoyed it just because I like the cool. parallels they would do with the just comic books yes. like Avengers or the X Men and Justice League. Mm -hmm. Make me laugh at just like it's almost exactly like them, but obviously all the superheroes and the boys are a holes. Yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna. I was saying this to, like Spencer last night, who got me into fucking like all, all these comics. Um, is like it's fun reading the boys, and then like oh okay, like put like. Attach it, connecting the dots of like yeah. what like heroes they're making fun of, and it's like like again like tech no tech night or whatever they do this like this like gay Batman and Robin thing like very early on, and it's like okay, but it's like funny how much they're able to write specific jokes, kind of making fun of the Batman character, but like using a completely different name, and it's like again it feels like it's funny it's it's comics are already so silly but it really almost feels very like mad magazine-esque yeah. of just like oh it's this guy I, I don't know, but i like that it seems like he's having fun with it like it, yeah i like it, it it works in the same reason why it worked back then like comic books at that point you were at the end of civil war infinity crisis like there were all of these fucking dc and and marvel things going on that were huge and then you had all of these independent comics too like wild storm and a bunch of other like vertigo which technically is dc making all these really oh, yeah, really yeah. cool comics or punisher max and stuff like that so this was like the boys was definitely Garth Ennis's love letter to, oh, fuck. you know, making fun of traditional comic books and and like, you know, with with, with a with a a fun sort of like violent, the dark look at him. The raddest thing is his original pitch meeting is he wanted the rights to all the DC. He wanted it to take place, yeah, which would have been crazy, and they, they said no. But I love that yeah. he fucking still pitched it because you can't. Well, yeah, pitch yeah. for your for the moon, right? But yeah. you can't besmirch all of those characters. Yeah, you yeah. can't insinuate that and give people even yeah. more. Yeah. So uh, it's like it's yeah, funny. but I like it. Um, but then the other thing I'm gonna start because I imagine it'll be much, it'll be easy. But um, I I'm gonna take back my the last. I rented a Juji Ito book from the Coronado Library, 
And their graphic novel section has been beefed up this year. Hell yeah. Um, they have all of Lock and Key, which is a like H, like a Lovecraftian uh, comic series written by Joe Hill, Stephen King's son. And yeah, they got the Netflix show. Off yeah, that, right? and I've heard good things about it. And so like all the they they have the whole fucking set at the library. So it's like you know what. I'm a fuck it. I'm gonna rent it, and if I finish it, great. If I b get bored of it, whatever. But it's like I don't know, man. I just it's so fun walking into the library because it's just like it's all there and it's fucking free. Yeah, like right? why not? It's so fucking cool. It saves so much money too. Um, so yeah, I'll check out Lock and Key. I'll report back on mm -hmm. it. Uh, Soup uh, Blaze's partner said it's fucking awesome. So shouts out Soup. Hell yeah. Um, Killer Deal is saying that this boss is gonna be tough. We'll see. Ooh, there's an item I never got. Oh, oh yeah. okay. So I think this is where the door was blocked before. Okay. Ooh, now there's other places I can explore. Ooh. Is this and uh, the library? Is it just like you place your order online and then you just pick it up at a uh, outside the library? Or so do they do. So outside? they do have that option. You can place and hold, and they'll pick it up and they'll take it out for you. But no, the corner of the library is back open. They do a temperature check. They have like Ashi was there with me. They yeah. they have this fucking like it's like being in Total Recall. They fucking scan your like touchless, but they scan you yep. and give you a temperature read. And if you pass, you're able to proceed. I don't know what happens if you. <laughs> They just don't let you in the store. Yeah. They just say, I'm sorry, your temperature's over a certain amount, and uh, due to COVID, we're not going to let you in. I, I've had that at a couple yeah. stores. So I don't mind it. I, I was going to say, they, they have they hit the trap door. Um, and then, Skumaruma is saying, did we finish Dune? Oh, yeah, I finished it, like, uh, two months ago. I finished it in October. Um, I get it. It's boring, but I get it. It's fine. Um, there was, I, mean, I think the problem is it was just written so long ago that so much of it's so fucking dry. Um... That's why I'm stoked to see the movie because it's like, oh, he's gonna fucking make this rad. Like, I get it. I had fun talking about it, but it was a tough book to read. But I'm proud I read it because it felt like such an academic book to fucking power through. Um, I haven't seen the David Lynch one yet, but you know what? If I'm really hungry for it, I wouldn't be opposed to reading Dune Messiah, the sequels. Um, oh, so yeah, we played the Dune game also, um, which was very, <laughs> very fun. Okay, fight this MF for a sec. So you're saying the Doom novel was as dry as a sand dune? Pretty much. Y you know what? Yeah, but like, there's cool parts. So occasionally someone will like ride a motorbike off the sand dune. Like it's, you know, it's cool, but you got to work for it. You got to drive out to the desert. It's hot. You know, it's it's definitely a journey. Um, oh, come the fuck Yeah, I mean, on. it seems like science fiction fantasy, so. Ah, oh, lick my Fortnite. Lick my Fortnite. Fuck, dude. Lick my Fortnite! Come on. Fuck. But yeah, it's also funny reading it because it's like, oh, it's the, the fuck, like, all the similarities to Star Wars before Star Wars. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. I did it. I did my homework. I'm done. I read it. <laughs> um, I, will, I will say I do, I do feel for you, Frank. That was kind of exactly how I felt when, um, when I saw Evangelion for the first time. Mm -hmm. Uh, the old show. I haven't seen the, the remix yet. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, I, I watched all the 24 episodes, and there was parts I did enjoy, but ultimately it's just like, I just didn't really attach to it, but when I finished it, I was just like, yeah, I get why this is considered one of the greatest, it's just not for me. <laughs> yeah, and, and there's also stuff where it's like, you have to be in a time and a place, like, you have to be yeah. primed for it, like... You know, like, I still haven't read Hemingway. Like, I still haven't read Hemingway. And as I've been decluttering and making my way through my bookshelf, I'm finding the... I have a layer of vintage... Of, like, Hemingway books. And it's like, oh! Oh, maybe I will read that now. You know, like... You know? And it's just like, okay, you know? And that's how Dune was. And I, I was decluttering today, and I fucking forgot I had a David Fincher book I never read. And it's like, oh! Well, fuck yeah! Now's the time to fucking read it. Um, so, yeah, like... Yeah, I, I think that's. I think the most important thing is, thing is you gave it a shot. Like, I, I that's why I always encourage people like check shit out. If you don't like it, that's okay. Like that's okay. Like, um, but yeah, it's fucking rad that you checked it out. Um, hell yeah, dude. Um, man, we we've been on a journey. I got so distracted. Uh, Tylon called in up top. Oh yeah, we we fucking did a Larry David skit. Thank you, Larry David, for the four hundred bits. That's right. Jeez, I, my mind's blank since then. Um, well, fuck yeah, Tylon. You just got you 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 had work today. Um, today was my only day off uh, in a while, uh, but I still spent it um, doing dog-related stuff. Okay. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah that's good. Um, hey, have you had the time? Are you playing any video games right now? Uh, the most recent game I played was a little bit of Tetris Effect. Uh, okay. 
my my best friend just introduced me to this uh this new uh, well it's not really a new game it's an early access game on Steam. It's like uh it's like a Doom shooter, but it's also a rogue rogue shooter. Okay, what's the name of the game? Um. Uh, Nightmare Reaper. Nightmare Reaper. Okay, that sounds cool. Yeah, you basically play as this. Um, you play as a lady in a uh, mental asylum, uh, but whenever she goes to bed, she's in like this hellscape where she has to fight to survive. And if you die, you just wake up and do it all over again. Okay. Hmm. Fuck yeah. But um, yeah, no. But from what I've seen, it's really cool because you know it's a it's. It's a rogue game, so everything is randomized, but also at the same time, it's all about uh, collecting loot and upgrading your schematics to be more like a Doom shooter, so like taking less fall damage, uh, having better health, having better running, um, as well as like the, the weapons you collect have a rarity system, so it can be anything from like just a normal handgun to a machine gun to like a six shooter that unloads like six bullets at once what what's like the that. uh what's the art style like is it retro is it contemporary is it pixel it's it's retro it's very it looks very much like a like a doom wolfenstein like oh, okay okay or uh uh no the how was the game that you played all the time um yeah it's crunch much it's like do, like dust someone said it looks like an old build engine game dust, so yeah so that right. that okay cool that like okay cool fuck that's yeah sick but the best part about that game is that your option screen is a Game Boy Advance SP. Oh, wow. That's cool. Like, oh. when you're going through your options menu, you pull out a Game Boy, and then you can play, like, Super Mario 3-like levels to get upgrades. Really? Oh, that's cute. So, yeah, there's a lot going for it. I saw it's, like, an early access right now, but um, I was really looking into that. And, and then quick uh, quick side, side rail, um, Doom, Doom Eternal... Game Pass Thursday. Day three, yeah. December there you, third. There you go, dude. Doom Brian will finally be able to play Doom Eternal. Again, one of one of the best games of the year. Game Pass PC this Thursday. Yep. Uh, I'm excited to play yeah. that. Yeah. Alright. Alright, Tylon, uh, before we let you go, do you have any words of advice as we've as, as we're about to fight this boss? Uh let's see. When you're playing Doom install, all you make sure is that you're shaking around and not getting hit. No cool way. Fuck yeah, right. Tylon. Also, your words of advice just inspired. Marty gave hey, a gift sub Jared to Jared Fogel, Fogel official. Thank Welcome, you. Jared Fogel official. Great to see you. Welcome, Jared Fogel. Fuck official. yeah, Tylon. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, Tylon. Tylon, always your a words pleasure. Your encouragement are incredible. We love your you, Tylon. And all your art on your Starbucks cups are great. Yeah, dude. Uh, well, fuck yeah, Tom. We're going to fight this boss. Thank you so much for calling in. Uh, have a great night. Rest well. And, uh, man, just keep being you. You fucking rock. You're, you're uh, incredible in the Discord. You're incredible everywhere. We fucking love you, Tylon. Uh, thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Peace out. What? Oh, Tylon already, already departed. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, fuck yeah. Um... I was going to say, yeah, if anyone wants to call in, join. Oh, my fucking hey, God. Hey, Dumbo Lou. D9 Riley, tier two! Tier fucking two. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Tier two for D Dumbo Loop. Oh my god, thank you for the, oh, the double right. subscription. Riley. Okay. Holy shit. Wow. Brian, how do we say thank you for a tier two subscription? What should we, what should we do to honor the great D9 Riley Dumbo Loop for a tier two subscription? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. We gotta do something special. Oh my god. Dumbo Loop. I wish I had like a hula hoop. I wish I had. What the fuck can I do for Dumbo Loop? Man. All right, I'll be back. Magel Tiger in the drop down. You select what tier you want to choose. You can do up to tier three. Up to you. Oreo. You could do a Jeff Bezos free Prime Gaming. You could pop um, Ron Gina. Wants to ask Slipknot fan. What should we do to celebrate a tier two sub? Slipknot right. fan. We're gonna ask Slipknot fan. What do you think we should do? Oh, Doctor Butt Hugger says break dance. Okay, yeah. You know what? Let's do it. We need a we need like a cool retro beat for break dance. Um, let's see. Okay, we're gonna do some break dancing.
you know how to do that? Yeah, I can break dance. Alright, we're gonna do some break dancing. Actually, Audrey inspired me. Tekken 3 is like a track music. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. Alright. Holy fucking shit. Alright, we're gonna do some we're gonna do some break dancing. Uh, we're gonna, we might do some stand-up break dancing. All right, this is for that tier two subscription. Thank As you. As a huge thank you. Holy fucking shit. Oh, we don't have any quarters. Fuck. Get some tokens. Do we, do we have any? Oh! Ow! Oh, fuck! Ouch! Who the fuck? Okay, we, oh my god, it was like a paranormal activity for a second. Holy shit. Oh my god, thank you for the tier two subscription. Fuck yeah. Oh, f who the fuck? <laughs> who, there's so, something's happening in our apartment. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Bro. You're crazy, Frank. Thank, thank you for the, is it safe? Audrey, is it safe? It was safe at the beginning, you crazy. Thank you. Thank you, Dumbo Loop just gave a gift sub to I take a whiskey drink, thank you. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Dude. Uh... <laughs> It was Slipknot fan, dude. He's got some moves. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Hey! Come out and play! Hey! We can play guitar, too. We can play music. We can do anything. Oh my god. Time to take a piss. Hey, Dumbo Loop. Thank you so much. Holy shit. We want to make your subscriptions, your bits, your donation, your time worthy. We're hanging out. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. Thank you, Dumbo Loop, Marty, Mago Tiger. Oh my gosh. And Audrey, you're 10th place on the bit leaderboard. Holy shit. Thank you, Audrey. No one's beating you off yet, but for 101 bits, you can beat off Audrey. Holy shit. And follow Audrey. No one can beat off your girlfriend. Come on. <laughs> Oh, mon dieu. Hey, Audrey's back streaming Tuesdays. I heard you saying you might think about doing even more streams. Audrey, anytime you want to stream, fucking go for it. I'll be there to cheer you on, support you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I dude. Right now, but oh, my dear. That's okay. Audrey's I'm having a great time. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, and thank you again, Ron Gina. Holy shit. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Okay. All right. Yeah, dude. Audrey's stream today was great. It was lovely. Thanks to everyone who hung, Ooh, came out yeah. and joined. It was great. I, I, I had you on my car, like, dock as I was listening, driving back and forth from Book Off. Um, I dropped I dropped <laughs> off my PS4 because <clears throat> I thought it was going to take a long time for them to assess the PS4. So I dropped it off. Like, I already I already did everything. I formatted. I created a guest. I created, like, a blank user so they could, you know. Um, 
I got home, I turned on your stream, I posted the announcement in Discord, I chatted with it and with you for a bit, and then immediately I got a call saying, all right, your stuff is ready. Shh, drove up to book oh, off, wow. and I got my Thai food, and then we've been uh, playing games and chilling ever since. Holy Ooh. shit, yeah. yeah. I'm happy I was able to stream without the camera. All right, we're yeah. about to fight the man-eater, dude. Who's this MF? Is this guy an MF? This guy looks like an MF. <clears throat> I'm gonna run past him. Hey, you fucking hit me, dude. Chill out. Chill. This guy needs to take a chill pill. Can I, I think I can just cheese this, dude. Oh! Who the fuck? Well, come on. Who does that? Who does that, Audrey? Um, guy behind you, in front of you, over you. I don't know. Oh, my fucking lock on fucked up. Oh! He might got me. He might have gotten me. Don't get me so early. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. This, I just need to get some space. Here we go. Leave me alone! Oh, come on. What a freaker. This guy looks like he fights on the Joker steps. Come on, that was a cheap shot. You're halfway there. It's because he's being a jerk about it. I'm out. I'm out! Oh, fuck off. There's two of them? Are you fucking kidding? What? <laughs> Come on! Jeez. What a dick! Are you kidding me? That's so lame. <laughs> Thank you, Dumbo Loop. They didn't. They didn't want to beat off Audrey. They didn't want to beat off Audrey. Thank you. Thank you. Don't beat me off. What the fuck was that? Holy shit! Ah, <sighs> I don't remember that fight. God damn it. The chat remember it though. <laughs> uh, is that does that fight have a thing where once he gets 50% he's gonna call his buddy or do I have enough time for me to nuke him? Oh this reminds me yeah, okay, okay. We gotta beat the off man eater one at a time. Alright, thank you, Blaze, for the one bit beat off. What? Oh fuck. Fuck you, Blaze. Thank you. Oh, Blaze just beat off Audrey. Guys, we have a new name on the bit leaderboard. Holy fucking shit. Blaze has climbed it along Mustache, Dr. Snoozy, DDB, Baragus, Larry, David, Goth, Mago Tiger, Polygon, mm -hmm. HE Hex. Oh my fucking god, Audrey's back on there. Holy, thank you, Audrey. Supporting my dreams. Thank I'm you so not. much. Don't make me know. Oh! Oh my god. Do not beat me up. Man. Fuck yeah, dude. Man. Thank you. Oh my god, Audrey, for the bits. What the fuck? Blaze is trying to beat off Audrey. Holy shit. There's a war. Uh -oh. Hey, Zero, the Rory. Welcome. We're trying to fight Maneater. When Dylan was talking about Maneater earlier, I thought he was talking about the shark video game. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what, huh? We're playing Dark Souls! I mean, Demon Souls. <laughs> this ain't Man Eaters, Demon Souls. How many times on stream have I called this game Dark Souls? Has that happened? Yeah, dude, Zero the Rory just said, oh shit, he said my name, lol, badass. The, one of the foundations of our streams is you will be seen, you will be heard, if mo more than likely you will be made be you will be made you will be made uncomfortable zero the rory fuck yeah welcome thank you for finding us it's an honor to have you here fuck yeah welcome dude what an honor you're the one I, I can't believe you're here zero the rory what's up welcome oh my gosh thank you for coming in here absolutely that's right a streamer for the people fuck yeah dude oh my god zero the rory holy fucking shit and hey, Zero the Rory's been following us since October. So, man, they're an old school big dog. Fuck yeah, dude. 
Alright, I can't get- oh, oh, this fucking jerk's gonna kill me every time. FUCK! Yeah. Oh my god, Ron Gina. We love Ron Gina. Dr. Butthugger. Ah! Fuck, god damn it! <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Uh, uh, this my. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Dr. Butthugger. Thank you, Blaze! Holy fucking shit! Blaze just earned the Rio emote. Oh my fucking god. Alright. When Brian comes back at some point, we have a special announcement. We have a special announcement. Something I've been waiting to show off forever. I'm so fucking hyped for this announcement. Blaze, fuck what yeah. The fuck? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm so. Uh, you'll have to wait. You'll have to wait and see. You'll have to wait and see. Look, what? You'll have to I'm wait. Your I gotta wait. I can't. I, this is too good. I have to wait for Brian before I can show it off. It's 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 that important. It's very good. What the? Fuck? Yeah. So stay tuned. Oh my god. Thank you, Blaze. Can, thank you, Blaze. Holy fucking shit. Um. Oh my gosh. Oh my. I didn't even tell my mom. My mom might be watching, so she'll be here when she sees the announcement. What? Yeah. My mom. What are you doing? My mom wants a Twitch account so she can chat with us. She might be watching right now. Uh, I'll I'll help her set up one. What should my mom's username be? I was thinking. Yeah, I don't know. That'd be a good. That'd be a good question. We'll see. I'll have to ask her. I'll have to ask her. Yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> How many Twitch streamers have their moms hanging out in the chat? I think that's fucking cool. <laughs> I want that to happen. Too. Right? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh man, yeah. Should I, make, I can make my mom a mod. I feel like I'd make her a VIP. VIP is more special. Well, considering that most of the kids that would be Twitch streaming would be about twenty years younger than you, <laughs> I'd say a good amount of them. And incidentally, they're probably your age. Hey, Brian, close your eyes. Okay. No peeking. We have the announcement of a fucking lifetime. Yeah, I was. I, I got excited, man. Okay. I fast, guys. I am so fucking excited for this. We have to show everyone. Hold on. Right, wait, I'm even gonna hide our display for a sec. Wait. Don't look yet. Okay. Some fucking evil genius has been working hard on this for God knows how long. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Hold on. Alright, as it gets set up... What the fuck? Brian, you can open your eyes. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready to see the greatest yes. video game ever made? Yes. Great song. <laughs> Coming soon to Dreams. Shenmue. Someone fucking is making Shenmue in Dreams. I love that they use investigative reports. Here's an interesting note. Artificial colors, yellows or reds. Let's focus on the red. In addition to FDA and forty, the FDA has approved wow. certain coloring additives. Some are actually poison. If you aren't sure of the additives or colorings in the products you purchase, leave it alone. Poison. That's right. Real dream. Oh my God. We're already playing this Christmas day. Hot dog Tom! They got fucking hot dog Tom! I'm always chilling. Uh, thank you. Well, uh, I think that about covers all of the natural foods out here. Now then, I have to go. <laughs> How fucking here. amazing this. Someone fucking made Shenmue in today. dreams. <laughs> I'm so fucking stoked. Wow. That is some community. Um, huh? I follow a Shenmue Twitter account called Shenmue Forever, and oh, they, yeah. they are posting <laughs> shit every day, and it makes me laugh. Because my timeline is, I mean, now it's not heavy. For, for most of 2020, it was yeah. COVID, it was yeah. fucking, you know, Trump, it was all the scary shit. And then in between all that were all these updates about Shenmue. Yeah. It was just a fun, silly way of just like. I don't know. It, it 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 always made me laugh and smile. Um. So I found that, that out. Great. But hey, we do have Taylor, we do wow. have dreams. 
on uh, the PS5. So at some point, I'm always down to check out Dreams. Um, but we're going to see if we can beat Maneater tonight. Um, fuck this clown. Also, yeah, what is this, the Game Awards? Is that in? That's that, that that would be in December, then, right? Yeah, it's, it should be coming up soon. God, you know the video like video game industry is very like they're they're always moving. So for, for a second, I was like, oh, is there not going to be much shit announced because of COVID? But it's like, no, nope. they're they're ready to announce shit. So it's like this is going to be the state. Like they always announce a lot. If of shit. anything, uh, Animal Crossing and Doom proved this year that, uh, and then yeah. Final Fantasy VII, and everything like proved that people are still gaming, and yeah, more so and, and, like, than ever. I know, like people are, but just in terms of like, did it disrupt workflow stuff? That there's just not like, because like Hollywood stuff, like in terms of shit in production, like there's so there's like a scarcity of just new trailers and yeah, new shit to exactly, announce. Exactly. Yeah. But like it's it's bit like there was no E3 this year, and so that get, like while everyone was re figuring out their work working from home now, because I'm that'd be fucking right to see even Hitman three footage at yep. the Game Awards. So it's like, oh yeah, it's been long enough that like. Like that, there should be cool, cool new shit to check out. I think so. Yeah, and also like making video games, you can totally do that at home. So yeah. people are just like, they. Uh, I have a friend who worked at uh, not Ados Warner Brother, and they said like, yeah, before COVID happened, they already had a plan like three months ago how like things are gonna work. So right when they finally said you cannot work from home, they were already they already had like set up and all of that. So don't worry. Yeah. And they Careful. they were over that shit. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> Come on, I'm just trying to scoot by. Uh, hey, good night, little dude. Good night, little dude. Um, yeah. Yeah, we streamed, night, la we streamed last year's Game Awards with Audrey, so... Uh oh, wait, no, fuck no. Well, I think this is what Brian pitched. You know, you fucking... Know. I'm so excited for Cyberpunk. I'll stream Cyberpunk. But then Game Awards, like it's probably later in the evening. We could, I could probably do like a morning Cyberpunk stream because the game will be out. Right, picking up a, what's up? What it's, it's so Game Awards. Game Awards next Thursday. So like next Thursday night afternoon. Huh? So yeah, the idea of like doing a Cyberpunk stream and then depending, oh, we can just roll into Game Awards or stopping it and then starting it later for the Game Awards. But yeah, um, I had fun doing it last year. I I wouldn't mind uh, streaming it again. Wait. It was cool. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. Cyberpunk comes out the same day as the Game Awards? Yes. Cyberpunk is Thursday. Are, are oh, they, let me double are, check. Are, are they nominated for something? No, like, Cyberpunk, can, can Cyberpunk they? missed the... Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk missed... Uh, came out too late. So th it's not nominated okay, for anything. Fine. Yeah. What's the date of, like, too late for... Uh, nominated? It's like, like a month before? I think it's after? in November. Yeah, I don't know what... Yeah, I don't know when the cutoff was. I just remember when that was announced, people joked about Cyberpunk. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. Is Cyberpunk's coming out on a Saturday? Thursday. Thursday. Weird. Yeah, it comes out December 10th. <laughs> okay. Damn, that it just doesn't seem like it it doesn't seem like it's that close, you know? Yeah, right? Like, like that's like, why that's why I'm like No, like I haven't pre-ordered at Best Buy yet, but it's like, oh fuck yeah, it yeah. comes out next theoretically next week. Um, I keep forgetting it's December first. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. You know, Jesus yeah. Christ. That's why I'm like. Forgot we were stepped in December. Yeah, that's what. That's why I'm like Thursday. No. Wait. Yeah. Wow. I still can't believe it's that close. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah, I have like one more to give in on like December five. Yeah. I'm like, that's like in fucking five yeah. months. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Uh, and then yeah, Nyrek says they watch the game awards for the trailer rounds and the awards are for yeah, like like the, the the awards themselves. I don't care, but the 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 it's the announcements, the hype, all that stuff. It's like oh that that that's fun, and they really do a good job like of of dishing out announcements all the time. Yeah. And then having creators come out and speak is cool, but yeah, I love it. That's what I love about. Yes. Yeah, it'll be yeah. awesome. And then I, I forget what year, but the, whatever year they had the fucking Devil May Cry musicians come out and do this. Like the, the rest of the game, where the tone was pretty normal, and then they had the fucking the hardcore like Slipknot TMC shit happen, which is dope. Shit rules. Yeah, and fucking even even that guy, the the. Uh, that that fucking French designer, they've been working on their third game. So it's like, yeah, even if we can see footage of that, like, yeah, people are making shit. So that that's what I'm excited for. It's just to, just to see, uh, you know, 2021's games. 
And I forget what Big Dog said, but they were in, they are part of the, uh, con like, gamer consultation team for the Game Awards, which is, uh, really fucking cool. Yeah. Welcome, Kid Kuma asked, what's my Spotify wrapped? Is that the thing where they do an end of the year? It just, uh, does it send it to you, or do, do, do you have to, like, request it? They're, they're not, cause there's, like, yeah, a, there's, like, a, there's a day on social media where everyone posts their stuff. I don't use Spotify, so I never, so I never, uh, so I never get that. I feel like Apple Music started doing something last year, um... Yeah, but uh, I don't use Spotify, but... Uh, yeah, I don't really... But Frank Howley is my I Apple mean, Music name. Well, pe people always say that. It's like, oh, w well, you can just look at your most played. Sort by most played on Apple Music. I, that, I don't know. You can kind of see which albums you listen to that year. You just look to your recently added. Like, you can literally see a timeline of it any time. I get that it's, like, cool to see what stuff you... You know, like the stats on what you weren't. I think they made like a to. cool visual, and then it's like cool yeah, they, they, yeah. They, they, they do really infographic. They do really cool infographics, and they make it so that people will so share on social media. And like, yeah. and that and that's really fun. Letterbox does the same thing. The end of the yeah. year, Letterbox is a really cool thing. Um, but yeah, I just I just don't remember what fucking Apple Music's answer was to it last year. Cause I, I, I don't think there is. They they there. I feel yeah. I, I can't remember. See, that's the thing. It's so irrelevant that I just don't remember it. But like, I they there was like something that. That you could opt into and check. It was a beta. Yes, there was a beta page. I remember now. Because someone shared. Wow. I, think, I think Rocco even shared. I was like, what the fuck is it? It wasn't even public. It was a. Sorry, I spit on you. I, I got excited. Did you? It, uh, it was a beta page. It was a beta. I'm not crazy. There was a thing here. I'm trying to remember it. If it was a beta, then yeah, that, that would explain why I knew nothing. Yeah, of that, it. that's what it was. It was like. Because that, that's yep. what everybody was talking about was that how every, every time this year, all Apple users yeah. are like. Uh, alone in the, yeah. in the cold because yeah. they don't get a wrapped fuck yeah and so so theoretically you can't access apple music through this 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 beta thing but yeah last year on their beta website they had their version of the year to the end thing and i generated it and it was like okay what and but i didn't share it because it wasn't like it wasn't cool like it just it just didn't wow me yeah, but I, i'm hoping this year there will be a thing so whenever the apple music wrapped or whatever or, like hey well i'll be happy to share it uh but i don't have it yeah that is uh, again that's that's cool that's really neat and that That'd be nice to know, but I'm also, like, not hinging on it, you know? And I'm not switching over to Spotify because of it. Or, or like, I don't know, like... I don't like to share my music taste because it's, like, it's so... For me, it's so personal, and I don't know. Like, I, I feel like no... Uh, I cannot relate to most people with my music playlist. So every time, I'm just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of just, like, most spins music, like... Yeah, it's um, I, I listen to a lot of no effects, uh, like on my walks, but also because no effects has such a, you know, they, they, they've been putting out records like almost every year for like, or like every few years for like 30 years. They have so much music that you, yeah. it's, it's, you don't get sick of it because there's so much of it. Um, succession soundtrack, a lot of just random, like ambient stuff. And, and that's like mostly video game soundtracks, but like the succession soundtrack, I listen to a lot while walking no effects is music. I've been getting back into bloodhound gang again. Um, nice. Yeah. And then, like, I have all our, like, funny show music, but, like, but, um, but, yeah, in terms of actual 2020 music, I'd have to, like, look at my phone and, and see, like... Right, like, I'd... Yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting, yeah. It's cool. Again, I'm glad that there's a service like that available. Okay, so with this guy, I'm just gonna have to learn how to dodge a ship. Oh yeah, Peach Guy Pop did put out a new EP this year that was very good. Oh, try magic against him. So that does work, but it's uh, I have to, I have to I, he has to be far away enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what I need to do now at this stage is like learn how to avoid his shit. Okay, okay. Is yeah, learn how learn how to avoid his shit because like once once he gets to this danger zone, it's so fucking hard to get out of it. Oh wow, he goes far. Ooh. The thing that's shitty is like once he calls his buddy down, I have no fucking clue what to do. All right. Good night, Marty. Thanks for hanging out. Money. Fuck Beat this guy. Beat this boss in your honor. Finish my piece. All right. Yeah. Bravo. 
Yeah, whenever you want to share it, I'd be glad to pull up. Okay, okay. Man. There's two of them. See, I can get far down here and I can do some magic, but then it's zipping past them again. Fuck. I'm dead. Yeah, Jesus Christ. These guys are probably bummed I'm not playing with them. So like just like with, just like with that other guy, it's a matter of just like uh welcome, laser shit. Um yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a matter of like figure like landing on a strategy and then refining it. Um because even with me it's trying to figure like because I can get a lot of fucking hits on them with melee. When they're far away I can blast them, but doing magic up close, like it's just it's too far like there's just not enough time no, and wiggle no. room to fuck around with no. them. Um so again, anyone watching, if people know a great strategy or way to cheese or whatever, like we're, I'm very eager. Dylan said summon someone, but even then, it's like I'm not comfortable enough with his tells to even. I, I would waste it because I would die immediately. Unless someone watching is wants to be summoned in, or if Dylan, if Dylan, is that how you beat it? Did you summon someone? Like I, I'm, e I'm going the wrong way. I think. Yep, I didn't go up the stairs. Where the fuck am I going? I started. I just got like content and skipping past people. I completely blanked. All right. Oh, and there is an item I can drop down. Okay, Dylan learned it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm down to learn it. Yeah, please, Dylan, or, uh, Daniel, yeah, po post your design. I'd love to see it. Yeah. Uh, I also didn't fucking Fuck know yeah. Meat Bun is still, is still putting out shirts. Ah! That's all right. Uh, yeah, I'd love to see that. Um... Fuck. And thank you, Polygon Lion, our last donator 13 hey. minutes ago. We are in the slump now. We are about to fight a boss for God knows how many fucking hours. But we're I'm committing to it. I'm gonna try. We'll see how this goes. I don't know where we're gonna enter. Uh this is like I won't say the point of no return, but it's like, guys, if you wanna strap yourself in, put the seatbelt on, we're going for it. It feels like I'm going we're going on a long, lonely night drive. This is like a Stephen King short story. We're going down a bad path. Who's strapping in? Who's sitting here with us? Juber is. Someone said they, they think we can beat the boss tonight. Is that happening? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But hey. I believe it. I believe Audrey it. Audrey believes in it. Daniel has a new. Oh my fucking God. This Whoa. Is Whoa. This is. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. Holy shit. That's fucking rad. That's badass. That's fucking cool. Incredible. You are God! Wow! Are God. Wow, the fucking detail! Wow! That's fucking rad. That's really cool! That's fucking beautiful! That's Check really it out! That's fucking cool! That's fucking sick! Wow! I gotta get the fucking monkey guy. Ooh, there's a t shirt version? Oh, fuck! Yeah, Link. Oh my god. Oh, ha <laughs> ha! That's fucking cool. Oh, that's really cool! Oh, it's even got the fucking Manga USA! That's fucking sick. Wow. Wow. That's fucking rad. Oh my god. Yeah, uh this is so fun. I didn't I fuck dude. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, these are cool. Yeah, like Meat Bun is the collective that like Mario, Paul Robertson, oh, Persona, like neat. like Daniel. Is I didn't know fucking Daniel part of Meat Bun. Uh, or yeah, I mean Daniel will be able to speak to the history of it. Yeah. Meat Bun is fucking their their shit is so fucking cool. Um fuck, yeah. Oh that Metroid shirt's dope. Yeah, holy shit, these are all fucking dope. Wow. Yeah, I mean, to be fair. <laughs> holy, yeah, right? Oh my god. Oh, Dracula's Curse. Game Girls. I like that Game Girls. Is this the Mario draw this one? See. Yep, Mario did this one. Like, you can immediately. Yeah, oh, yeah. you can tell her. Style, yeah. Boy. Fuck yeah. It's holy all in shit. the hips. 
Yeah. This one's fucking she draws cool. her women with curves. That one's dope. That one's really cool. Yeah, that one's really fucking I mean, cool. I'll say that about all of them because they're all really cool. Man, the mimic is that, bl- is that a Jinji Ito shirt? This like this Sonic Boom one, yeah, it has that fucking vibe. No, no, no. This, oh, this, this one. one. Um, <coughs> excuse me. That's I I don't know. I just think that's cool. I don't know what that's from. This <coughs> yeah, this is fucking sick. Man, that's fucking cool. Who did this fucking? Wow. Damn. Well, fucking hey, Fuck. Daniel. That's fine. I didn't know Meat Bun was still around. Hey, that's one. Awesome. Uh, that's fucking awesome. You did. You did. So, you've done many things for Meat Bun. I didn't know they were still around. Yeah, check out Meat Bun. Their shit's so fucking cool. Um, that's fucking rad. Oh my gosh. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. God damn it. Oh, is that the tangled assholes guy? Yeah, that fucking yeah. Oh, you did that shirt. That's dope, cause that's the one that stood out to me. <laughs> oh fuck. All right. Oh my god. Fuck yeah, good shit, dude. Thank you, Daniel. And again, thank you, Polygon Lion, our last donor with a hundred bits. All right, we're strapping in. We're strapping in. I didn't get the fire spray spell, cause Dylan Killer Deal has told me to consume my soul, so I fucked up. I'm sorry. Oh my god. But I do have a regular fire spell. Maybe we could use. Um, but no, we don't. We don't have the fire spell. Mm, 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 we follow mm, Dylan's mm, advice. Mm. All right. Come on, Dylan. Come on. It's good How advice. do you feel? But thank you, Gandrod. We're looking it up. And thank you, and H E Hex, our top donator, helping us pay for our Thai food. Thank you so much, H E Hex. Yeah. As well. Rincaro donated five dollars. Oh my god, yesterday Wizard Chango donated three dollars. Ron Gina donated fifty. This guy bugs me the most because he just immediately fucking poopoos everything. God damn it. Oh man. Another option is also just like backing out, quitting, going to a different level. Um, but like, I feel like with this, it's just a matter of just learning how to get the fuck out of the way. Uh, as I'm running, I will jumble and just try to dodge because I'm expecting their fucking dash, and then that just ends up them landing and smashing me. Um, so the the fucking the thing I need to do is just learn this pattern so I can get past everyone, which is like so that's the other, so like. In learning how to get to this boss fight, there's so many, like, hurdles along the way. One, do I fucking meticulously kill these guys or try to learn how to dodge them? That's the first challenge. I can't even fucking get... Like, there's so many things that are pissing me off right now, but that's the game. Is like, can I even skip past these? The first guy I can skip. Um, that fucking guy in the thing. So, yeah. But again, one thing that always makes me smile is seeing a Mario Thug... When I'm, I'm fucking low right now, guys. I'm sad. Not sad. I'm frustrated. I want to see a Mario Thug emote. One fucking Mario Thug emote... And now, I haven't seen that in a while. It's been a while since I've seen the Mario Thug emote. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Got them souls back. Oh, Ralph! Okay, alright, we got it. We got it. We're good. Thank We're good. That's all I need. That's all. I just need a hit. I just need a hit. Oh my god. The power. Okay, there we go. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Gav is Gav back. Is Welcome. Back. Holy shit. Thank you, Breaking Tin. Thank you, Daniel. Ron Gina is still here. Holy shit. Zero the Rory. Oh my god. Okay. Holy shit. Again, it's it's like uh yeah, man, it's 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 uh you know, it's I'm I'm I my character's all alone in this fight, but then I see people dropping emos. Oh, Ron Gina's with me. Zero the Rory's with me. Gab is with me. Blazer shit. Brickington DDB. It's like, "Oh, fuck. I got all my homies with me." And then that gives me the Ah, oh, hey, fucking hey, Brickington. Brickington Just so subscribed. Much. Holy shit. 5 months. Oh, Ron Gina says they can't leave their chair. If you have to go, if you have to- FUCK! <laughs> Ron Gina, if you have to go take a pee-pee or a poo-poo, please go. Or make yourself food. Hey, I do have the Thai leftover food. Oh my god, that will- Okay, that, that might be what I need. Because I've been sitting for three hours straight. Holy shit. Just piss your pants. Okay. I might- I need- I, I think that's what it is. We, we talk about, like, my bra brain turning into mush. Uh-huh. Been going for three hours straight. Yeah. I want to beat this fucking boss, but I, I might need a little food break. 
I don't know. I don't know. Brian, what do you, what do you think? What's your situation? I would say you absolutely need to stop playing. Really? Yes, because you're pissed off and you keep doing stupid shit, then you get distracted by the chat, then you get upset at the game for it, then you do stupid shit, then you get distracted by the chat again, oh, the then you distract yourself by playing videos, then you jump back in with none of that hour of that warm up oh. that you got. So you either need to stop playing oh. eat and then go back to playing tonight. Yeah. Or uh -huh. you need to just stop playing. I think we can beat this boss first try. <laughs> I think we got it. I think we got it. I I, I think So we can I do. think you at least need to eat. I because, think I think Because yeah. you're going into this fight with so much aggression. <laughs> but that's and the not, yeah. And yeah. not following any of the rules. Oh my god. No, that's what the game wants you yeah, to do. Yeah, they want you to beat yourself. Yeah. You gotta let the game No go. dude. You gotta beat the game. We got it, dude. This this is the one guy I don't like. He's being a fucking clown. Don't be god damn hey, you know what? If I dodge it, we got it. We got it. He's gonna tickle me. He's giving me a vibe check. That's the Maddie. He, hey, you know what? He put you past him, book it. Right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he gave me a vibe check and I passed. That, that's our saving grace. I'm I, gonna take I, that as an omen. Like that's all that's the thing. If I could fucking spawn if I could be right in front of the boss, we got this shit. But this yeah. fucking I, he vibe checked me. Th this is the exact reason why I personally know I can't play these games. I I confuse myself into thinking like, yeah. And then a moment like this will happen where it takes 10 minutes to get yeah. back to the boss, and I'll feel how you're feeling. And that sucks. Yeah. I, I want to enjoy yeah. when I'm playing a video game. I know you can do this. I yeah. absolutely... I've seen you do, do worse. And again, the chip on my shoulders. I fucking beat this game already. That's it's the like, other yeah. thing, yeah. yeah. Alright, vibe check. You have two friends calling you. Oh, you might... Yeah, dragon We got blinks and up cultivating. Which one are dragging? Oh man. Hey, you know what? We're on a good flow. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll take a call in a second. Okay. Well, I finished my piece, so I'm gonna post it. Oh, I'd love to see it. Hell yeah, dude. Congratulations. Oh, okay, okay. Look how much we fucking smoked him. Fuck, and now he's smoking us. This guy's a, cl a clown. He's a clown and he knows it. He's a Joker clown. You find him on the Joker steps. I mean, that's not fair. Yeah, oh. Oh, that was my bad. We, hey, did, something, we're doing we good, did something though. right there. We yeah. did something right there. All right. I'm going to get my food. Yeah. We're going to take a break. We did something right. We did something right. Oh, my God. Don't do be doing 15 bits and breaking to subscribe. We did something right. We did. We did. Yeah. That was good. We Take some calls. Oh, my God. All right. Real fast. We're going to take a look at this incredible art. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Holy shit. Guys. Are you ready? Audrey, this is fuck. Oh! oh, there's more. Wow. <laughs> Dang. Audrey, that's fucking. Audrey, this is stunning. This looks really Thank fucking you. great. Wow. I did a baby background. That that's is amazing. Cool. Whoa. Wow. -y. Yes, it's your next Zoom call. You're gonna go in. Oh la la. <laughs> Wowie zowie. All right, I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna reset, and then we're gonna figure out this Thank man eater you. shit. Shit out of this man eater and his friend. Oh my Ooh. god! All right, I'm gonna grab my Thai food again. Thanks to HCX donating, everyone donate tonight so we can get our Thai food. Let's bring some people in. Oh my gosh! Hey, I wish I had that Thai food. We have oh, Blaze man. hanging with us. So good. Anything. Oh fuck. Hey. <laughs> Blaze, howdy. I'm gonna grab Thai food, but you're sitting here with up, Brian Blaise? and Audrey. Guys, follow Blaze. Uh, Big shout please get out. into it. Okay, I'm gonna get some food. Oh, yeah. okay. Sonic. What's up, Blaze? Uh, not much. What have you guys been up to? I see you're chipping away at the, the silly souls. Oh, yeah. Yep. That That's what we've been doing. Just chipping away, oh, collecting souls. Doing, doing it in the medieval times. It, that, this game is really cool. Like, I like watching people play this game. It's, it's so fucking... It's insane, like, how hard these games are on purpose. And it's, right. to, and it's to mold you into playing differently. And it's, it's cool. It's really cool. And it's, and it's neat that people like to play that. Because I like watching people get better in games. It's really fun. Yeah, they're, they're games that definitely tell you, like, take your time, learn, like, patience in a game, uh, and, like, when your turn is and such. Like, it's it's good, like, if you're going to get into fighting games, this is definitely a way in. Yeah. 
That's awesome. Yeah, uh, I like yeah. that. I like it's like having a yeah, it's a fighting game against a, a more challenging NPC, um, right? Or with like a bi- a bigger story. Right? I mean, they tried to do that with Mortal Kombat Sub Zero. I think it was where they had like oh man, Sub Zero anthologies. Yeah. That's a game we still need to play. If they have like really cheesy live action FMVs, that'd be fun. Oh. That'd be fun. Yeah, I remember that being a hard as fuck game. I, got like, I, I think I watched a Let's Play of it once or something. It was uh, it was definitely a game. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's not a good one. It was just like, yeah, there's a 3D yeah. Mortal Kombat because every game had to be in 3D. I get oh, it. They, they wanted to push their platform. They wanted to, to show the technology. Right. I get that. I get it. But I feel like, you know, oh, in that same era, you also had Mischief Makers. Which is a fabulous 2D game. You gave me tissue? Yeah. So there's there's Sub-Zero layer of mythologies. That's like on a 2D plane, but it was Special Forces is the fucking like 3D beat-em-up. I haven't played either. So holy fuck, that would be a... Um... Yeah. And then there's Shaolin Monks, there's also 3D. But yeah. Um... Maybe that was... <laughs> oh, man. Jesus, that game was ridiculous, too. Yeah, all of those N64 uh, Mortal Kombat's were like... I feel like they fell off of what made Mortal Kombat so cool. Right. I mean, when I was a kid, like, it was just like the idea of there being a violent fighter was cool. But then, like, the more they were like, oh, there's all this world and in, in, in all these different worlds and stuff. And I was just like, I, I don't I don't need that. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just, I just, want, like, just let me fight people. <laughs> yeah. I want minimal story and I want to fight through all of them and then beat them. That's like I me. Mean, I would do that all the time. I would just play Mortal Kombat in Mortal Kombat 2 and I would just play through the story and just beat the game right. and, and like whatever like I, it was I don't know why it was fun but it was fun oh my god alright that was very spite fuck now I remember why Jesus that's good hell yeah fuck yeah guys Mekong Thai we're sponsored tonight by HC Hex with $6.66 Mekong you. Thai is so fucking good thank you guys we were able to donate uh, we were able to <laughs> pass forward the donations to Mekong Thai so we can get some incredible Thai food. So we can keep going Hell for yeah. our Tuesday night big dogs. I hope everyone's been having fun. Um, the rest of this has been great. F- fighting the boss sucks, but uh, hey, we're you know it happens. That's All the right. game. That's the game. Um, so we're powering through. Hey, Daniel, thank you so much for coming in, showing off your new merchandise. Yeah, Daniel, uh, you fucking rock. Uh, <laughs> hey guys. Uh, <laughs> I'll say the good thing it looks oh. like you're doing like substantial damage to this uh man eater i was gonna say like, damn daniel all right I had, to, I had to get it out i had to get it out uh no yeah it seems like we're nuking him the thing that just pisses me off is it takes me so fucking long to get to the boss everyone's gotta be a clown fuck <laughs> damn daniel all right <sighs> god damn. thanks for hanging out daniel that's awesome art guys pick up daniel's shirt Oh my God, uh, Blaze! Yeah, did you want to? Did you have a, a question or a top or anything you want to share? Um, yeah. Do you, I was gonna ask, like, do you guys get into phases where it's just like, uh, I, I guess actually, kind of like Brian touched on this a little bit, where and myself, it's like, lately for me, games are just like, I don't care about story. Like, I, I'm in just this mood right now where it's just like, I need gameplay, just constant. Like, give me it, give me it, give me it, um, because like. I've been playing through Hades quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, I, I you know, they've crafted a, a, a great story. Like, the characters are really fun and stuff. I don't care. I just want to keep playing the roguelike yeah, portion. For- like, just keep throwing me into it, you know? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, like it's... I feel like I just finished Yakuza Like a Dragon. Big story game. I Right now, I feel like playing... Like Tetris and Tony Hawk, like I don't, I don't care. Like uh, Cyberpunk, that's a like a week and a half, like a week and a half out. I'll, I'll in de- and go through that. But yeah, it's it's like finishing a really big. I finished Dune, and then the next like ten things I read were quick comic books. Where it's like, you yeah, right. you, you need to like space it up and mix it out. Um, so that's where I go. I'll consume a really big story game, and then I'll play a bunch of short games, big story, short games. Um, so I'll, for like for I feel like for every one big story game, I'll play like three small arcade games in between. Yeah. And I tend to want to play the more arcadey games in general, just because they're easier to pick up. And a lot of times, video games, I just want them to be fun. But what is fun mm-hmm. in a video game is very dynamic. So sometimes, it's like I was saying in previous streams, sometimes it's the story. And I can't get enough. I have to keep playing. 
just to get more of the stuff. story. Uh, Shadow of Mordor, the first one, was that. Uh, sometimes it's gameplay. Um, you know, like, Devil May Cry, pure gameplay. Like, oh my god, it's so much fun to play that. Resident Evil 3, pure gameplay. I love it. I love to play that game. It's just, it feels good. Uh, what a clown! And then sometimes it's all it's all of it together, and that's like The Last of Us 2. Um, mm -hmm. But that tends to also be a more thoughtful game, like Red Dead Redemption 2. And then that tends to also be a game that I need to focus on more. Uh, which sometimes I just don't have the capacity for at all. So it just, yeah. it really does feel like, like today if I were to get, get done and play a game, I'd probably play something like Yakuza. Uh, because it's super light. Um, Yakuza 3, because I started playing that and that's been phenomenal. Because uh, it's Yakuza. But that has, a, that has story, that has fun gameplay, and it has like cool mini games. So I don't have to feel like this... Like, if I went off stream and tried to play a game like Demon's Souls, I'd, I'd be like, I don't care. I would die every two seconds. I'd just, be, I'd just hate it. Um, but, yeah. So that, it really just it depends. But I think more of the arcade fun games where you can just throw something in for a few minutes and have fun with it. That's why I like Tetris. It's like, hey, you can play for nine minutes or Brian can play for three hours. You know? <laughs> yeah, I feel that. So, yeah. I, I, but yeah, that's why that's why I, I love video games. It can be everything. Fuck! I don't want to use this. Uh, welcome, Mustache Shocker. Hey, uh, mustache we're hitting shocker. a boss that I don't like, and I accidentally wasted some mana going into it. Um, so the start of this, we can nuke him like about half. Once he gets close, the thing I fuck up. So theoretically, I'm at the end of the platform. He's at the center. He starts walking. I start stun locking him with magic. He gets too close. He's gonna attack. I need to get the fuck out. Get to all the way the other end of the platform. That never happens. Um, so I need to like stop doing that. I need. That's why I, I need to learn how to fucking dodge his bullshit. Um, and I think what I've done traditionally is I will start dodge like quarter, like left quarter. I need to do a hard left, hard right, and then fucking dock. We'll see how this goes. I hate that it takes me so long to get here. This is it. This is the climb. We're doing it. Uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, we nuked. We nuked him quite a bit. And yeah, let's, we're doing good. I'm gonna try to do a production spell just in case. Give me some extra thing. All right, let's uh, let's see how this goes. Thanks to everyone who's standing by, sticking Fuck around. Yeah, 55 big dogs. We've had consistent big dogs the whole stream. Shouts out to everybody who's been in the chat, who's lurking like mustache doctor. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Ooh. That was a little different. Oh! I fucked up. All right, this is where I'm going to drop it. Is there a way to, like, Whatever stun that him out of his uh, magic spell uh, that he does? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Fuck. It's interesting how that doesn't have full range. All right, I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try it one more time. So, but then I, once it's two of them, it's, I feel like one will fly away. Yeah, I think you just got to focus on the one. Yeah. Good dodge. Yeah. Alright, there it goes. Low mana. Fuck. And I assume like hitting him with like a physical weapon is It's not a bad. Lot less, yeah, right? it's not bad. It's just a matter of like I I don't know his fucking attack, so I get whomped in So don't don't dodge when he jumps up, dodge when he comes down. And I think that's that's where you keep getting hit. Oh fuck, I fucked up. See part of me is like, should I take you know what? I'll risk it, I'll take some health. This is very much like a, this remnant fight we got stuck yeah. on forever. Oh, see, I should have. Oh. Okay, the fact that I fucking magicked. Oh. Good. So now he's halfway. He might call his buddy. Coming up the Joker steps. Man is out. Good dodge. Oh, I was out of magic. Okay. Yeah, you know, if I can smoke him, we might have this. Oh, fuck, I need more magic. Oh, okay. I, uh... You're okay. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck! Who's here? Who's here? This is new buddy. All right, I'll take it. Fuck you. You're good. Other homies flying, so be careful for his flying. Why is he all the way over there? Why does he got bad breath levels? Oh, is he stuck? There he is. Oh, 
Okay, I'm seeing what I, I see what people are saying now. Oh. oh my god, keep going, keep going. So if I switch to a fire spell, I might, I might, if we're doing okay, but I might be able to get a fire spell that might have splash damage, and when they're both on the bridge like that, that might work. So see, so we're doing, we're, we've we've reached this peak now where I have confidence in the fire. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, I mean you're killing it. Like you're gonna get this on a couple more like worst case scenario. Got it. Good job. Good dodge. Watch your back. No, nope, fuck. You good? You good? You good? Shh, oh, sorry, sorry. You're... Oh, that was that was lame. That was fucking lame. I was trying to heal. He zipped me. All I needed to kill. Like that was so close. That was close. You got this. No. If you kill one of them, will it respawn? I feel when right. You go back to the I know. You, yeah. I I feel like that. Fuck. Okay. So now the problem is I'm out of. I do have five full heal spells. I so I might be okay for one more. That was close. And then once good. once one's down, the rest is it. Yeah. That was, I think that's good. The other flash. Thanks, Night Rake. You rule. Thank the you. other flash of a thought is. Do I switch to my fire spell? Because that might do more damage against them. Whatever we did, just Dequan. All right, we're doing this for Dequan. I give the fire spell a try. Yeah. If you think it'll do, yeah. uh, if you if you know that fire is something they're weak against, absolutely. That's what someone said. Yeah. I would say give it a try. Well, Worst case scenario, we I mean, die. Yeah, and the other thing is just do research, like it, it, test it out. You know, yeah. see if it works. Yeah. Fuck it. Whatever. It's okay. 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 God damn! Thank you so much, Dequan. Getting oh, that yeah, little Dequan. duty mode. Thank you. Three man. months. Oh, man. Yeah, I like that that's now just the little duty mode. Right? God damn it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Nyrex got their hands up for you, Frank. All right. Well, as we as we um, get ready for this fight, we're going to bring in someone else from the call and queue. The King Arkwright. Arkwright. Oh, my gosh. Arkwright. What's Arkwright. up? Arkwright. We, we need your, your, your love, your wisdom, your voice. Okay. How are you? Okay. Fuck yeah, dude. Good to hear, man. Arkwright, thank you for hanging out in the calling queue. Uh, Arkwright, was there was there anything you wanted to share with the big dogs? Any question? Any any just great wisdom? You did make weed legal last time uh, you were on a call with us. Any other great announcements or things you wanted to share? Uh, uh no, I, I just saw Gav and other people in there, so I just don't... Fuck yeah! Hell yeah, <laughs> well, man. Oh my yeah. god. Well, Arkwright, it's always a pleasure. Oh my god. Arkwright, do you think we can beat this boss? Yeah. Uh, yo, yeah. Okay, Ark, that's, okay. Ark, right, thinks we can do it. All right, all right. I like that. I like that assurance. That was such a, like, almost dismissive, yeah, of, like, not knocking, but it was just like, yeah, are you kidding? Yeah, yeah, you got it. I mean, yeah. Ark, right, oh my god. That yeah, yeah, it's like when I asked you if you could hit a million points yeah. in Tony Hawk. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, Ark, right. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Fuck, I wish I had more health items. Who the fuck... I kind of want to kill Fat Wizard Man. Can you know you what? Not buy I health items in this. Thing? I don't have enough souls, but like you can't. Oh, yeah, right, right, I'm gonna right. kill. To, I'm gonna kill different. Fat Wizard Man. God. For a few souls. Okay, I got this. Man, I got this. they really, yeah, they really make it hard to play this game. Right, but like that's the kind of fun spirit of like now I know how to kill him. We need to farm resources, and then we're gonna go kick his butt. Like, yeah, we are. We absolutely are. We're oh gonna my beat god. The shit out of this dude. Well, fuck yeah, Arkwright. Thank you for giving us the confidence and strength we need to check in gav the legend gav what's up gav hi gav oh, hey what's up what gav how are you thank you for being in the call queue was there anything you wanted to share or ask or, or call in we're, we're about to go up to this dark souls boss i think we can do it it's gonna take a little bit but i think we can do it but gav howdy mm -hmm. howdy howdy uh i guess one thing i wanted to say is like we're doing the Mr. Robot watch through, and we're gonna be finished season one by Thursday. So, nice. I'm thinking I'm gonna wait for season two on Sunday. Okay. That gives people a few days. If you wanted to binge season one, it's ten episodes, like forty five minutes episodes each. And if you wanted to catch up with us, by all means, you could do that. Is this your first time watching Mr. Robot? No, I'm rewatching. Oh, it for the first so you're time. Our, so man, I watched the first episode, and that, that to me that show just seemed like Fight Club Junior. <laughs> Like, I've heard it gets past that. I heard, I really heard. But for me, it was such a turn off. Of it. it was just, you use a phone, you know, they follow you, the that, and Facebook is just... Sure, it, yeah. it, it, it okay. just, it, But it was like... Oh, like Black Mirror shit. Yeah, but, it, but like even Black Mirror, it's, it's like so great. Like, 
robot, robot, yeah. dark robot. What the fuck is it called, Robot Junior? I'm not Mr. like Mr. Robot. I legitimately Mr. Robot. Like that again. It was it was just the first episode, and I get it. They have to get everyone buying. It was on USA, not fucking HBO. They had to, oh, you know. But uh, yeah, does the show pick up? You're already a huge nut and a fan, but here, sell us on the show, because for me, I was so turned off by it. So it definitely does pay homage to Mr. Uh, to a Fight Club in like season one, especially. But I mean. It gets past that. The mm-hmm. writing is actually smarter than that. So, like, even though it seems very much like, oh, edgy, we yeah. gotta hack people, blah, blah, blah. It gets past that. It also, like, sort of, ref- it doesn't, like, get self referential. It, like, reflects on that in a lot of ways. And by the time you get to season four, you're so far past the, like, kind of quote edgelord stuff that, like, you're dealing with, like, much different, more personal, deeper plots. You get to really love and understand the characters a lot more and kind of get to see like you understand their place and by the time it, it, you get to that it, last and what is it it's it's fucking uh christian slater runs like a club of hackers and they're out there trying to fight the world like i, I get the like what, cool. what, what is it exactly that sounds kind of cool no yeah yeah, so, yeah 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 go for it yeah so season one is basically like the first the first little bit of it is yeah uh rami malik is like super depressed daytime works for a cybersecurity company and then at night he hacks people in this organization <laughs> on morphine too. yeah and at nighttime oh, cool. uh, this organization contacts him and then tries to get him to be a part of taking down the one conglomerate in the world which like owns like 70 percent of the world's wealth they say oh wow hack the planet yeah. it, it it does become like hack the planet yeah wow no wonder ryan likes it like, I thought I know Ryan yeah, said he likes it. Jordan said he likes it. It's my number one favorite TV show of all time. Oh well, if Jordan likes it, then maybe it's something good. <laughs> I don't know about Ryan. Sometimes you know, I, I mean, don't, I, I don't, I don't want to do the old trope because Ryan and I do like a lot of the same movies, but then we also just don't. On is some. um, is the show wrapped? Is it like did it conclude? It was, yeah, it's four seasons. Oh, that's not the guy bad. Sam Esmail from the start said I want to do four, maybe five seasons, and so USA gave him four. It's that's a complete cool. show. It's wrapped. It concludes. The last episode is probably like my favorite TV episode of all time of anything on TV, wow. and also like made me tear up a lot. Great. It really paid off. Well, I thought. Well, I'm glad. And like you mentioned HBO, it's I think it's like even though it's on USA, it's of HBO quality. Yeah, it's they like show it's sex, they show like a lot of different Ryan. like it, it's part of that that like, FX uh, wave. Yeah, Ryan, please sell like again like it's so off my radar and just like I like again I saw the pilot and I just judged it there. But yeah, Ryan, also please please tell us about Mr. Robot. Is Ryan here? I assumed he joined. Someone said Ryan. Oh, right. Yeah. Hello. Can you, yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Hell yeah, Ryan. Mr. Robot is the single greatest show ever on television. I yes. truly believe that. Even as much as I love things like Lost or Breaking Bad, I think uh, Mr. Robot is the most complete package. It's four seasons. There are no filler episodes. There are no bad episodes. It is a complete storyline with a beginning, a middle, and an end, and it all pays off. There's no you know, threads. There's no anything that someone's like, what happened here? Or they forgot about it. It is a full story realized, and it's amazing and i can't say anything else because the entire show is a spoiler you have to watch everything so, you have to pay attention yeah, to everything so, so here's like the but, next threat because like episode one it's like i don't fucking need to know i get it but do they start like getting like I, i'm assuming yes that they the, how many episodes until they actually get deeper with all this shit because episode one was just like yeah i fucking I, I don't know it felt like such like surface level stuff by episode two are they already kicking is the show already kicking ass well, and doing shit yeah, or so to take like a bit that first episode is they talk about that hack they're trying to do yeah like, to get inside the e-corp and i think it's like episode at end episode two beginning episode three they were like done that hack and then they're moving on to other stuff okay bigger yeah. stuff. and again we, yeah. we talked about this with tylon again like maybe just at the time and place i was really hungry for like prestige tv like yeah shit that was like okay give me like yeah, I mean, it's easy to brush off a cable TV. Yeah, show. and that's where it was just like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was, like, too genre or, like, there are too much of an... Yeah, 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 like... It had an image of trying to be something that, it like... Like, yeah, I kind of remember now. Like, it was trying to be the next thing in the marketing, and at any time something is trying to be that in, its, in marketing, it sucks. And that, and that's, like, like, what the tone of it was. It was just like, oh, we're going to teach you something you don't know. Yeah. And, and, and again, uh, but again, it's like... Yeah, the show evolves. I heard other people say it's good. But. That's how it was 100% for Breaking Bad with me. It was like, this is the new gritty show. This is the show that everybody's watching when they're not watching Lost. And I'm like, nobody has once told me what is gripping or compelling about the show. They've just said, it's so good. It's the greatest show ever. And then I, saw, I sat down and had a conversation with Frank. And he's like, here's why it's good. 
Like, here's the writing plots. Here's here's the setup. Here's the elevator pitch for it. Oh, now that sounds okay. interesting. You know, like, mm-hmm. like Ryan, everything you just said is how I feel about Lost. And it's like, oh, yeah. even if I watched Mr. Robot and I maybe disagreed with you, there's no way I can convince you of that. That means they put the effort to try to make a complete story. So by, like, relation, that sounds like a pretty cool show that I actually would be down to check out. Because I'm looking for something fun, sci-fi, oh, oh, yeah, you yeah. know, like... I was gonna, well, the yeah. thing is, as much as they sell, it's like, oh, it's a hacker story. Yeah, it is, but that's not what it's about. Yeah. yeah. That's not what it's about at all. So yeah. even hearing that's 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 like, like, like a... Yeah. Yeah, it's a driving force, but not everything about the show. Yeah. It's yeah. a character story. It really and is. It's, yeah. ba- yeah, it's based on one guy, and everybody else around him is just there, but you focus on the one guy. Oh, kind of like Nightcrawler? Not to say yeah. the side characters are bad, though. The side characters yeah. are great. And, like... No, no, no. I'm not saying they're there. But it's like yeah. all the side stuff, all that is all just playing to this one character. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, okay. So For me personally, I was uh, I knew I was hooked in episode three. Uh, Rami Malek just turns toward the camera and says, "Hey, I'm a robot. You can call me Mr. Robot." Beep, boop. Um. So that reminds me, because also that's just that's like, because I, I at this point, man, I probably started watching it like in 2013 or, or way older, older, older. I'm reading Gantz now, and like part of the reason Gantz is so funny is the main character is so shitty. He is a fucking teenage creep, like shitty loser, and all of his like opinions on like women and everything are awful. But it's like, oh, it's funny seeing him grow and learn. At the time, like when I watched Mr. Robot, like this guy sucks, but it's like, oh no, 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 no. Like, yeah, character arc. Like, yeah. I judged it on such a surface level and never watched it again. Um, so I'm sure does, does even that like for me, like when I started the show, it was just unsufferable to me. It's like I don't like this. Does it leave like I'm sure I like Christian Slater as an actor, so I'm sure he's cool, but does like the main character like get cooler? <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a definitely a lot of progression. We, I don't okay. want to say much because it is like Ryan says, a show where you just gonna fucking get watch it. Like literally, uh, it's yeah. one of those shows where it's like the minute you start explaining things to people, it okay. loses something. I mean, the, the, yeah, yeah I, I can hear your passion. Um, is it on Netflix any service or should I torrent it? I don't it's know. on uh, Amazon, Amazon Prime. Prime. Okay, I oh, think nice. all four seasons are up now. Yep, yeah. all four seasons are free on Amazon Prime. Okay. Yes. All right. Nice. Mr. And Robot. Yeah, uh, first and last episodes of seasons are usually like an hour long. And yeah, plus yeah. And the rest are 45. Mr. Okay. Robot. Man. Oh, so they ran it like an HBO show. It, it is, yeah. Like it's it very is cinematic. basically an HBO show, but it was on USA instead. Right. So, they so they, okay, so this is when like... like yeah. Oh, yeah. They say fuck words. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is when USA and all the other cable networks realized there's no difference between. No. Yeah. It was. It was anymore. like already like post like Mad Men exploded. Yeah. It was. It's part of this. It's like. It's oh. like 2010. So in my mind, yeah. I'm thinking this is fucking. Uh, what, what was uh, fucking OCD detective and psych- so, monk? Uh, no. No. There was well Dexter <laughs> monk. There's two psych, of them. There was monk. There was psych. That was. Uh, that's, there was oh, that's no. All the USA it's, it's, is. It's, conten- like, it's more contemporary. Oh. It's more contemporary. No, you know, uh, yeah. like. Uh, uh, Mr. Yeah. Robot came out, 20, it came out in 2015. Yeah, I should 2015. say because I because yeah, it's tasty obstacle. I do want to correct myself. I I don't I don't even want to talk talk shit on Psych. Psych is a cool show. I watched the Psych first. Is fun. I yeah, like Psych. I watched the first few seasons with Eric. It was great. I enjoyed it. It was fine. It's just it it grew past my interest. And then Monk is genuinely a good show. It's a yeah. fun, chill, relaxed show. Not just saying this is Sony should lose Lebanese, but like genuinely, oh, the character wow. is is good. Like I I I love his character. He's funny. He's such a good actor, and it takes place in San Francisco. Not a lot of shows all take of place those, in San Francisco like that. All of those USA shows were like popcorn TV, but they were fun. Like yeah. I like Monk. I liked Psych. I liked Burn Notice. I liked uh, White Collar. Uh, Thank you, the Royal Pains, the one where he was a doctor in the Hamptons. They're all just dumb fun that you can put on while you're doing other things. Yeah. But like Mr. Robot was the actual like one good show they made. I okay. think I think uh, there was a U- interview where a USA guy was like, "Yeah, we basically knew this was going to be like our award season show, and we we went for it because we wanted some sort of accolades." Like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, and again, like it's not like they got somebody who isn't one of the best known actors in the world right now, like Remy Malik and getting, uh, you know, um, Christian Slater. At the time even. he wasn't that big, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, this is what, this is what got Remy Malik uh, big. Before uh, this, his biggest credit was being like, the, Night in the Museum. Uh, he Night played, in the Museum being the yeah. mummy. Yeah. No, oh yeah, you're right. He was, he was something else. He was in a movie that I had seen, like, like, um, Bohemian Rhapsody? 
No, uh, was it short? He was in. Was he in Short Term Twelve? He, I know he was in some like he was in a few indie. He was, films, yeah, yeah, in a couple of indie movies that I saw because he's he's so, so recognizable. Yeah. I just can't remember which yeah. one. He was in. Oh, he was in the Old Boy remake. He's also yeah. in the he, you know, favorite movie. He's in the Master. Yeah, oh, he was in the Master. That's right. That's yeah, that's where I remember. Him. Yeah, so the one I remember he's in Short Term Twelve, which he's really good in Short Term. Short Term Twelve is amazing, uh, and that's by a San Diego filmmaker. Oh, and uh, I know him from Twilight. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I saw him in he played one of the vampires in the later ones. Oh my yeah, god, right? he's in Twilight. Thank you so much, Mangle Tiger. Uh, he was in Until Dawn. That's it. I was thinking, like, he, he was some fucking creepy guy in something. He was in Until Dawn. He's so fucking oh, yeah, creepy yeah, yeah. and weird in that. He's great in that. Oh, and you know what? Dawn? I knew him because he was he was the voice of a, uh, of a character in Legend of... Oh, no, not Legend of... I was thinking he was Avatar. It's Legend uh, of Korra. Um, oh, he was in Halo! Frank, yeah. you gotta like him now. He's in Halo. Oh, he's in Halo too. God, yeah. Damn. Don't look at this page, Frank. I don't want you to be spoiled on anything. Yeah. Don't read anything. You have don't to go read. God. Away. Go away. But again, Stop. we we talk about like again, even Dark Souls. Something I bounced off of. Like, yeah, my instinct when I saw it, however many fucking years ago, five, six years, whatever, how many years ago, was like, oh, this is lame. But shh, that was before season two or season three or season four was out. Before I had friends to talk about. But man, all right, I still don't know if I'll I'll watch it. Probably not. I probably won't even watch it this month. But it's on my radar. You guys have dipped it into the radar. Yeah. It's in the radar. It's four seasons. It's 45 episodes. It's a complete story. There is no, like... It's not at the end where yeah, you're like, yeah. oh, what could be blah, blah, blah. It's like, nope. It's over. That's the end. That works. I'm good. That sounds good. Also, it's a clear vision. Sam Esmail pretty yeah. much... He directed pretty much almost all of it. And then oh, also, I still like, need to finish Hannibal. There, I feel like there's there's such an era of TV yeah. where I was like... That's one. Wait, yeah. Say that again? I need to Hannibal. finish Hannibal. The show. Oh, dude, you have to That's watch That's what I'm saying. I'd rather a, finish... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Like, if I'm I getting back into that. TV, Hannibal fucking rules. I only watched season one. Um, Ooh. Yeah. You know you know what I always lump together, but they're not the same? Well, it's like um, it's like Deep Impact to Armageddon. Um, it's uh, Hannibal and Nip Tuck. Nip Tuck is genuinely like the first five seasons of is genuinely such a good popcorn like bullshit show. It's so. Is Nip Tuck about like uh, plastic it's, surgeons? It's about plastic, plastic surgeons. surgeons, and then I, I think it's like some at some point in like season three or four, all of a sudden there's like this whole big murder mystery. This guy calls the called the Carver starts coming around and like fucking people up for no reason. I forget, but it was like it was all of a sudden it's just like gripping popcorn TV. And then, like, Hannibal, I knew was really good. It's also Mads Mikkelsen. Uh, the one episode I saw of that was him preparing somebody's leg for dinner. Yeah, like, oh. they, like, I feel like, I don't know if it was the thing, but, like, I feel like every episode he's, like, cooking something. He, he gives these long fucking monologues while yeah. cooking organs. Um, so the yeah. first season of Hannibal is very, like, procedural monster of the week where they're always going after a new killer yeah. until Hannibal kind of reveals himself. Spoiler, Hannibal eats people. Uh -huh. Um what? I know, right? Oh, uh, but then season two is the actual, like, uh, kind of what happened before Red Dragon, where it's Hannibal versus Jack. And then season three is Red Dragon. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Um, um, and then uh, Far I still need to finish Fargo season four. I downloaded the remaining episodes. Um, yeah, I was liking it. And now that I can just binge the rest, I'm, I'm excited to see it. Um, yeah. Um, well, fuck yeah. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Uh, holy shit, we just had a great squad of people coming. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Arkwright, Blaze, Ryan, Gav, Opcool. Shouts out, Opcool. Opcool, hello. I didn't realize Opcool was in here. Fuck yeah. Not Jack. Will. I don't know why I said Jack. I meant what? His name's Will Graham. I'm an idiot. Audrey. Yo, hey, Ben's Audrey's here. going to bed. Good night, Audrey. Please. Miguel Kiter. Everyone, follow Audrey. Right, don't night, cut Audrey. me bones. Follow night, Audrey. Audrey. Uh, well, fuck it. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out here. We're yeah, going gonna, we're gonna to try to chip away at this boss. Oh, yeah. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. yes. Um, are you going to play any more World of Warcraft? Yeah, we, we played two days ago. I played two days ago. Uh, so yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, was, I, was, I was having this debate with Ryan yesterday. I was like, I was trying to figure out what class do I want to play as. I think I want to fuck around with Dark Death Knight. I need to look at the DPS meters now that Shadowsland is out and see what the easiest, best class is. So, <laughs> uh, uh, and for DPS, isn't it like uh, what, what's the one that the Demon Hunter? Someone else was saying Demon Hunter. Yeah. All right. I'll try to play something. Yeah. It doesn't matter what. Yeah. Just you're so low level. Uh, I'm 
I'm like this clo far away from just quitting the game because you're not playing. Oh, dang. Shots fired. Will you level up with my low character? I've already got like five characters at high level. Do you have any that aren't 60? Yes. Okay. I'll We'll talk later. All right, we'll talk. Hey, that's a hey. Follow Ryan on, I'll talk. on everything. All right. Good night, Audrey. Good night. You kick Get ass. Good night, Audrey. Um, Good night. All right. Hey. I'm ha I'm hanging up too. Good night. Good night. Bye, Ryan. All right. Thank Bye, you Ryan. all for calling. We're gonna we're gonna focus on the boss. Thank you guys. Yep. Thank you. Love. One. Love. 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 No, okay. oh, Lewis is here. Oh fuck yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. Wait, Opcol. Opcol. I, I think. Yo. Oh, cool. Did we take? We didn't take your call, right? Uh, no. I mean, just saw you guys were taking calls. I thought maybe I just stopped by. Fuck yeah. Say what's up. Uh, we're, to you guys. Yeah. yeah. What's up? Just what's up? Yeah. Oh, dude, we're uh, we're stuck on this going? boss. It fucking sucks. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to make do with what I can. Uh, that's kind of it for now. Um, yeah, country boys make do. Yeah, yeah that's dude. right. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're, who the fuck is this guy? Uh, well, fuck yeah, Opcol. Well, uh, it, right. fuck yeah, Thomas C. Crown is here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, well, fuck yeah, Opcol. Well, excellent call. Did, did you have any other questions or Wait. was that it? No, I mean, yeah, I, I, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I, <laughs> I, awesome, I, I loved man. it. I loved it. Do you think, I mean, we, do, yeah. you, do you think we can beat the boss tonight? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, yesterday with the Terminator thing. Yeah. Um, you thought we couldn't get through it. We got through it. Hell so, yeah. Big Dog's energy could do anything. Yeah. yeah. I respect Frank's that. Frank's the hey, Terminator. Like, like Doc Brown said, put your mind to it, accomplish anything. All right. I feel, I feel that. Oh, we're going to try the fire spell. The whole fucking... I got so distracted. We got to try the fire spell. got the fire spell. Okay. Man, I have all these extra souls I don't want to fucking waste, but... I can buy these like baby ass. Buy all the healing items you can. We're yeah, that's he's... this dude in the beat. Is there like a? I need bet. That's the thing. Is like, is there I... like a phoenix down? I need like stronger. I forget who the fuck sells stronger shit. I feel like that fucked up merchant sells stronger. I need stronger items. Um, if I want to blow my, let's let's go back to this guy for a second. Um, and then yeah, I'll I'll keep dripping if whenever you get the chance. Succession is so so fucking good. Oh yeah. Um, to check out like it's so fucking good. Uh. Yeah. And then theoretically, th one actor said they were gonna start shooting in November. So I, but so theoretically they're shooting now. This guy doesn't have any more shit either. Cover stamina faster temporarily. I'll try it. Fuck oh yeah, that would make sense for release next. It normally comes out like in May. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thomas asks, "What's your favorite Back to the Future movie?" Like, I like. I mean, like, the trilogy itself is fine, but like, one is really strong on its own. Um, whereas, like, two and three, I feel like I only ever watched like, like one. I've seen a bunch just, just by it being such a cultural touchstone. Whereas, like, two and three, I only ever watched like twice. Once as a kid, and once as a little bit older to like, oh, let's check this out. I never have a hunger to revisit it. Whereas one is like, oh, that's a classic. Like, it's it's really great. Um, two's great. Two's so much fun because I love I love anything that's able to, uh, you know, add to the original while still letting them both be their own movies, right? Like, the first one stands alone. It's iconic. It's the first Back to the Future. But then the second one is a great sequel. It goes through, like, all generations of Marty. And, you're per like, you get to see it all. It's perfect. I think that's so much fun. You get to go to the future. You get to, like... You know, like, visit, like, what happens to the rest of his family. There's a, a cool little, like, arc at the end with, uh, you know, with him and the boss. It's just cool. Man, I feel like I only ever saw two once. Two's incredible. Two's like, uh, like, I don't know, it, it was just a fun movie. Yeah. They, like, go back to the fucking 50s and, like, have to redo oh, all that right. shit. Oh, that's right. They go, like, Frank, you would yeah. love it because you're, you've completely forgotten about Biff's uh, like, Biff's current. Yeah, like, I know, like, the whole, like, yeah, yeah, like, 
Well, I, mean, I know, like, the whole, like, Biff... Biff basically is, like, the Trump character. He's a super rich guy. But, like, yeah. isn't there a time alt timeline where he's, like, a big fucking dump, dumbass? Or is that is that the end of so, one? So that's the yeah. end of one yeah. in, in the, re- in the, in the yeah, like, realized yeah. timeline. Yeah. So that's cool. Like, and it's because he's been beaten up by Marty's dad. But in this, like, alternate timeline, he came back, got pissed, and shot Marty's dad. Like, it's kind of dark. Yeah. Like, it goes to a weird place, and then they're living in, like, a... A Frank Miller's in, in like that's 80s the, and 90s. That's the thing yeah, that's fun of it. And like, yeah, he flee in it. He's not even like really, uh, yeah, he is. Yeah, uh, it's not even like really like he's supposed to be like Donald Trump. He's just like the shit, the same shithead. No, yeah, it's, it's 80s capitalism who, run amok. Like, well, it's that. Well, no, it, it, who got a fucking yeah, uh, the almanac, yeah, the well, almanac, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was just handed to him bullshit. Yeah. Like, it was perfect creating a villain, anyways. It's fun, it plays with itself, it uh, w- with its own timeline. and I always like that. The third one is just like a fu- a fun western. Well, Marty's dad gets screwed a lot because there's a nobody really remembers that there's a huge dispute between the actor from the first oh, movie, man, yeah. who uh, wanted more money. I think he wanted as much money as Michael J. Fox for uh, for the role, and they said no, so they just recast him. All right, we're gonna come back. Let's see how how uh, let's see how the fire spell works. Fuck, I don't remember the damage number on the original. 125. That might. That looks like it's a lot more, right? I feel like that's way more. I don't remember what the last one is, but I feel like I this. I thought it was 150. Man, yeah. This, I thought. This, this looks like this is a lot more, yeah. Right? Like they're, they're still in flames. Oh, fuck. Yeah, because. Yeah, is he doing burn damage? All right, so I'm gonna take one healing item. That is the worst spell. So that's something I gotta look out for. The fact that he hit me from far yeah, away. Yeah, and you can like turn your camera to see if he's attacking, right? Yeah. Oh. Nope. You have stamina. Oh, and it costs much less mana. Yeah, so there, there's a good trade-off. Okay, so this is this is working. Even if we die here, we, we, we made advancements. So we learned that, yes, this spell really doesn't call his fucking friend. I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do, though, is get my mana up. Yeah. I'm going to get my health full. Okay, let's, I think we can do this now. Where the fuck is he? <clears throat> he didn't call his friend? What the fuck? Oh, god damn it. I'm dead. Okay, run. Nope. Hey, it doesn't matter. We learned fire spell works. Whatever. Whatever. It costs less mana. It does more damage. All right, we got this. We got this. Oh, my God. Okay, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. All right. All right. All right. Hell, yeah. No, it's been great. Oh, my God. Thank we, you. We, like, we are so much better now yeah. with that fire spell. We know how to time our dodges yeah. a lot better. We farmed a bit. Thank you, everyone who called in yeah. earlier. Thank you, Tylon. And thank you again... Megal Tiger, our last donator, consistently with two bits, four bits, two bits. Megal Tiger, uh, still, let me double check. Guys, we're about to kill this boss, but real fast. Thank you so much, Megal Tiger is on the bit leaderboard. Fuck yeah, Megal Tiger. With three twenty wits. Thank you, Megal Tiger. Thank you to everyone on our bit leaderboard. Yeah. Mustache, Dr. Snoozy, DDB, Blaze, Baragus, Larry David Goth, Polygon Line, Megal Tiger, HC Hex, Gold Dragon. Thanks to everyone supporting the big dogs. We've been doing a big stream almost four hours. We are still live. Can you believe it? We've had people like H E Hex donate, Rencaru. Thank you so much. We're gonna beat this boss. I am fucking committed now to fucking being this boss. And our gift subbers, Mustache Dr. Ron Gina, Baragus, Angry. Bananas, Megal Tiger, thank you again. Snoozy, Jimby, Marty, Dumbo Loop. We had a tier two subscription pop today. Holy fuck. Again, this is such a it's it's a neat game to stream, but it, I feel so defeated as the player, as the streamer. I felt like we've had a very fun time. And there's been frustrations, but laughs, great calls. So I think tonight's been a good show. Very frustrating and difficult game-wise, but I think that's part of it. But I think I'm having fun. I think I'm having fun. It Brian, sounds like you're trying to convince yourself. That's what I'm doing. Fun. That's what I'm doing. And the big dog can convince me we're having fun. If we beat this fuck, <laughs> I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good. I think we're doing This is the game. I think we're doing we good. We are doing good. <laughs> you're the only one who ever thinks we're not doing good. 
It's insane. And then you ask for people to tell you, are we doing good? Right. And then they tell you we're doing good. Oh. And you don't believe them. Nagel Tiger says we're doing good. Are we doing good? What's the deal with that? Right? Right? <laughs> Oh my God, we Jimmy got this Jeff! Motherfucker. Oh my God, Jimmy! We're gonna Jeff. beat these man eaters! Oh my God, fuck yeah! Oh my fucking God! <laughs> oh my God, that was now. A now I feel like that person's question of Have you ever cried during oh, a man. video game? I don't, out of frustration. I, I honestly don't remember. What, I feel like with with Dark Souls, I would. I would grind a lot more, but yes. like I'm actually learning the fights, and that's way different. Yes. Um, all right, we're gonna fucking kill this boss. We're yes. gonna fucking do it. All right. Uh, yes, we can. Fuck yeah. Rivet Rosie. All right, we got this. <laughs> Captain Japan says, "Give up and play Fortnite." <laughs> oh, the the, war, the main dodge, this guy. I'm just happy because we came up with the term is shit my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we gotta save it till we get there. I, I'm stoked though. That flame one, if we had that fire spell when we did that one run, we got this. We would have had it, yeah. Yep, yep. But you know what? That run told us mm -hmm. that we would have that splash damage. Yeah, like it, right? Like it's that a step. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the one guy, the one fucko. Yeah, like isn't that the worst part? And part of me feels like maybe, oh god, no, we can dodge him. But it's like part of me is like, oh, let's just nuke him. Let's just fucking do the cost and nuke him, if it's not too hard, because it, it's so hard to like. Yeah. Okay. At least, at least now I know how to nuke that. Like, this is the fucker. I wish he just never, never touched me. Just get out of here. Well, now we know how to dodge him every time. Yeah. Okay, and we can pop an elixir. I think this might be the run. But then the uh, the the crazy thing, and this might be it. This might be sabotage. This might be sabotage. But I'm really fucking feeling it. Thank you. Oh yeah. Thank you, Mega Tiger. Tiger. I'm gonna. I'm popping my. I'm pop. I'm popping. I'm popping. A st I'm popping my stone. We got full health. I Let's think this it. is it. I really think this is the oh, run. Your body's restored. Right? Have you ever checked out the game East Shade? I have not. So, we're going to increase. We have full health. Let's see what else we can do. Um, oh, I can get two rings that restore mana. Oh, oh hello. Thank you. Thank Mr. you. TJ Mr. Wiggles. Whoa. Tyler Jacobs. Oh, my God. What the heck? Holy oh, shoot. Shit. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Holy crap. Hey, we're about to fight a very tough boss. Guys, I gotta follow Tyler back. Tyler is like, oh my god, one of the longest, oldest, uh, oh, shit. like, friends on the TJ. internet. Yes, oh. Tyler Jacobs. Um, oh my god, I remember I made, I'm like, like... I'm sitting here, I'm like, I know this name, yeah. but I can't remember. I, I made, like, a Flash cartoon when I was 12 years old, and I posted it on a forum, and Tyler was like, this is great, kid, keep it up. Oh, like, shit. one of the first encouraging voices, yeah. like... Oh my fucking god. Tyler uh, knows, definitely knows and loves my dad. Like, hey, Tyler, welcome. Tyler does, does an incredible artist, just does a million things. Follow Tyler. Yeah, absolutely. Follow Mr. TJ Wiggles. I remember hanging out with you at Anime Expo with Rocco. Doing yeah, he always, he, he, always, he, he always pops over. I always see him at Comic Con. Yeah, stuff. it's always What an honor. See, wow. Oh my god. Good to see you, man. Oh my god. We're about, to fight, we, well. we're about to fight a boss. I've been losing my temper. Uh, but, dude, <laughs> great to see you. I hope you and your family yeah, are doing he well. He pooed his mouth earlier. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, follow Tyler. Uh, <laughs> it was oh great. Man. We're oh. having fun. Oh my god. And I hope you're having fun on Twitch too. Yeah, you just yeah. started doing stuff on Twitch. He rocks. I think he does incredible p procreate portraits. Really? Um, yeah, that's fun. That's awesome. That's so cool. I curse a lot. I'm sorry. I'm trying to hold my tongue. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay. We we have. We did everything. I. I. Oh, no audio. <laughs> yes. We're talking about how much you rule and telling all our friends here to follow you love see, love yeah hope you and your family are doing well love all the art whoop whoop <laughs> heck yeah all right that's so cute see how fun it is when we get new yeah. people hanging out okay somebody clip that and send it to them later <laughs> oh man okay i think we can do this now Okay, I'm gonna switch to a ring. What else do we need? Now there is a chance where I can increase magic power. I'm, go I'm, I'm getting fucking nuts. I'm getting fucking nuts. Ring's getting nuts, guys. I think it's it. Now, 
can we bring anyone to in with us? That's the last question. I don't see it. Do I have my network settings? I might have my network settings on. No, I have network off. I'm going to wait for it to... Because part of me is like, oh, can I get someone to come in? That'd be nice. Oh, well. All right. I think this is it. And if not, oh, well. And then I'm also going to... No, let's... Yeah, actually... Part of me is like, ooh, should I throw on my... No, we'll, we'll, we'll save the human forms for each time we do this boss fight. I think we're good now. All right, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Ryan is still with us, dude. Ryan, thank you for your support. Oh, yeah, Ryan. All I'm right. Doing well. What are you platinuming now? Or are you just playing WoW, huh? Okay. I, and I'm giving myself protection. Let's, uh, let's nuke this guy. I'm running up to him. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Come on. That's all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll pop my soul form. We did the speech. Let's go. I'll pop it again. I'll pop it again. What a jerk head. That guy was a jerk head. He bumped me off. All right. We're going to keep going. We're going. We're going. We're going. Is that true, Ryan? Fuck. No! How is that true? Alright. He came with me. Charlie Ollie. Yeah, there's nine members, Jimmy Jazz. Oh my god. Jordan Jones is here. Yeah. So I can dodge him now. All right. Let's try it. I'm going to pop the human form. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. Hopefully someone will get pushed. Blazing. Okay, okay, I'm learning this a bit. Okay, he's gonna do that a lot. Don't freaking do that.
What? You're okay. this what up Caleb oh fuck this lick it Pretty good. Yeah. I think just keep the momentum going. Let's go. Yeah, you're doing yeah well. I think I think we got this. That was pretty good. That was You're doing really well. Doing good dodges. I just kinda got I, like you I got they corn dogged. Yeah, yeah, I got corn dogged. Alright. Oh, okay. Thanks. Oh, oh my god, B B Dizzle, thank oh, you for no. five dollars. That's okay. B Dizzle on the Hizzle. Thank you for the five dollars. We are we are fired up. This is the last quarter. What do they call it in baseball? Bottom of the ninth inning? What <laughs> What you, yeah, yeah. I, well, I don't know what you're trying to say, so it could be a number of This things. is the the last the bottom of the ninth inning would be yeah. The yeah. Yeah. Two some, outs. Oh <laughs> sometimes baseball games go long. Hey! Oh my god. That's right. Oh, extra innings? Oh my god. Is that a thing? Yeah. Really? We tie when they tie? Yeah, Overtime. They tie, yeah. yeah. It's called extra innings. Man. Yeah, normally... <laughs> Since there is no time in baseball. Normally we like a nice, tight, three-hour stream. Hey, we have going on for, went over for an hour, because this boss <laughs> pissed me off. I wasn't going to let this guy live. I'm not, I can't let him live. I can't let him live. He disrespected us. We got... <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, and B Dizzle and the Hizzle gave us $5. Oh, uh, I'm like, we, we're at this point, we're, we're, yeah. we're over the hill. But I'm, man, if this was earlier, I'm like, I'm almost ready to jokerify myself. I'm, we're, we're good. We're keeping it forward. But oh my God. The Joker almost came out tonight. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, putting on face paint and doing the whole thing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll do it another time. But oh my God. That's how fucking pissed I am. Jesus, B Dizzle and the Hizzle. Thank you. Welcome, Crypto Sword. I'm so mad I put, put face paint on. Yeah. <laughs> How is that? It's so I can express myself, dude. Come on. It's so I can express. <laughs> yeah. Because you know what? No worry. We're gonna keep it. We're keeping it on rails. But sometimes, Brian. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel, dude. Yeah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck this guy! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> no! Fuck you! Fuck off and How did you die 
your controllers upside down. So <laughs> Killing joke. Come Good one. On. Good one. Fuck. Oh my shit. <laughs> I don't even know if you know the joke you made if you do holy oh fuck. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. Thank you again. Oh fuck. Oh, hey, fuck we put on a good sh I know we do a great- we put on a great show. I'm proud. I'm proud of This game is frustrating as fuck. <laughs> Who the fuck plays this and goes, I'm having fun? Oh fuck. I mean, it's fun when you beat them, yeah. but like, Jesus Christ, when it's like this- It's kind of- Funny. It's we funny. crossed over to Lair. It's so funny, oh. but it's just like, how do you, how do you just get and, up the fucking God. like motivation? And guys, doing it. Thanks, Brian. Ooh. I know Brian woke up er, extra early today. Did a bunch of work. And he's like doing double shifts here. Thank you, Brian. That's why part of me is like, oh man, like, oh, I hope you're you're doing all right, and you don't want to go to bed too early. And if you have to go to bed, that's okay. But I'm having fun, and you know, I want Brian. I want to make sure Brian's doing yeah, good. It, it hits a certain point at night where there's no more time to do anything else after the stream because I'm just tired. Yeah. So. Yeah, anytime after nine o'clock, that's what it is. Yeah, and like again, I just want to beat this boss, and that's yeah. the great ending. Uh, we do another time. We I had so much fun playing Terminator Two that I booted up Revolution X, the Good. Aerosmith game. So we'll do that later, like another another stream. Uh, that'll be very fun. Uh, yeah, Tom. Oh my fucking god, B Dizzle and the Fizzle with the Dizzle. Thank, thank you. Three dollars. Thank you. Cents. Thank you again. That I think. Oh yes. We we've almost earned thank enough you, to Thomas, pay off our Thai down. food tonight. Bless you. Okay, let's. Critics, fuck your review. Even if you like me, fuck you. Fuck your mom, fuck your mom's mama. Fuck the Beastie Boys and the Dalai <laughs> Lama. Fuck the Everyone rainforest, does. fuck a Forrest Gump. You probably like it in the rump. Fuck a shoe pump, fuck the real deal, and fuck all the fakes. Fuck all 52 states, ooh, and fuck you. Alright, hell yeah. We're gonna turn into human form again. Oh um, my, that game, the game made me cry from tears. Having ICP playing as a fucking wizard is shooting shit at us, like... That was hilarious. Oh my god, okay. Especially because they're seeing fuck the world. Man. <laughs> fuck. Uh... This... <sighs> This is like the worst song. I don't know if it will help or no. What did we? Whatever worked last time, Slipknot worked. Okay. Hell yeah, Justin her pants, sixty nine four twenty. What? They showed their friend Hocus Pocus the other day, and they were not ready, but Justin, they loved it. Just in her pants, 69420. Hey, if you didn't already have a gift uh, sub, I was going to give you a gift sub for that name. Holy fucking shit. Justin, you, just in her pants. All right. I caught you, man. <laughs> I was just in my pants. I wasn't, dude. I'm just in her pants. Oh, my oh God. man. This guy's going to get it. Oh, it's Super Booey, oh well. Why are you trying to do some wizard shit? What does that do? Oh, it busts. All right, get out. Nope, I, mean, I read that wrong. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, yep. I'm trying to calculate. Yep, okay, 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 okay. We're gonna keep going, keep going, keep going. Alright. 
again, the f- that's what pisses the fucking walk all the way back. Let's go, let's go. His ha- his health was like halfway through. Like yeah. I-, I start very strong and I think I do pretty good. All right. Let's <laughs> someone needs bowling alley lanes. Oh my god. Thank you, Thomas D. Ground. Thank you. Oh, Super Buido, I fucking love that name, dude. Mm-hmm. Su- Super Buido's amazing. God damn. Oh my god. Yeah, every now and then we just have, like, oh. Again, it's crazy to think, like, with Sekiro, we fucking, like, this is how that was. Yep. These long grinds, and this is, that's like. That's how we did a 12 fuck. hour stream almost. Jeez, that's how we met Mario, thug. Yeah. So thank you again, Be Dazzle and Be Dizzle, uh, for keeping the stream going, supporting us. Uh, we have 47 people here. Holy shit. Thank you guys. Late into the night, but we're still going. Bless you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Zero the Roaring. So I gotta bait him with. Oh. It'll pop a thing real fast. This might be too late. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Are you kidding? Can I roll out enough? What the heck? There we go. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, Justin in her pants. Getting that new Nautilus shirt. All right. <laughs> Thomas T. Crown, you just reminded me of the time at Pack South. I ran, I ran hook on the <laughs> on the DVD player at the booth for like an hour. Fuck yeah. That was fucked up. That was whack. We nuke his health halfway, like... Yeah, we're, like... And I'm getting better at the dodging. It's just, like, this is it. This is it. This is it. Come oh, fuck. That's okay. Again, like, these guys don't fucking matter. Just get into the goddamn thing. Oh... Imagine getting a PS5 and then like cutting to this mood. <laughs> like, for her. <laughs> like the only game you got on uh, PS5 as a kid. Yeah, <laughs> like that's why I'm looking forward to like chilling out with my Spider-Man. It's like, oh, that will be like, yeah, like that game plays itself. Like, oh my god, this is like, and and again like. <laughs> I just like how selective you are to beating certain games. Like, some games you're like, nope, if I start, I gotta beat it. Yeah. And then there's like, I don't know, Deadly Premonition 2. That would be a fun one to go back and stream. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I think that was like five months ago. <laughs> we'll go back to it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Cap Japan. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we eventually went back to fucking deadly. Not. Fuck! This clown. We eventually went. He's poking it. Well, we eventually went back to. Uh, we beat Disaster Report 4. Yeah. That's a good game. Yeah. I don't think we'll go back to Manhunt. Manhunt, we won't return to. That game was fine, but it was too hard to play. Oh, man. <laughs> How's that different than this? 
Deadly Premonition 2 is funny. That game is so fucking funny. Hmm, Arnold S. No, Manhunt, you said was too hard to play. Manhunt, there's no, like, I don't, there's no reward. Ah, the cutscenes are kind of neat. I don't know. It's stealth. Theoretically, it's probably easier than this. Uh, it's probably way easier than I don't know. This game is fun, though. This, this is fun. Manhunt is, like, I don't know. It's not bad. It's okay. Ah, I don't know. I, it was fun when Andrew, we did a few manhunt streams with Andrew. Like, that, that, yeah, that was like, really that game fun. clicked with his vibe, too. It was fun. Well, yeah. Because that's like when Andrew was really into video games. PS2. Yeah. Like Xbox. Or that was like the when he left off until now. You fucking surprised me with this. He's going to tickle it. I hate this guy. He tricked me. I like Captain Japan's method of motivating. Here's a bit. Now hurry up and beat this boss. Thank you, Captain Japan. Oh, man. Thank you, Thomas Thank D. Thank you, Crown. Thomas D. Crown. Oh, God. I get so, name. like... No, like, I know we're doing fun, and this is all part of the show, but it's like, I get so introspective when I... Hey, you know what, Brian? Take a stab at the boss. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what button is attack? Uh, R1. No! <laughs> don't hit square. Don't hit fucking square. He, he used their item. <laughs> Fuck! How do I lock R3's on? to lock on. Okay. Yeah, baby! Yeah! Okay, it's dead. Is there a run button? Uh, hold circle. Okay. Oh! Fuck yeah. How do you roll? Uh, tap circle. Okay. I think. Try it? Yeah. yeah. So it's R1 to attack. Okay, R1 yeah. to attack. R1 to attack. This is like L old L1 to raise your shield. Okay, cool. Yeah. Like once you learn the controls, like it's again like the system works. Like it's it's like I don't know. If is it here? Keep going. Okay. I don't know. It's like riding a bike. Like there's so much shit you have to manage and balance. But once you're riding, it's fun. Yeah. And, and then a fucking dragon hits you with its tail. Right. Like every time I played one of these games, I've genuinely enjoyed it. The, the controls are so fucking sharp, and the systems are there. It's just like oh, they it the game has a sense of humor where it enjoys punishing you and the player yeah. kind of has to enjoy it too. That is pretty hard to dodge. Yeah, it's just the timing. Fuck yeah. There you go. Hell yeah. Oh my god. But yeah, ultimately it's like, oh, I have to run back again. Right? It's Fuck like, that. Fuck nope. Yeah. Don't care. Like, the boss itself, like, I wouldn't mind the grinding of the boss itself. It's, oh, you're fucked before getting the boss. I know I keep saying this, but this is the trap that sucks. Like, you get all the way there and you're crippled. I forgot this guy drops souls, too. What's up, mustache doctor? That's right, almost four hours and 20 minutes of streaming. Again, we're the big dogs. We like to do our streams big and long. And thanks, everyone, supporting it, keeping us going. Mangle Tiger, Cat Japan, and Bedazzle, our last few donors. Thank you, guys. I hope everyone's enjoying it. And even if you donated any time or just hung out at all tonight, Dylan, like, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Uh, and making the show. The audience makes the show. Uh, we had Little Dude calling it. A lot of people calling it. It was very fun. Thank you, Mago Tiger. A lot of deaths. A lot. Is, I don't know if there's a tally to see. There might be a tally to see in stats. Oh, I'm sure there is. Yeah. No. Uh, no. Fuck. Okay, okay. Man! That'd be a cool metric to pull up. Um, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, Dylan. Yeah, it's a great point, Captain uh, uh, Thomas. Like, I'm the same way. If this were puzzles, I would I would be doing it nonstop. But that's the thing: a puzzle will just reload you at the beginning of the puzzle. It doesn't make you run all the way back to the puzzle each time. Oh my God, Ken Dumbo's Ken Dumbo. been here the entirety of the stream. Thank you. Holy shit! Holy shit, guys! Hell what yes. a fucking journey. Uh, man, it really is a journey. Each time. Like, I'm going to time it next time you do it. Hopefully there, there isn't. But if there is, I'm going to time to see how long it takes to get to the boss. Ah! 
Ah, these fucking. Okay, I, I just this. Oh, I just gotta nuke this guy. And yeah, I'm definitely hitting that wall where it's like, all right, this just might be it. We might have to just do this another time. Cause that's what happened with that boss. Arkwright doing oh, 100 man, bits. bits. Holy fucking Fuck shit. Yes. All right, here we go. Arkwright, holy fucking shit. All right, we're doing this for Ark right now. Now it's personal. And, uh, yeah, Jordan Jones, that's exactly why I stopped playing The Witness. Okay, so in order to get past the fucking boss up here, we got to... Yeah, because I had uh, I have to fucking change my build to give me more HP and more magic defense, and then when I get past the boss, it's okay. God damn uh, it. I just have to switch my load up before the boss. God damn it. Either way, just to get to the fucking stair bitch... <laughs> I like it, stair bitch, yeah. Like, that was a minute and 24 seconds. Jesus. Like, a minute and 24 seconds to get back to what's fucking eating away at you. And maybe that's the point, so that you calm down. Yeah. I don't know. A, yeah. At least the game looks nice. <laughs> That's been the best thing. I'm just I get to appreciate this game. Fuck. Now, part of me is at the I'm finally at the point now where it's like I just want to fucking kill this thing. Not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! All right, now we know. Just dodge it. Okay, so we can take well, at least now with my build, I can take one hit and keep going. Yeah. That's all we need. We're just gonna keep going. God damn it. All right, Thomas Secret. People would believe me again. Like, once we're in, it's once we're in there, it's not bad. It's just get like getting there is harder, and we've gotten to the point that like, at this point, what I don't know, an hour ago, the bot, the first boss was almost dead. Once it's back on the one dude, we got this. Yeah. Um. God damn it. Hey, Chase Cone. Thank you. Good night. Chase Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. And thanks to everyone who's been coming to our Sunday streams, our Monday streams. Those have been so fucking fun. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you guys. It's again, like I love that we're able to go more, and the support is there. Uh, it's fucking. I, 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 say, I say this to Brian, like streaming on Sunday and Monday is so fun because like we end the stream as more and more people come. Yeah. Tuesday nights a late night vibe, so like people are going to bed, and so we have less people as it ends. That's still fine, and we appreciate the after party vibe. But it's like, oh man, Sunday and Monday is like it's a fun. It's show. fucking yeah. nonstop. It's cra It's crazy, but. Tuesday night lends itself to those the sleepy sillies. But, yes. Uh, no matter when you catch us, we hope you have a great time. So thank you guys. <laughs> oh man, welcome Kathleen Noir. 
What up, Kathleen Noir? Okay. Don't do this! You freaking butthole! Come on, dude. Just give me enough room! He won't move! I'm not giving up. Like, I couldn't fucking dodge it. I mean, at that point, just whack the fucking kill it. God, yeah. it's insane. It's insane. Oh, my God. I wish Steve was on to fucking invade us and help us out. Like, where the fuck did I get an invader? God damn it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... Cause yeah, theoretically it's like I could end it and then go do different fucking levels and fight Man Eater later. Man. This now feels like when I work at the movie theater and I have to close the theater and I have like a big list of shit I wanted, I need to do, but I just want to go home. Fuck! Oh. It's like, yep, all right. Yeah. Mm. See, part of me is like, I just want to get to the boss once. Like, I, we're at that point now where it's like, all right, it's, or we're done. But I want to get to the boss once now. Yeah, but, no. but, but it's also like, I don't have the mental freshness to even dodge these guys. It's like, oh, that's such a bad sign. Yeah. Fuck. I, I got to that point in Tetris where it's like, why am I not spinning? Yeah. It's like, oh, because your your brain is fucking tired. Yeah. And it sucks. Because yeah. it's like, no, I want to keep going. I can do this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. No, we tried. Like, we absolutely fucking tried. And the whole VOD is here. So thank you. If anyone watches oh, the VODs, go. Kevin Hilt. Uh, if you're watching the VOD, thank you. Uh, you got to flick through the and jump around the stream where we fought this vice for three hours straight. Uh, so thanks to everyone who came out. Mag Again, Mago Tiger, Arkwright, keeping the stream going. Guys, thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Arkwright. Hey, we had B Dizzle in the Hizzle. Donate Frazzle, some money. Bless you. We got Mustache Doctor, Ron Gina, and Barry. Ron Gina was here the whole fucking... Thank you, Ron. Hell Again, yeah. Ron Gina. Jordan you, Jones. You, 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 you fucking, like, attached a whole new wing to the big dogs. Yeah. Thank you, Ron Gina, for yeah, incredibly dude. generous donations. Holy fucking shit, Ron Gina. The Gina, Ron Gina Award of the big dogs. Oh, my God. Stream. Yes. Holy shit. Thank you, Ron Gina. Oh, yes. Oh, man. That's good to know, Jordan. And 400 bucks is actually way less than I expected to pay, so... I'll I'll see next year where my budget's at, and then uh, I might I might end up getting that. I need to kind of yeah. Don't fucking block me. Go yeah. It's like trying to take a piss on the airplane, <laughs> and they got the cart out giving out peanuts. And oh shit. It's like man. I just need to pee. I just need to fucking piss. I'd never been out deep sea fishing. I've told this story before, but like a year or two ago, I went out for the first time on uh, on. A boat with uh, the owner of Valley Farm. Oh fuck! Yeah. And I couldn't piss because the edge of the boat is about as high as a desk because you you know yeah. fishing and you have to reach over. It's actually even yeah shorter. So I couldn't get that leverage where you could like you know lean up. Yeah. Well, the Pacific Ocean isn't Pacific at all. It's not calm. It gets oh, choppy out no. there. What so you're just out there, and I can't stabilize myself to pee. I can't like hold on to something because it's too low. It sucked. I finally did it though. Fuck yeah. We got this. All, All right. right. Calling her shot. Let's see. We forgot to change the loadout. Oh, you're right. Fuck. Hey, you know what? We'll see. Fuck, you're right. Alright.
far out. He's wearing a slipknot mask. It's not fair. Oh, fuck this house. I see one of you to stand still, please. Come on. Just work with me. Uh oh, too close. I don't like this. Get out of here. You Buster Brown! Okay, 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 okay. That was really, that was pretty close. That was pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, I hmm. think what uh, Thomas T. Crown was saying was exactly what you were doing. Boxing them out with that fucking uh, cauldron in the middle made it so that you had a lot more time to cast. Yeah, it was nice because like when you hit one of them, they fly like that was working. And then. Yep. Man, I was just trying. So now I, I, I was trying to get to a safe space so I could just heal. And they, but like that seems to be a pattern now. Once, like even that fight, they start they they blasted me. That was like okay, I'm gonna get this guy. Um, man, that was a uh, yeah, yeah, man. And another good point, like, we, we, we have the strats now, so theoretically, if I tried doing different levels, which would work, and I could just, another time, I could come back stronger and destroy them. Yeah. Um, but man, like, it, it, it really dangles that, where it's like, oh, I'm pretty fucking close to it. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll, we'll see if we, can, if we can get a repeat, and if not, but at least, like, that felt like a triumph. That felt effect. really good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I smiled at one point, I was like, oh, this is the run, and, uh, that fucking, I just couldn't get far away. Now the other test is here. I mean, Thomas C. Crown said that was the best run you had. I think so. You played really tight. Nice. Okay. We, oh, I, don't, I don't... At this point, I remember... I need to remember what characters drop age spice, because, yeah, if I run out of my mats, then I'll just, I'll grind offline, I'll do it another time, but then it's like, okay, okay. Oh, check your gear. Yep, Thank yep, you, yep, Jordan. Yep. Okay. Let's try this guy. Fuck it. Fuck it. Go up. 
thing. Alright, we're good. Don't call your friends. Don't call your friends. Risky there. Tom Cruise! Get out! Get the fuck out of here! Get out, get out. You got this. You're doing good. Eat a big fat shit! God damn it, man. This tastes so fucking delicious. God if only damn we can fly, fly. Fuck yeah! We oh my god! Did it. 
Oh the only thing you my cared about in your life fuck. is chilling and grinding. Hell yes. Ooh. What a fucking mean game. Fuck yes. Man. Hell yeah, Angel's here. Shouts out to Random Ortiz. Oh my god. Woo! Little dude still up. Holy Oh holy heck. my god. Oh my god. Well, okay. But we're gonna end it, but uh I can level up once. Um magic. More ma I, man yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's see. What do I want to spend it on? Man. That was really fucking awesome. Wow. Um, that was great. We leaned on magic a lot. Magic really got us through. I feel like even having a bigger mana pool. I mean, actually, just burning the boss faster. Let's, yeah. Let's just get more magic power. Or, Hell yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Mo souls will come. And then let's take a look real fast. Let's just. I have all these extra. Not the flame. Actually, maybe. The flame lurker. I wonder if I can buy this cool spell. Um, Orange and Glad is here. Hey. Yeah. Guys, thank you guys so much. Um. Thank you guys so fucking much for that support. I I I couldn't the fuck. Oh my gosh. Oh, that man. was nuts. Bless you guys. What a wonderful experience. For sticking through it. Thank you. The experience is that we did this together. Yeah. Wow. Jeez. We have 53 big dogs still hanging out with us. Thank you guys. Holy wow. shit. Thank you Thomas T Crown for all the support. What's up, the little dude? Oh my Ron Gina's still here. Jordan Jones is still here. Hell yeah, dude. Captain Japan gave that bit they promised. Thank you so much, Captain Japan. They believed in us. Megal Tiger believed in you. Wow, we can level up twice. Arkwright like... believed in you. Wow. Joey Star is here. I'm gonna give more intelligence and um. Yeah, part of me wants to do endurance because I would roll on leaning a lot, but even vitality is helpful. I can't believe I can't fucking believe we did that fight. That was like That was literally the last two hours. You started man. that boss around nine o'clock. Cause that's when we did uh we popped our little Yeah fun dance session, then we hunkered down. Man. That was that was impressive. That was fucking cool. Joey Star, you missed a tremendous feat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean actually let's see. I'll do uh I'll do more stamina. Man, oh, it's such a, intel one for intelligence. One for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's dump more into the mana pool, just so I uh, I have a lot more magic without Fuck having to worry yeah. about it. Fuck it, man. Well, now I can relax the next time I play and actually kill pe like the bo that boss. Hey, we had some bosses we killed in one shot. We did it. What a fucking fight! Oh my god! Oh my god! My gratitude for all Hell the people who yeah. watched this. Um, Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Oh my god. Yeah, hell yeah. That was amazing. That was dope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save and quit. Just so yeah. Quick. Make sure. Fuck. Um, guys, what an incredible stream. Guys, thank you. Uh, we hit the fucking, you know, it felt, it felt like we, it felt like, uh, we got lost in Death Valley, our car broke down, and vultures were picking at our flesh. Uh, and then we beat the boss. We survived. That's right. Um, it's never over. Jesus Christ. It's I want to do one. Oh, I have to go to the bathroom real fast, and then we're out. Uh, real fast. Let's just go to the bathroom. I've been holding it in That's so right. fucking long. Uh, let's just go. Let's just go to the bathroom real fast. You guys can come. You're gonna be our bathroom buddies. Thank Hold you guys. Hands. And thank you again, uh, Cap Japan, who donated. Everyone, everyone who supported us. Bedazzle, Rongina. Um, we did it. Oh my gosh. Is this like PS5 optimized already? Yeah, so like, apparently shit loads super fast now. Um, so we gotta take a look real fast. Fuck yeah! I wonder if they even took down Bathroom Mario. Oh, come on, they don't, don't lie to me. Didn't we save it? Yeah. Oh yeah. It should be under my tab, even this is like, the way of finding shit in this. Oh, you know what? Oh, oh yeah, there's a th that's what we did. There's that site. Yeah, dreams dot like whatever the f. 
Dreams PS4 website. Ooh. In Dreams dot me. In Dreams dot me. Holy shit. Sign in. We're gonna sign in. Signing in to Dreams. Cause yeah, even the way of searching for stuff is so confusing. Oh yeah, they have it's VR now. Oh, all there we go. But yeah, I haven't, we haven't checked this out in like probably over a year. Uh, I thought we checked it out a little bit at the beginning of the year, like in February, or before the game. Before the game was released, yeah, we played it again. But yeah, it's basically been since last year. I feel like when you, you search for something... And then you go back... Man... Oh yeah, wasn't there some wonky thing where you had to like go back, then you could do this... Right? It was... It, it like... And unlocked it once you, once you clicked into something. I'm gonna see if, if this will work. Because we want to find our favorite game of all time. Unless they fucking pulled it down. <gasps> Bat guys... Oh no, come on. I got really scared. It exists. <laughs> Alright, will this boot up? Please tell me this is gonna boot up. We're trying to get the, the dream the game of our dreams. How can I search for the user? Yeah. Oh S O S uh, S O T S T E R. How do you like Oh yeah, wasn't there like you like pull up the person, and then when you, man, I because I see the game. Just show me all. Reset, traders and tags, category game. Search for. It like doesn't show up. Oh come on, you can't. Oh my god, well. We tried, guys. I want to pull up Bathroom Mario. Fuck. This is fucked up, dude. They won't let you. They won't Damn. let you get to it. Give a thumbs up. Is there a way? How do I get to my profile? My preferences. No social. Streaming camera. No VR. What we're playing... Wait, there, ha there has to be, like... Yeah, didn't you have to, like, click on the user's name and then, like... Stuff you are following, dreams you thumbed up. There okay. you go, yeah, so there should be Bathroom Mario. Dr dreams you thumbed up, we gotta go. This is, like, the... Yeah, it was, like, one of the first. Dreams you thumbed up. Halo, Blood, Gulch. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, at least we can play this still. Dr End Dreams is not... <laughs> this was me trying to play Dark Souls today. <laughs> this is the best. Oh my fucking god. Fuck it. What? Whoa. What the fuck? They updated it. Told triangle for society mode. Oh my god. Wow. Well, there you go. There's society mode. That was a Joker dance. Wow. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to spend more time with this figuring out exit creation. And then you go to tags, Joaquin Phoenix. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> there you go. Show all. And then please just give me bathroom Mario. They hid Bathroom Mario! Oh, wait. Oh, fuck this.
There we go. Guys, we weren't going to let this go. There it is. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Big update. Yeah, they put... She wasn't in here before, was she? No, dude. Wow, nice feet. They updated it. This looks so good, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, it does. Holy shit. <laughs> Time to take a piss. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, you should play the Mighty Pooh. Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. <laughs> Dude, she's checking her cheeks. Oh, uh oh. Hey, baby, do you want to get some ice cream? How do we beat this boss? Wow. Off stream. What a... <laughs> what an incredible, <laughs> incredible game. In VR. Man. Oh, Dreams is in VR now. Yeah. I wonder if there's just like... Can't wait to find like the hidden... Right? The deep web. Yeah, the dirty dreams. Wet... Oh, where are my, where are my wet dreams? Wet... <laughs> wet, thick crust. Thick crust. Magic bathroom. <laughs> Magic. What's something that we should type that we haven't typed in a long time? <laughs> Wet dreams. Wet dreams. Ace Combat Wet Dream. <laughs> A oh man. Wet floor sign. <laughs> I mean that makes sense. Yeah. Ace Combat Wet Dream. Oh wait, what if or if he did like I wonder if Gantz is in here. Yes! Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. This is so wow. cool. Holy fucking shit, they got Gantz in here. Oh my god! Oh my god, Gantz is so fucking cool. Holy shit, this is awesome. Wow. This wow. Looks like prey. Wow. Fuck yeah. They got Gantz. Alright, that was sick. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Holy shit. Gantz movie, Gantz Sphere, The Black Sphere Apartment. The yeah, I'd be afraid of spoilers. There's Gantz. Whoa, I actually have. Humanity is over. <laughs> That's fucking. Alright, Joey wants us to look up Slipknot. Joey's in the house. We love Joey. What up, Joey? Joey's art is so fucking good. Oh, come on, dude. Okay. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> there's, you know where you are? <laughs> there's all of them. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Welcome to the jungle, punk. Take a look around. Dude, that's sick. All right, that's pretty good. <laughs> I like it. All right. <laughs> that's good. Oh, this is legit. Oh, nice. Whoa! This is so good. Wow. Alright, that was sick. 
I'm gonna give a thumbs up to all the Slipknot creations. Corey Taylor! Slipknot. Okay. Are they gonna. I think they're Did doing they the intro. the whole song? Yeah, this is the beginning of Iowa. It's about 35 seconds of wind noise. <clears throat> oh my god. Dude, fuck yeah. This reminds me of a top 10 Slipknot Mask video. Holy shit. Yeah, remember people did like all of Disneyland in here? Fuck yeah. There's no way. Do you think there's Limp Biscuit? Absolutely. Oh, come on. Alright. Shenmue 3. Someone actually fucking made the talent from Shenmue 3? Come on. Guns from Shenmue. <laughs> What's chilly, Dad? Guns from Shenmue. Those guns from Shenmue. Yeah, it shoots bits. Okay, that's the Shenmue thing. Shenmue 3. Lucky hit stand. Uh, that looked like a maxi pad. The Shenmue Street, which you checked out. Again, I'm excited for that guy who's making all of Shenmue VR. Okay. Yeah, Ronjana, welcome to the stream. One more means ten times more. <laughs> At least did all that. Oh, Yakuza logo. Whoa. Wait. Golem. Another arrangement. The Path of the Dead. What the fuck? Whoa. He's cute. Branches. <laughs> oh man. Was he? Did he start? Was he ever like a regular human? And he got mm -hmm. all fucked. Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. He was, well. I mean, he was a hobbit, but yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah, even then, like, he got all fucked up because the ring. The ring destroyed. Him. Man. That's why his story is so sad. He becomes <laughs> consumed by it. He's left alone in this world. Fuck. And he's just like a, you know, a guy who happened upon the ring. And he got so fucked up from it. Man, that's so cool. Yeah, his shit was always super dope. Is he in Shadow of War 2? Because I remember he was in the first... Man, okay, yeah. okay. Fuck. He calls you, like, the Bright Lord because you're with Celebrimbor. Man. Well, we'll have to do dream surfing another time. That was a fun, like, oh, yeah, because we just go down trails and yeah. open shit up. Yeah, we would love it's to. YouTube. Yeah, we'd love to do dreams, uh, take suggestions, shit like that. That'd be super fun. Um, but, yeah, we hit five hours. Uh, even this guy. Look at him. He's yawning big. Yeah, dude. Oh. That's right, Kathleen Noir. He was a store, one of the river folk. I'm just surprised that anybody else knows that. <laughs> Should we watch, like, Netflix, or... <laughs> um, oh, my God. Louie wants to show us something cool. Oh, does Louie have a fuck beat? Yeah, oh, maybe in the future. Yeah, fucking just hit up Anytime, Brian. Dude. Yeah, DM or whatever. Hit up Brian. Yeah, Louie, I know Louie was working on some music. Um, oh, my gosh. All right, let me just pull up one more thing. Hold on. Yeah, what a lineage of the ring. 
Sauron, Isildur, Deagle, Smeagol, Bilbo Frodo. It got better at the end. Well, technically it would be Bilbo Frodo, Sam Frodo, Golden. <laughs> just, oh, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? What are all these other Walmart videos? Oh, man, the YouTube works so fast on this thing. Now. Yeah, right? Everything oh, loads so much faster. I don't even know what the video is called. <laughs> caught you, man. I wasn't. I caught you, man. Oh, here. I caught you. I caught you, man. I caught you, man. I caught you, man. It was crazy. Man. I just caught you jerking off. Can I take a screenshot? Damn, it's crazy. Oh, I was gonna see if you can. can. I think you have to hold down the share button. You just got caught jerking off, man. <laughs> oh, you can't take a screenshot. Oh. <laughs> man, taking a screenshot. Hey, we can broadcast. We can broadcast this to Twitch. Yeah, you just got caught jerking off, man. I, wasn't even jerking off. I caught you, man. I, wasn't even jerking off. I caught you, man. I wasn't I got you. I'm recording you right now. Man, the video say different. You want me to play it back for you? I wasn't jerking off. I was just in my pants. You were jerking off, man. No, I wasn't. Look, if you think that's what's jerking off, I feel bad for you. Hey, look, man. Hey, look. But look. But look. Wow. Who knows? What is this guy got a fucking five minute response video to this? Alright, well, today I'll tell you about a man. This man. For some goddamn reason, I don't know why, he went down to the Walmart with his headphones in. Now, inside the headphones, he had pornography sounds. <laughs> he had the sounds of women having orgasms and getting fucked by big giant cops. <laughs> All right. So, five minutes of that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Brandon, having fun with your YouTube in there? Hold on, Mom. Anyways, let me tell you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck. Pornography sounds. Anyways. What the shit? Oh, God. He's uh, getting off to pornography sounds. Guys, we did it. We did it. What a what a show. We played Dark Demon Souls. We took Discord calls. We got caught with the boss. But we killed it. Thanks to Blaze yeah, and everyone right. who called in, gave us tips. Fire works better. We buffed our magic. I'm excited to fucking just not fight a boss for a while. So. Yeah. Jesus. Um, we beat that stage. Brian, recap of the evening. What is the what's the consensus? What what's the what's the flow? How you doing? What? <laughs> just hey, anywhere you want to take it. <laughs> Those are three separate. Yeah. What what grabs so you? The, uh, we played Dark Souls. Yeah. We beat the How boss. you feel about? How does it make you feel? <laughs> no, I'm glad we finally beat that boss. Yeah. I knew we, I absolutely knew we could do it. It's just. Fucking Dark Souls makes you have to run through a gauntlet to get there. Well, so yeah. it's fucking badass that the big dogs stuck with us. We still have 45 big dogs. And damn, man. We'll be back for some more gaming. We're gonna have some more fun with all of our big dogs tonight. Folks, we got we gotta raid somebody. Yeah, the best part is raiding. Uh, thank you guys. Um, check out all our shit. It's on YouTube. Um, we'll put up our Terminator VOD Hello, also. Boy. Join the Discord. Uh, hope to see you guys again. Uh, yeah. Um, either like Wednesday night or Thursday. Uh, yeah, I don't, know. I don't know what's coming up next. Who sees? More Demon Souls will probably take a break. <laughs> hey, we're going to keep streaming, having fun. Um, all right. Thanks, guys. Hell yeah. Be sure to follow us. Thank on you, all, Jordan. All social media. Thank follow, you, everyone. Oh, Brian. Um, hey, the man Carlos came to our stream. He popped three gift subs. Right. Thank you, Carlos. We're Carlos. gonna raid Carlos, dude. Big shouts out. He's Mondo chilling. He is playing Doom Eternal. Wow, looks uh, great. Which comes out on uh, PC Game Pass. Uh, two Thursday. days. Yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. Holy fucking shit. I'm uh, gonna lie down. Take yes, care. See too. you around. Thank you again, Brian. Of course. Guys, Take thank care, you. Take care, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Everyone, everyone. See you in the Discord. Support Carlos. Whoop, whoop.
Fuck. No.